Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? Jermaine Mancop here. We are back with another awesome stream. We are back on this season of Mastery Servers. And I'm going to be back here with my good bunny, Metro, doing some paladin leveling. We're going to try and tackle Westfall, hashtag for posterity. So, pitter-patter, let's get at her, shall we? Let's bring up the stream. Let's bring up the chat. Hey, size Paladin Pals. Let's go. I, I like it. And let's bring up the game. Alright. There we go. We're all set up to go. I will send Metro A call in Discord, and he will answer when his stream is up and running. Hello. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, no nothing. Why? Why do you ask? Well, because we're supposed to be doing this whole streaming thing. <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> I thought we were doing it at one your time. No, no, I said one your time, buddy. Oh, no. Well, I'm not even <laughs> being ready, dude. Oh, no. I have, like, at least another two hours, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. That's a joke. I'm joking. Yeah. Come, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> You got me. You got me. Pranked you. I pranked you. Uh, All right. Well, anyway, we're back. So I was just telling. Uh, I was just saying on my stream that. Um, uh, well, first of all, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? How's everything going? Uh not bad. My my throat is not not in a good place, but you know, we 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 push okay. through. Yeah, you don't have to talk too much. We'll do. I'll, I can do most of the talking. Um, so anyway, yeah, last time we did the Stormwind stuff, uh, or the, uh, whatever, the intro stuff, um, we did the Paladin stuff as well. I, I saw that video, that was really well done on your part. Thank you. Um, so today I was thinking, uh, so I've been looking at leveling a lot, um, since the last time you and I played. Um, and I think what, uh, partially, the, the, I thought we were having was an issue last time, wasn't necessarily an issue, but I think it will arise an issue, um, so what I would I think would be a good suggestion for us right now is to go do a little part of Lakmadan. Uh, we are level twelve right now, and I'd like to be level fourteen before we start, or at least closer to it uh, before we start uh, Westfall. How do you feel about that? I I am totally down with that. I love Lakmadan. Um, it's been forever since I've done it in classic, so I don't even remember any of it. So I'm totally okay, down with that. Cool. Yeah. Um. So it's not necessarily um. I don't really, you know, plan on recording it or doing anything crazy yeah. there, but there's a good chunk of easy experience that we can gain from doing that. 
Sure. And and a couple quests on the way to it. Um, and it'll actually be surprisingly beneficial for us for the rest of the playthrough. So, do yeah, I think I... if we do that now, it'll help us a lot going forward. I just threw that Stormpike's delivery thing in my bank. Should I pull that out before we go? Uh, I, I, yes. I, 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 yeah, yeah, go grab that, yeah. Yeah, because I think that's on the way, so. Yeah, that'll be one of the quests we do for sure. I was just like, well, we're going to go do Westfall. I don't need this. I'll just throw it in the bank. Yeah. So I actually, ooh, Oppenheimer. I actually, um, I actually did uh, a chunk of Westfall the other day to see, mm -hmm. and um, it's gonna be very, uh, it's gonna suck with two people. First of all, a lot of the quests are killing and looting, what uh, of... getting things from mobs. Um, so it's gonna take a long time for that. Um, and, and I did, um, and based on what I saw, it's like no way we could actually finish that zone starting it at 12. There's just yes. no way. We'll, we'll, we'll get through the first half of the quest and then everything will just be like destroying us. So yeah, I think we started at 14 and then we'll have no problem. We'll, we'll be smooth sailing right through that zone. Yeah, because we'll be over leveled for the entry stuff. Yep. And by the time we yes. catch up, it'll be good. Exactly. Yep. And with the season of mastery quest bonus, it'll make a yeah. We'll be we'll be pretty good by the time we get to the end point there. I like it. So how was your Thanksgiving? Uh it was pretty good. A month and a half ago. Yeah, a month and a half ago, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving since you actually celebrated it yesterday? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I, I, I was a little stressful, actually. It was not um, not as great as I hoped it would be, but it's still always nice to have people around, family. We have a good laugh, you know. Everybody uh, in my family, I, I get along with quite well. Quite well, so good. it was nice. Yeah, it's always Nine nice to see ten. family. Yeah, it's like my mother. You know, she's um, always like trying to put on like the biggest feast possible, and it's <laughs> she's like making things so hard on herself and. Yeah, well, I'm, it gets I'm a little sorry. stressful. You know, I, I don't mean to giggle, but that's exactly the way my mom is too. Yeah, it's... no, I think that's probably very common. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's just like I hate to see it because like yeah. everybody else is just standing there waiting to eat, and she's doing like ninety nine percent of the work, and it's like it's, there's just no need for it. You know, like yeah. most of the stuff she's preparing, people don't even really want to eat anyway, and yeah, I don't know, could be done easier. I know, like. All the time I was growing up, the kids and all the family would always be like, oh, can I do that for you? Can I do that? And she'd always be like, no, no, that's okay. I got this. Yeah. She'd run around doing everything. Yeah. Luckily, my stepfather does a lot of the the work when it comes to cooking the actual turkey. Hmm. He's, he's, he's big on that and the stuffing and all that kind of stuff. So that helps her out quite a bit. Size says, is that Santa you're questing with? Yes, it absolutely is Santa I'm questing <laughs> with. Oh, the dwarf. Yeah. Gidwin. Gidwin Goldbrace. Yeah, man. I'm tearing our sun strike. Yes, you are. The male blood elf. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly looks the part in my book. Absolutely. Wow. Wow, kids here. What's up, buddy? How was your holiday? Hopefully everything's good with you. What's up, Matt? Size says, true, parents are 100% spurgs about holiday tradition. I suppose. Yeah, it's an eloquent way to put it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, uh, I would not use the word spurgs myself, mainly because I don't know what it means, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm old. Nick so. as well. What's up, buddy? Hi, guys. Love this content. We do, too. <laughs> it's very oh, uh, relaxing, and me and Cop always have a good time. Yeah, we do. Especially when we're the Paladin Pals. It's right. we we'll wind up on Fiona's caravan by the time this is done. Yeah, and, and I was... Oh, wait. I was going to say, we could do this on live now, too, but yeah. no, you can't, because Void Elf cannot be a Paladin, right? That's true, you can't. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Because they made, like, Void Elf, like, fully Blood Elf now. Like, I don't know if you looked at that recently, but... Oh, yeah. It could be blonde-haired, blonde, blonde fair-skinned, blue eyes. <laughs> it's like, wow. They, they gave him <laughs> High Elf. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I'm glad they did it, but it's just yeah. surprising. Well, it's something people have been wanting for a very long time. Yeah, you're right. 
Uh, Wildkid says, what's good? Got to eat some yummy food and also bought some new planes for my flight sim today on Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. Any, uh, do you, you don't have that, I guess, in Thanksgiving. We, do, we do. In, uh, we do. It's, it's not as big a thing up here. Our big shopping day here is the day after Christmas. It's called Boxing Day. Boxing Day, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting because the holiday, like the Boxing Day thing makes sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like everything that would have been bought during Christmas just on sale after Christmas. Is that why it's yeah. cheaper? I don't it, really it's, get it. it's everything's cheap because it's after Christmas and because uh, it, they're clearing out the old stock, like stuff that will mm. be out of date, like when the new year hits. So ah, get... that's interesting. Yeah. I see. So that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, they'll get the 2022 stock in once they've cleared out all the 2021 stock. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I guess both make sense then because you know the Thanksgiving thing. This is like now Christmas season, right? I have my mm -hmm. Christmas lights on. Like it's now time for Christmas. Now that Thanksgiving is over, so this is when everybody starts shopping for Christmas stuff. And mm -hmm. and and truthfully, like you know, when I was younger and there was no Amazon and stuff, like if you didn't shop in November for Christmas, you would be unlikely to get what you wanted. Yeah, I can clearly remember growing up all the time. My mother would shop for Christmas in like September. Uh, sometimes mm. even August. So, well, just because you you would never get what you want. Yeah. Heaven, heaven help the toy that came out in in November uh, for Christmas, because that that was what caused all those uh, riots at shopping malls and stuff. Oh yeah, the the what was that film? Uh, was poking fun of all that kind of stuff. Oh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. With Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. Jingle all Jingle the way. Jingle all the way, yeah. Yeah. I, I was just reliving this moment because this is something I've been thinking about. I even made a video on uh, back when we had the Nubist on uh, on this. But, you know, when Pokemon came out, I remember, like, it, it changed my life. Like, honestly, it, it really did. It set me on a course for gaming and, and everything. Um, but... I don't really remember when or like what particularly occurred. I just remember uh, my friend, his father got it for him like very early. And my parents were like, it's just a game. We'll get it for you for Christmas, basically, you know, kind of thing. But but I was thinking about that the other night. I'm like, you know what? I don't know if that's even the case. I don't know if that's even how it went down. Um, so I actually asked my mom about this, even though I've re I rehashed this in my head probably like 20 times over the last five years since the Pokemon 20th anniversary when I made that video. I couldn't actually remember, and I asked her about it, and she did not even have a single moment of recollection on any of it. Wow. I was like, oh my god, that that is scary, right? Because I remember every second, like, I remember getting it, and everybody, all of our family being here, and and I loved it, I coveted it so much that my, my mother was like, let, let your uncle see it, and I was like, no, I, won't, I don't want him to see it, you know, I was like, I very, like, <laughs> I was coveting it, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I didn't want to give it up. And I, I rehashed all these things with her, and she's like, I don't remember any of, not a single minute of this. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> kind of sad. Yeah, no, it's... It's weird what we do and don't remember, right? Like, I can vividly remember um, back at, must have been like 76, 77, I was two or three years old, watching hockey on TV and falling in love with the sport, because I was watching Marcel Dion make everybody else look like they were standing still. And that's mm. when I became a fan of hockey and the LA Kings, right? And that has that yeah. set so much of a course for my life. And it's weird because everybody else where I grew up, because when the Oilers here in Edmonton started in 1980 and were basically a dynasty for the next 12 years, everybody in school was an Oilers fan and I was a Kings fan. Uh. That's funny, yeah, because you live in Edmonton, so <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> That's a strange story. I forgot about that. Like, yeah, the Edmonton Oilers, Oilers were actually extremely good while you were a Kings fan, huh? That must have yeah. been weird. It, it was, it, it really kind of framed how I look at things, because I'm always kind of the underdog person. A lot of the choices I make are, that's the least popular thing? Gimme. You know, I, yeah, that's what I want to do. That's and, and even subconsciously, that's uh, that's kind of how I look at things. I want to be the best at the worst type of thing. Right. And I don't know. That's cool. But that's how that's how that all started. So that's funny. All right, so we're gonna do our first quest here. This quest is gonna give us a very nice weapon. I'm pretty oh. sure we uh, both 
need that substantially. Yeah, this is the one with the the Yeti. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't know how good this weapon was until I saw this quest done in the speed run. And I was like, oh my god, this is we got to do this. How are you? I'll still read it, and uh, we, I'm not going to record it or anything, but I'll, I'll still read it. All right, protecting the herd. We heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagish has been preying on our livelihood. With most of King Magni's army off in distant lands fighting with the Alliance, there's no one to keep Vagish at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs, and I'll reward you. Dragish lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he is deadly. Okay, now, the weirdest thing about this quest is it does exist in Cataclysm, but when you do it in Cataclysm, there's a path to get up there. I had to, like, figure out how to get up there. Have you, like, why? I guess, actually, I guess the path is all the way on the other side. I see. Yeah. But hey, you can actually get up this way. We're, we're doing uh, our wall climbing that? hacks. Yeah, I didn't even... I mean, the, the path is just right here in Cataclysm. I was like, wait, how do you even get up here? But now that I'm looking at the minimap, it looks like there is a path and it goes through yeah, you go the around. mountain over here. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that. Well, you get the quest okay. at the same time you're doing rams and stuff. You're saving rams I see. and Cataclysm. So. so this is an elite, uh, but it's only a level 11, so hopefully it'll kill it nice and fast. I'll stun first, though. This guy's a bit of a pain if he gets that cast off. He's going to root us or freeze us or something. It's like knocks us down. Okay, that was easy. Yep, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Out and powerful, I'll, I'll say that. Good leveler. It's a better than I expected it to be. If you're actually questing. Yeah, for sure. I regret nothing. No. Uh, I failed. <laughs> Great to meet you. Vagish still terrorizes the herd. Please help us by killing the wretched beast. Ah, very well done. Varen will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Val Vagish is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magni's men on the Alliance front. Okay, so yeah, huge upgrade weapon there, right? Oh yeah. A 71% upgrade. <laughs> and we also got, uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but we also got two portions of experience there. Did you see that? Ooh, that was a lot of experience. Yes, it's because, um, so they made all the quests give 30% more experience with this buff. But then on top of that, they made all the quests give another uh, chunk of experience that are elites or dungeon quests. Oh. So we did an elite quest there, and that gave far more than any other quests that we would we would be doing. So... It was extremely valuable and gave us a massive upgrade. Nice. So that that kind of stuff is stuff that I never would have realized if I didn't look at, look into how others have been leveling because I just, I mean, I, I never did that quest in original classic because I didn't really want to do questing. And I always thought like, well, that weapon is good, but it's going to get replaced by a BOE. Um, so it's not worth like trying to fi find a group for and just sitting there waiting for it to respawn. Because if we weren't on this realm, it would have been a much harder task to get that tag. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, obviously we have no issues. Okay, so now we're going to do a few quests down here, too. A couple easy ones. Okay. This is going to get us to 13. And we want to pick up cooking while we're here. What's on your mind? Be good. As a member of the Senate and the Explorers League, I've taken it upon myself to take care of this part of the Trog infestation that has gripped our lands. They've certainly made a mess of Gold Bolar Qu Gold Quarry, and for no reason. As we've dug deep into the earth, they pour it out, destroying our equipment and driving the miners out. There's not much for us to do but to exterminate the lot of them, rebuild, and then get back to work. If you help me with the trogs, I'll gladly recompense you for your time. Safe travels. What can I do? Those late blasted trogs are turning my worksite into a wreck. 
Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of those scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health, all this stress and anger. What have they left me with? Nothing. I'd kill them myself, but my aim's no good anymore. You go into the quarry and kill some of those filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them. Kill them. Guys, really. I never read that quest. That guy's really upset. Yeah. He's, uh, wow. Got some anger management issues, I think. Yeah, that's not really that. It's, these guys are low-level mobs. He's, like, really over-worrying about this. Agreed. SLB says, Hey, cop. Oh, sweet. I'm not too late. Nope. And si Seismical says, That's a troubled dwarf. Yeah. Yeah, he recognizes that. That's really messed up. So what do you know about trogs? What can you tell me? I, I really don't understand what trogs even are or why they're so common in the dwarf lands. They are a uh, degradation of the dwarf race. Essentially, oh, yeah? they are what happens when uh, dwarves continue to be uh, corrupted by the curse of flesh. Huh. Because originally dwarves were like those ones that we meet in, in Northrend, right? Like, they're stone kin. Oh. Uh, created by the Titans. But the curse of flesh, while they slept underground, the curse of flesh made them modern dwarves. Well, they continued to, uh, well, they got out of the of the ground, and the curse of flesh stopped, right? Whereas trogs continued to sleep underground. Wow. So that's like you notice in the quest we're doing, he's like, we dug deep, and these trogs came pouring out. Essentially, they woke up trogs that had been sleeping there. That's, how do you know that? Like, where did that get said? Like, there's a lot of, of bits, like, um, the discs of Norganon talk about it in um, Aldum. Mm. Uh, or not Aldum, but... Uh, Aldeman, the dungeon, right? Yeah, Aldeman, the discs of Norganon talk about trogs being dwarves and stuff like that. There's just a bunch... Um, the, uh... What's called? The, uh... I want to call it an atlas, but it's not uh, the the Warcraft. Oh, the like the history book thing. What is that? Yeah, called? the history book thing talks about it a little bit too. Okay. So that the discs of Norganic quest that's still in the game. Yes, absolutely, still on 100% doable. Last I checked. Oh, okay. The quest just takes place entirely in the in the five man, I guess, right? Yeah, because that's where all dungeon all dungeon quests are. Is inside. Yeah. The okay. Man, so. Yeah, that makes sense. There's 13. I didn't even have to do the quests. Good. Stefan says Titans, yeah. Yep. Seismic. So they... uh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Seismic says Lore Master Cop. Very well spoken. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I had no idea. <laughs> so I'm glad that we're doing this together. Because they're like literally everywhere in these dwarven starting zones. And it's like, I don't understand why. They're yeah. nowhere else, basically. Well, and that's why. I mean, because yeah. they, they are dwarves, and dwarves basically did not move very far once they made their way out. Curious. I actually did read a quest in my uh, Torin Shaman, or not quest, but some books in my Torin Shaman thing that talked about dwarven history once they woke up, too. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, the books, too, probably a big part of that understanding. Yeah. I just remember it, because there there's a dwarven mining thing in Mulgor, and there's like three books there in Classic, and it was a pain in the absolute took us to read. No. Because... Yeah, there's a treasure over here. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treasure. Because uh, the dwarves kept rezzing and attacking, because the respawn rate was... Oh, dear. Now nah, we're good. These are the level nines. We got our fancy new weapon now, buddy. That's right. No worries now. Nothing's gonna stop us. 
Nothing's gonna stand in our way. Not tonight. I had a feeling those were gonna aggro. Yeah, so did I, honestly. The Paladin Pals, are we taking out these trogs, though, man? That's right. We, we don't take no truck from trogs. <laughs> I actually feel bad. Actually, now that I think about it, though, a lot of races have this similar... Oh, my God. A lot of weird items. Anyway, um, a lot of races have something similar, don't they? Like, Blood Elves kind of have those, like, Withered Elves that are in the starting zone, and... Yep. Um, and I guess Torin doesn't have anything that's, like, race-related, but the Quillbor are kind of there, like, natural... Yeah, or the, uh, enemy. the Horsemen. Oh, yeah, true. Not necessarily in the starting zone, so... But, yeah, there are some coal cart in the starting zone. Like, there's, like, those three <laughs> Pat. I saw you saw that, yeah, I don't know why they're even there. <laughs> Me either. You got my I kind of, the, the idea I kind of got from that was that they, they were being driven, they had been driven out of Mulgore by the Torrent. Sorry, go ahead, you hmm. Okay. Um, it is a start. Hopefully we can take advantage of it and move some Mountaineers in to secure the area. Then we can begin to restore our infrastructure and get the miners back to work. Thank you for your assistance, Gidwin. All yes, no problem. Idea. Okay, let's vendor real quick. How are you? And we'll read this one. See you soon. Great to meet you. Oh, that makes me feel a little better, but I won't be happy till they're all dead. All of them. Watch your back. Well, then. You'll have more adventures come along and help you with that, because there's way too many of them in there for us to kill every one of them. It would be here forever. Yes, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, so I was talking about this the other day. I think this is absolutely hilarious, and this makes me think that you uh, would have find a chuckle about this. Um, so I was actually having a look at uh, the Defia storylines, mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to make sure I know what I need to know to record. Um, you know, and I wasn't looking at the storylines, but I was looking at all, basically, Defia's places in WoW. And I was looking at it, and there's a list. If you type in uh, Defias on Wowhead, it'll show every mob that is affiliated with the Defias or has that in their name. I think it was something like 6,400 or something. It, it was an absurd number. Like a ridiculous, it was like 30 pages of Defias mobs. And then I, I started to think about that. I'm like, if there's 6,000 mobs that are affiliated with the Defias, there's like double the, the, the amount of humans that are not affiliated with Stormwind, then, right? It's like, if you go and look at every Stormwind NPC in the game, there's nowhere near that number. Mm -hmm. But but there's all those Defias, and then there's also the humans that are like became part of the Cult of the Damned, and then there's the humans that became part of the Twilight's Hammer, and then mm -hmm. I'm sure there's even more. And, and it's like, wow, humans really have a bad time going. They get like half, probably like 90% of their population has deserted Stormwind, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's worse than that, too, because there used to be seven human kingdoms. And I think one of them besides Stormwind is left standing, and that's Dalaran, and that's partly High Elves as well, and Blood Elves now. So, yeah. like, oh, no, wait, there's also Kal Tiris, but, I mean, they're considered a separate race. And there's uh, yeah. Gilneas, but they're war werewolves now, so, but, but yeah, that, like, <laughs> humans have not had an easy go of it in Warcraft history, for sure. Yeah, and I never really thought about it this way until recently but like i guess this is true of every race like when you play a human you're playing a stormwind human yeah and when you play an orc you're playing like a thrall orc right yep it's like you you're not just playing any orc you're not just playing any human mm -hmm. you can't choose to be part of the defias you know what i mean like that's not possible yep. but it's like man imagine if that was possible imagine if you could because like when they added all these customizations you know now like you can be like a troll that looks like a sand troll right and that's really cool but it's like that's not a dark spear troll. That's the complete opposite of what they would look like. Yep. But it's like, huh, it's very interesting. I wonder if somehow that can be incorporated into the game at some point. Maybe they could have it. I mean, there's a lot of people who RP stuff like that. Well, they'll say, I used exactly. to remember the Devias, or I, I lived in Lordaeron before I went to Stormwind, yada, yada. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this one, too. My friend and fellow Siege engine pilot, Mori Hildelv, uh, is lost in the hills. We were looking for a rare ore that's needed for a high-grade blast powder, and during our search, he drove his engine up a steep hill and busted it. Still convinced that ore was in these mountains, Hill Delve charged me to guard our engines while he continued on foot, searching. It's been days, and I've heard some beastly growls in the hills at night. 
Mori's tough as nails, but I'm worried. Please, Gidwin, find him. Be good. Do you think we're gonna find him? I I think he he might be uh might be beyond our help. Shit. We have a res. It's true. And we have resed NPCs before, but I yeah. think they're not they're not gonna let us res this NPC. We could try. I mean, I think as long as his body's in intact, like it can be rest, right? Yeah, I'm not sure his body's intact. I think probably he's been being he's been fed on. Oh yeah, here it is. Here. Yeah, that guy's toast. Here's the corpse of a dwarf, mauled, frozen, and picked clean by mountain scavengers. Clutched in his hand is a book containing the roughly scribbled notes of Mori Hildelv. And around its frame, still in superior condition, is a brigadier's vest. The grisly scene must have been where the siege engine pilot met his end. It's actually very sad. Indeed. Hildelv wrote in his journal that he was attacked by Mangeclaw, a huge ice claw bear. He drove off the beast, but was not but not before it mauled him savagely. Judging from his state of Hildelv's bottle, body, Mangeclaw must have later returned and killed him. However, Hildelv wore, uh, wrote in his journal his one final wish, revenge against Mangeclaw. That chest was actually a nice little upgrade too for me. Yeah, me too, honestly, because I was wearing a ragged leather vest gray. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, I assume we're wearing the exact same gear. Mr. Bruce said it's just a flesh wound. Right, the flesh has been completely removed from his body. That's the wound. So, I mean, we could raise him as a Death Knight if we were playing the Death Knight Pals. Sure. Oh, oh I did this the other day too, didn't I? Yes, I literally did this when I came through here. I didn't actually pick up the quest. I don't know why. I did this the other day too. I came up here and killed Mange Mangy Claw or Mange Claw and I didn't have the quest, <laughs> so I have to do it again now. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I don't think it takes too long to respawn because I did this the other day and it didn't wasn't too bad. I'm going to eat some cap. beer basted boar ribs while we wait and get a buff. Ooh, those are tasty, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Enigma DA Wait. says cop. Hi yeah, it's been a while. I hope all is well. All is indeed well. Not, not not everything, right? But I mean most things. Most things, yeah. In general, everything's well, yeah. Yeah, most things. We're waiting for a, a mob to respawn, but other than that. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. Uh, Man, I can't believe it's five thirty already. You see this? I see that. Oh, five thirty a.m. too. Oh my wow. god. We've been doing this a I long really, time. I gotta get to bed, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, this guy's going down. Yeah, he's gonna die. Look at that. Burnt leather vest. Greed. Yes, you are. Greedy. Very greedy. It's going on the auction house, my friend. Well, I want it, so it's not going on the auction house. No! It's getting vendored. That's something that I don't think was explored in the quest lines in Eastern Plaguelands, but like, yeah, I wonder if Gidwin was like, you know, very passionate about the auction house or using a or using the materials yeah. he got. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. We don't know their motive, so we can't pretend to to play as them. It's true. We can only cosplay. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hello, Gidwin. Do you have any word of my friend? I really need to talk to him about something. Ah, oh, this is grim news. Hildev was a good friend, and I wish I could have been there with you when you found the beast, Mangeclaw. Thank you, Gidwin. Your deed will be re remembered by the pilots of Ironforge Siege Brigade. It's almost kind of like callous how it's just well, like... Oh, my friend was basically eaten by animals, and his body is desecrated to the point that nobody could ever recover it? Eh, here's a dagger. Yeah, this quest is repeated in, in Cataclysm, too, only it's like a snow leopard instead of a bear. Yes, yeah, I've done it. That's uh, It's funny, a lot of these quests are actually very uh, intact. I'm surprised. Indeed. 
Is it the same guy in, in Cataclysm? I don't recall off the top of my head. I'd have to go and look. <laughs> okay. I want to go look now. You know? Yeah, I actually, that's, I'm going to do this Nomad leveling challenge and uh, and stuff, and then I'm going to do um, another Hunter leveling challenge on live. I've already decided. I've been thinking about this a lot, and it's actually very interesting. Um, I have some reasons uh, that I, I won't say right now, but it's, like, actually very interesting. And some of the zones are more similar than I expected, too, so I... The thing I'm most surprised by is I've run into rares mm -hmm. in in this version of Classic that I've been trying to kill in Live WoW <laughs> because of the transmog. <laughs> I got a dagger that I wanted from a rare in Classic that I've been trying to get on Live WoW for like uh, two years. Wow. How funny is that? Yeah. That's, uh, that, well, that's like the old don't go killing rares in uh, on the PTR because you'll get it. And you'll never get it for transmog in live. Yeah, pretty much. Interest you on the fight? Watch your <laughs> head. You got my attention. Well, if it isn't a young bristling paladin, no doubt drawn here by talk of my exploits in the field of battle. No time for stories now. For there are great important deeds that need doing. So if you're looking for glory, then luck shines on you today. You come all the way from Stormwind. I hear it's getting dicey down there in human lands, with brigands and orcs running about. A perfect place for a paladin to prove their worth. Ah, so Grimmin finally finished my axe. I can't wait to try it against some trogs and kobolds. Many thanks, Gidwin. It was a long distance to travel for this delivery. Here are some coins for your effort. Filthy pause. The Silver Stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot, but now kobolds have moved in, putting their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want cohorts at your side. The gear is stored in Miners League traits throughout the mine. Good luck. Off with you. I will also take that. Storm Pike's orders. There's a dwarven armorsmith who I, whose work I admire greatly. His name is Furin Longbeard, and his skill is unmatched. I need a new shield, and I must have one of his. The problem is, Furin is far to the south, in the dwarven district with Stormwind. In human lands. I can't imagine why he would live there, so far from Ironforge. The humans must pay him a king's ransom to keep him there. So, if you want to travel and don't mind making some money, then you will send Furin my request for a shield? Not sure we'll end up doing that one. Uh, probably not, but maybe. Well, we got a hearth back anyway. Once we're done this yep. stuff, so maybe. Yeah, I just don't remember if you have to actually like come back here or how it works. But... Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to kill any beasts we see on the way. Uh, we're trying to get done with the um, the cooking quest that we're going to now pick up down there. Oh, okay, cool. So I think we need spider ichor from the spiders, uh, bear meat from the bears, and boar ribs from the boars, if I remember correctly. And, right. uh, we're, we're, we're certainly not going to finish this quickly because it's going to be, uh, we both need to loot them, so it's going to take us quite a while to do this quest. Gotcha. Emerald says, Hi, Cop. How the classic leveling going? Got my mage last night to 35 in, in Season of Mastery. Awesome. Going pretty good. Yeah, actually, we're it's, quite enjoying it. It's fun, yeah. It's actually a lot more fun to level with the second person than I expected it to be. I didn't realize, uh, uh, just a second character in general is yeah. quite enjoyable. Okay, poor ribs. Bears are usually the limiting reagent here. Yeah, you yeah. see that mountaineer just went and killed that bear too. That doesn't help. Stupid NPCs killing our mobs. He's effing with our mobs, Metro. Yeah. That's a... Uh... It's a very old stream reference uh, on my stream from when I did a one to max level attempt and uh, live, and the guy was like, "Quit effing with my mobs!" When I helped him kill Hogger. Oh, <laughs> I remember that actually. <laughs> it confused me quite a bit because, of course, both get the tag on live, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's funny. A lot of uh. Yeah, it's just a lot of different people in the game. Yeah. <laughs> different types of human beings. All takes all kinds, they say. Oh, 
Wow Kid says, I forgot how much Classic was a walking simulator. Pretty much. Hold on, I just need to take a look at something real quick. Okay. Okay, sorry. No worries. <clears throat> so we'll kill a few more. Basically, like, just generally kill mobs on the way. Go pick the quests up. And then we'll do, hopefully, all of them together. And finish what, uh... Whatever happens, I think it's probably going to be these... Are going to be the last mobs we still need. These, uh... This beast quest kill. To, uh, for the loot. And, um... Oh, that's a good one there. Rats. You want them? No, I think I'm actually wearing better already. Oh, really? Because I am already, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I am wearing the Stormwind Guards leggings, which are better. Okay. Oh, that's right. We got that from killing Hogger. I was like, how did I get that? I thought it was a BOE. Yeah, I thought Yeah, those legs from Hogger. That's right. They were really good. Yep. Three strength is nothing to sniff at at this level, for sure. Yeah, really any greens that have stats are really, really useful. It's actually insane how bad, like, drop rates are on things in Classic. Uh-huh. You've been, like, kind of memeing about it for years, and I never really experienced it, because I haven't done actual questing in Classic in years, and, uh, my god, is it... Actually, ridiculous. It really is. I did is. this quest the other day. I, I I don't know if you remember these quests in in Hillsbrad uh, as a as a horde. You go into like, I guess like Hillsbrad itself or something, and kill all the humans. Yeah. Um, and that obviously doesn't exist anymore in Classic. I don't think. But all right, Cataclysm. But um, that's funny. Uh, but um, it's like you have to loot skulls, and it's there's like thirty skulls to loot and the mobs have like a five percent drop rate it's like what the hell it took me like an hour to do that one quest i just sat there and killed humans for like an hour yeah like it it, it, it i i do meme about it a little bit but it, it, there is a lot of uh that goes that uh kind of there's a reason it's a meme put it that way it's just bizarre i didn't know it was like that i mean it I don't know if a modern version of that quest would give one skull every time, but it's just so silly. It's like it's a it's a human skull. Like, what do you? How did you not obtain one from killing a mob? That I don't. It doesn't even make sense. Why did they do that? Uh, I don't know. I, I think they they want you to kill at X numbers, like so, which is whatever number they want you to kill is twenty times the number of items that they want you to have, so they make it a five percent drop rate. But it's just yeah. silly. It's just weird. I mean, it's uh, honestly quite strange, and, and that's probably the main thing that makes classic leveling slow, because I did that quest for an hour. I probably gained more experience from kill- what the hell? I probably gained more experience from- yeah, how many legs are we gonna get? I probably gained more experience from killing the mobs than I did from turning the quest in, and even that's that's even with the Season of Mastery stuff. It's like, what the hell is that? This is so bizarre. I basically just grinded. I remember walking away from it, I was like, man, I should've just grinded. Like, I shouldn't have even done this quest. It's, uh, well, yeah, because remember, if, if all you did was quests and you had 100% drop rate for everything, you'd never reach 60. There's just not enough quests in the game. It's it's just not true, though. Like, that's why yeah. these leveling guides are so good, because these people actually know how to how to quest efficiently. And I, I never knew, like, you know, what we're trying to do here, where we try to do an entire zone in one go, it's not how you play the game. It's not how it's meant to be played. And um, and now that I've looked into these even more modern quest guides, it's actually insane. Like, there's the, the Hillsbred thing. Like, they're gonna leave that zone three different times, but they're still gonna do like ninety percent of it. It's like huh, yeah. very interesting stuff. All right, we'll read this one. Welcome to Thelsamar, your home away from home in Lakmadan. Thelsamar is a nice place, but it's not all beer and salted meat for those who answer the call to duty. 
If you're willing to face danger in the name of the Alliance, then read the poster outside Delsimar Branch Explorers League. Uh, we have a real infestation problem to the west, though. Tunnel rat kobolds have moved into foothills, setting up dens and fouling our lands with their filth. We want them eliminated. Hunt them. Bring me their ears and earn their bounty. We can find tunnel rat kobolds and their dens west of Delsimar, littered along the mountainside. Keep your feet on the ground! Thing is, they really didn't uh, adjust drop rates until uh, Wrath, which is why I used to meme about it quite a bit, because I, whenever I used to do those leveling challenges, I would have to go through Outland. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. even in TBC, it's like that, you? huh? Yeah. Well, that's regrettable. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, when read here. <clears throat> Safe travels. Delsimar Hello. blood sausages. Sounds excellent. There's never a shortage of empty bellies here in Delsimar. Kids running in and out, workers from the excavation coming in after a hard day's work. We're famous for our blood sausages. I don't suppose you've ever tried them. No? Well, around here you've got to work for your meals. And don't think just because you're a fancy paladin you'll be any exception. I'll need bear meat, boar intestines for the casing, and spider ichor for spice. You get me some of those and leave the cooking to Vidra. See you soon. I love the Dwarven Tavern. Yeah. Aesthetic. That music's great, too. It truly is. Oh, yeah. So it's not even boar ribs. It's boar intestines. So I, I still have O of three of all of those. Do you have anything yet? I have three of three spider ichor. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's good. So if you get any more, um, you can I give it to me now. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, because sure. these are actually, this is actually just cooking reagents, basically. Like, you can get these from these mobs, regardless of being on the quest. Yep, yep. This quest is still in the game, too, right? I believe it is, actually, yeah, because the, the recipe is still in the game, so. Yeah. Where'd you go? I'm right behind you. No, you're not. Oh. Where'd you go? I don't know. I just went <laughs> off to do the quest more. I was following a jumping dwarf. I see. <laughs> Are you following another player? Is that what you mean? Yeah, I, I followed another player. Oh, that's hilarious. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> thought it was... That's funny. So we'll do these quests, basically these four that we have right now. Turn them in, then we're going to go do the start of the uh, In Defense of the King's Lands stuff. And then that will be it. We'll leave and go back to Human Lands. Nice. Wowhead says he's flipping between both of our streams. All right. You're welcome to do that. That's why we're both streaming. Indeed. We're happy to have you on both streams. Hey, Colin, what's up, buddy? How, hey, Metro, how was your Thanksgiving? Yeah, uh, it was good. Yeah, uh, it was very good, for sure. Thanksgiving, always a nice holiday. There's a lot of mobs there. Yeah, I think we're dead, Oh, buddy. boy. Yeah, we're running. Yeah, okay, just run. What the hell's that? <laughs> there was like six mobs standing there. Yeah, there was one Sorry. further off that was shooting us, too. Yeah. Well, you bubbled way too early. You didn't even have threat. Good thing we have a res. Yeah, I'll res you. Thank you. Yeah, luckily they were all on me, or luckily for me, I guess. But I, I thought I had, I thought I had threat. That's why I bubbled instantly. And... <laughs> yeah. Let's throw some elixir alliance strength on. Eat some boar ribs. Rip cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking dude got murked. 
As soon as I bubbled and his bubble ran out, they all just turned to him and just crushed him. Because he was a little like, behind me as well, so they were closer to him. They're like, fresh meat, cop. Oh, yeah. We know take candle or whatever. Yeah. Is that these mobs? That's these ones, right? I, that's these mobs. Yeah, kobolds. No take candle. Cop, co kobolds. That's them, yeah. yeah. Cobbled. I always call them cobbled. Yeah. I don't know where I got the pronunciation kobold. It's just I've called them that since... You know, D and D in the probably 70s. how it's called. Yeah. So, Colin says, "I love Thanksgiving because that means Christmas is around the corner." Yes, that's how it always was when I was young. Like, Thanksgiving was the start of Christmas, and it was like we're celebrating the start of Christmas. Which I, it sounds lame, but I mean, I love that because it's like Christmas is such an awesome time, especially when you're younger. Yeah. Um, it, I, I think it deserves a start. Like, it, you know, if there was no holiday right before Christmas, then it would be like, ah. Eh, Christmas is coming up, you know? But now it's like, oh, Christmas is here. You know, putting decorations up and everything, like, that's that's Christmas. Yeah. I I think, and I mean, people are starting to do this already. I think it, it just eventually would have creeped up to Halloween being the, the holiday before Christmas. Yeah, you know what? I think you're actually entirely right, dude. Because when, when I was uh, looking at Halloween stuff, they already had Christmas stuff for sale. Like, Christmas gifts and stuff. I'm like... Or Christmas decorations and stuff. I'm like, what is this? Is this a joke? It's not even November yet. Like, it's actually kind of wild. Yeah. How much money do you have? I have... I'll tell you as soon as I loot this guy. Because it will change. I have 52 silver. Okay. I would have more, but I, I talked to Wu Ping in Stormwind before we got Oh, together. yeah, you trained uh, swords or whatever? Yeah, I trained two-handed swords. I couldn't resist. Yeah, that's a good idea. Colin says, it will always feel like that for me. My brother and I staying up all night watching Polar Express and Christmas Story and waking my parents up at 6 to open presents. Then that is a great little story there. Yeah, I didn't have any siblings or anything growing up, so I don't have that type of memory. But uh, similar, similar events, you know, staying up all night and waiting for Christmas, basically. I'll always remember, I just my house growing up, I had a huge picture window in my bedroom, and I can always remember Christmas Eve. It was like the one time a year where the sky was orange all night long, and you, you, of course, as a young kid, you don't understand that that's just because it's light pollution. You know, everybody's got their Christmas hmm. lights on that that night, all night long. Oh, interesting. I see. And, but it just it was such it just made the whole night feel magical. And of course, I was up all night because I'd be out just staring at that, reading my books, and waiting for Christmas. Yeah, it's crazy. Christmas is actually. I'll talk about it in a second, but I want to tell you about this first. Um, so this guy here. Mm -hmm. Um, he actually, you see it right there. He sells an incredibly good mace. Ironwood Mall. 70 silver, wow. though, unfortunately. That is, like, an incredibly good item. I can't afford it, but, um, just something to keep in mind if you ever do a dwarf or any, you ever in the zone again in Classic. Definitely worth it. I can, I can tell that just looking at it. Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's even better than what we just got, like, by a mile, so. Yep. And that's another one of those things I learned from these speedrunning guys. See, I, I didn't even know this until I started looking into this, but there's vendors like that all over the world. Um, and, and they sell these rare greens that are just, like, insanely good, and they're super cheap. Like, that that quality green would be, like, a gold on, on the auction house, right? Yeah. So it's like if you... And it's just out in the wild. Like, you can just go and find that. Like, you don't have to go back to Stormwind to buy that, you know? Yeah. So it's like that, that. That's part of their route. Like they they go to these vendors and buy B, uh, like BOE greens, and uh, and that's literally part of their route. It's like wow, pretty insane stuff. I did, I had no idea that was a thing, and and I started looking at it. And a lot of those mobs or a lot of those vendors, they still sell all this stuff in live. Nice. So like the patterns and stuff too. Like in classic, you can buy patterns from vendors. They're the only place you can get some patterns. It's like that. I did the blacksmith leveling challenge, leatherworking leveling challenge. These things are the same way. You can only get them from certain vendors. But uh, in, in classic, you know, there's also these items. So I was looking, and these items are actually still there, and they're rare transmogs. Like, that's the only item in the game that gives that transmog. So you just go out to the vendor and buy the item. It's like, wow, that's actually awesome. Like That is did, super awesome. It's kind of it's crazy. Like, 
that kind of stuff is so integral to making the world feel unique. Uh, and then pretty much TBC and onward, they're just like, yeah, we don't do that anymore. It's kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. It's one of those things, right? They talk about they didn't understand how to make an MMO when they started uh, making vanilla, but they so they just kind of tried everything, and still stuff like yeah. that. Just I guess you're right. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Uh, Fizzle says, "Love you, cop. Hope all is well." Right back at you, Fizzle. Thanks, buddy. That dwarf healing animation is just absolutely pristine. I love it. So good. <sighs> I'll let you do all the looting here first since we're going to need 10 total. Sounds good. You're going to be killing a lot of kobolds. <laughs> uh, more beasts than kobolds. We're, we're almost halfway done with this quest, whereas I still have zero out of every meat. <laughs> well, I still have four or twelve kobold ears. <laughs> no, I know, but that's that's farther along than you think, because there's tons of them in here. Oh yeah, for sure. The problem with the bears and stuff is that there's not a lot of them. Okay, I always try to kill one mob as fast as possible. Pick whichever one I guess I'm attacking and just kill that one. We'll take way less damage as a duo if we always just kill one mob quickly when there's two mobs attacking us. Yeah, you're right. I, I always make that mistake. Nope, no worries. You probably don't level with other people very often, right? It's true. I, I, I almost always solo. Oh, that's a two-handed sword there. It's uh... Uh, probably... Yeah, I guess it's a slight upgrade from what we have because it has two stamina instead of one stamina. Otherwise, it's effectively the same item. Slightly slower. I, I can't. I can't use it. So you can have it. Okay. I will. Just so that I can learn swords, I will equip it. Nice. Plus, it feeds into our paladin pal thing since I'm a, a blood elf and using a sword. Oh yes, you're right. Terranar uses a sword, and and Gidwin uses a mace. Right? Is that right? That's right. Oh, that's great. Wow, that's that's actually perfect. Jesus, I didn't actually realize that. But this kind of quest style is going to be very... It's going to plague us in Westfall, let's put it this way. Like, yeah. There's so many quests to kill so many different things that just drop something in that zone. It's actually insane. I didn't realize it until I was looking into it. You're going to just be basically killing mobs for the, the first two hours of that zone. Another... What the hell? What are BOEs going? What's going on with BOEs in this? That's even that's an even better weapon. <laughs> okay, this is my last miner's gear. Oh, look at that's got agility on it. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's an even better weapon, yeah. Two agi, same exact same piece that we just got, only slightly better stats. And Agi still gives crits, so... Yep, Agi is very good for, for, for Rep Paladin. I would imagine. 
Okay, so that's enough. I think we go backwards now. Should have respawned. <sighs> I don't want to get trapped in here. Yeah. And I'm almost 14. We haven't even turned in quest yet, so we, we might actually get 15 from this. Ooh, that would be very nice. Yeah, that would certainly make our life in Westfall a lot easier. I wonder if it's even worth finishing the Beast quest at this point, then. Um, maybe not, yeah. Yeah, we could skip it if you if you prefer. It's going to be mean... a lot of killing. I, I, it's, I, I'm good either way. I just, uh, just thinking of, you know, time. It's not going to be particularly fun to do it. I yeah. agree. Yeah, it depends on. It would be the fastest way to level because obviously we're here and we should do it. But if you're only interested in getting to Westfall, then yeah, we'll probably we'll just do this. We'll turn these ones in and uh, do the trog stuff, and then we'll be moving on. Ah. Nice ding there. That always makes it easier. Indeed. Full health when you uh, when you ding, you know. Jesus. Lots of greens. You know, we're probably noticing it more because we have to roll for every green. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, you're probably right. Typically, I would just be like completely AFK while looting and just it'd probably be a bunch of stuff in my inventory and be like, where, where, where'd I get that from? <laughs> I don't even know. I think it was Chicks who was saying that you can actually set up X loot to make it like a lot more noticeable or something. I should probably look at that. Yeah, I have X loot, but I'm not sure how to do those settings. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, Gabriel Lee says, uh, "What realm are you guys on?" We are on a Australian realm because um, I knew we would always play together around these times. So this would be the best possible way that we can quest without interference and read the, the quests and everything. It's actually 6 a.m. on this realm, so that's perfect for us. We are encountering very few other players. Mm -hmm. G'day, Mike. Uh, wow, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not Australian. But the good thing about it, typically, you, like, if you played on Australian realms on LiveWow, it'd be like, we have, I have 230 MS, so that would be, like, really bad for, like, Mythic Plus or something like that, but when you're just leveling and you're just pressing two buttons and auto-attacking 90% of the time, it doesn't really matter what latency you have. Yep. Uh, wow Kid perhaps is just realizing what we're doing with our names. He says, love the names. Surprisingly, they let you have them. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't, I don't think that is surprising because they don't exist in classic, but it's true. I guess you're right. It might be surprising to some. Yeah, you know why this is given it because we had full rested. I forgot we both logged out yeah. in Stormwind for like a week, right? That's that's a big reason why. I was trying to figure out, like, man, how are we so far ahead of this leveling curve that I expected to be on today? We're getting a lot of experience. Rested is so freaking powerful. It's also really powerful in Shadowlands, too, though. I mean, as we saw from that, um, uh, the archaeology stuff. But, like, man, it's it's surprising. I'm surprised that more people don't try to use Rested. Like, that's why I've been leveling multiple characters at once, because it just seems like it's way better. Like, if I want to have all these characters higher level anyway, then don't rush through one you're going to be wasting your own time like you can get levels so much faster with rested yeah for sure i still need four more tunnel rat years yep oh. there's another door. another player up early or maybe up late up still i wonder if they celebrate thanksgiving in australia i assume not very different country over there <laughs> 
And don't be uh, the Mayflower never landed in Australia, I don't think. No, I, I don't mean that they celebrate our Australia or, or what the our, our Thanksgiving, but I wonder if because like Canada's Thanksgiving has nothing to do with the United States Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, no, it's like I said, I, my understanding has always been it's two different things that they're celebrating. Yeah, but it's just basically like, hey, uh, we arrived here and it was not really the safest thing, and then the natives helped us not die. I think is what Thanksgiving is, right? Yeah. So. I assume that happened in Australia too. I don't. I don't know who the native population of Australia was before British. The Aborigines. Prisoners were. But oh, is I, that right? Is that what their names are? Yeah, yeah. They're they're called the Aborigines. I know zero about that country, honestly. Yeah, the main thing I know is that it was a penal colony. So I don't know if the, they would celebrate the landing so much, because of course everybody that was landing there was being exiled there. I see, yeah. Okay, we gotta avoid that group, I think. Um, uh, WoWKit says, My friend leveled a Pandaren monk in about 24 hours, played to 60 in retail. Pandaren rested experience bonus is stupid. What does that have to do with that? What does um, Pandaren have to do with that? The rested experience bonus, uh, decays 50% less quick. In other words, you oh. use it. Yeah, yeah, as a Pandaren. It's one of wow. our races. Holy sh- I had no idea. What the hell? Oh my god, that's that's that would be well. I mean, it just so the thing is, twenty four hours played is not particularly very good. So, but it's it's good because like I think a lot of people look at rested uh, as like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. But if all you're judging it by is actual played time slash played on the character, then it's enormous. Like you would just only level when you had rested. Yep. And you would double the the, the experience. But um. I think most people, like actual human beings who play this game, they, they, they don't want to wait six months to level a character fast. So yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's whatever. But I had no idea that that happened with um, Pandaren. I mean, it yeah. doesn't matter because, like I said, it's not actually speeding up the process in slash played, but it's still interesting. Well, and, and from my point of view, too, it, it doesn't really help my main because I will never have rested experience while exactly. leveling it. So. Yeah, that's probably why I don't know about that because it's yeah. kind of useless. But <laughs> it sounds cool. I mean, it's an interesting concept. I don't know how they coded it because rested experience is meant to just be the actual experience you gain. But I think that's actually isn't that part of the heirlooms too or something? Um, yeah, you know? I think the heirlooms uh, work with that too, for sure. For oh sure. God! So yeah, they, they a pandaren with the heirlooms on could probably get like a full bar of rested to last four bars or something maybe. Yep. I would think, yeah, that sounds about right. Here they are. Do you have that miner's gear, Gidwin? Yes. Uh, you can see a lot of kobolds in there. Did you see? I can't wait for the order to clear them out of the mine. The thought of their grimy hands clawing around our mine makes my stomach rumble. Ooh, rumble. Okay, nice little chest piece there. Another really good upgrade. Watch your back. Agreed. How are you? Off with you. All right, so we won't do the beast kill quest, then we'll just go turn this one in and then go do, um, the trog quest down there, and then that, I, I think that yeah. we'll probably come pretty close to 15, and then one way or the other we can move on. Sounds good to me. I forgot to put that point in for 14. On our way to 20, and then once we're 20, oh boy, is it going to be awesome. Two paladins with uh, Crusader or Seal Command is just so freaking awesome. We're going to delete it's mobs. It's actually, it's so, at times, yes, we are literally going to one shot mobs. If both of us, like, crit and both proc Seal of Command, we will actually just one-shot them up. Nice. Nick says, you can probably afford that mace now. I can't. Uh, technically, I still need two silver, but maybe Cop can. I don't know. I got 69 silver, but I'd be more than willing to lend it to you to get you that mace. Oh, no. It's not, no big deal. I don't, I don't care. When we're leveling together, it's not really needed. But. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Alright, so I'm just, I'm just gonna drop this quest then. Tell some our blood sausages means we won't ever eat those, which is really a shame because I was in the mood to have some. But at least Keg you says got... hope. Sorry, go ahead. No, I won't go. You go first. I was just gonna say at least you have some beer based boar ribs. I don't, what is that? I don't know what that means. I, I, well, you said you were in the mood for some blood sausage. You should have some yeah. beer based boar ribs in your in your bags there. I just vendored those. I don't want those. Oh. <laughs> those are useless. Ribs are way too hard to eat while you're running. Sausage, though, it's very easy. Handheld. Well met. Okay, uh, hey, Goodwin, how does the rat, how goes the rat catching? Ah, uh, when I asked for those ears, I didn't realize they'd smell so bad. <laughs> Here's your reward, Goodwin. Well done. Gray items, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, buddy. No, no, uh, I mean, that's just kind of classic in a nutshell right there, isn't it? Quest reward gives us a white item. Thanks a lot, buddy. What's this guy got? Nothing. Great this guy is the one, Metalsmith. See you soon. He's got more weapons as well. See uh, one-handed swords there. But Anyway, Geg says, I uh, hope you both had a good Thanksgiving. Well, Cop's Canadian, so his Thanksgiving was um, in October for some fucking reason. Uh, but I had a good one in lieu of that. As did I. Alright, make sure you get the play path. Talk to me. Be good. Wild Kid says, who knew rat ears would smell bad? Yeah, I, I'm actually surprised that he didn't know that, to be honest, because he's a human being. Well, he's an NPC, I guess, but whatever. Cut off ears, they don't really, uh, they retain their property, right? Yes. They would decay rapidly, I would think. I would think. I'll tell you, I love the look of these NPCs, man. I wish that this was a... How transmog that you could obtain? I don't think it is, right? Like, there's no green hood thing, right? I remember reading something about that somewhere a while ago. I remember looking it up. Let's yeah. see. Uh, Mountaineer transmog. There's a couple things that like are somewhat similar, I think, but I don't... I don't think most of it exists. These transmogs are, like, not even possible, too. It's like, these things don't... You, like, you'd have to be, like, a... You, you can't actually transmog. It's like some cloth, some leather, some mail. It's like, yeah. yeah. Doesn't make... Doesn't work out. Basically, you just need a green shirt, and... You, you won't you won't be getting a green helmet unless you're planning to I wear a... Non... Unless you're planning on wearing cloth. Okay, we need to protect the lock, Gidwin. With so many of the king's soldiers fighting valiantly on remote battlefields, we become overwhelmed on the home front. Trogs are tunneling up from every crevice. The trog infestation poses the largest threat to Ironforge. These disgusting mutants must be destroyed. We need you, brave adventurer, to venture forth and lay waste to the trog threat. Slay ten stone splitter trogs and ten stone splitter scouts and report back. Be good. Can do. Theo says, hugs, welcome back. Love you too, cop, and you're okay too, Metro, LOL. All right. Disagree. Man, this gear that we have on makes me look like, it looks like a Christmas, like, sweater, doesn't it? Red gear, like, red um, undershirt with, like, this green thing over top of it. It looks like a Christmas sweater. It really does. No wonder yeah, size funny. says, I, I, is that Santa I'm leveling with? Yeah. <laughs> Paladin, you may or may not be aware of the trog threat looming over Dwarven lands. With the Iron Forge Reserve called up to the Alliance front, we are left with a fraction of the defense forces needed to keep these lands safe. My regiment is assigned to watch over the gate here, and we cannot leave our post for fear of invasion. But we need some pressure put on those damned trogs lurking in the hills. If you're up to the task, wage an assault on the trogs. Bring me back eight trog stone teeth as proof. That's going to be another lengthy quest to, to do for two people, but we'll get those two done and then see where we're at. We'll probably be pretty close to 15 at that point, and that could be that. Yeah. And we can hearth. We hearth this. Uh, our hearth is still to uh, Goldshire, so that's not, not perfect, but that's fine. Good enough, I guess. Yeah. 
I think so that I leveling think route take, take the time <laughs> right, to run sorry. into. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say I think we take the time to run into Stormwind and it turn in Stormpike's order. Okay. Yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> um, anyway, the um, what I was gonna say was that leveling route actually. Um, it goes in so once it's done with Elwyn, it goes into Westfall and uh and does the quest that has you fly to Stormwind. You know that quest? It's like, oh, oh my okay. god, that's actually that's genius, right? Because now you're you're going to Stormwind anyway. Yeah. And now you're getting free experience from doing so. It's like, man, these guys are actually geniuses. Like I wish I I can't I just can't think of leveling that way. That's probably because I've played Live WoW for so long where you like you're never gonna leave the zone in live wow for anything like that so you don't ever have to think about it like that yeah but man that is just yeah that's really smart rampage is here hey bud how's the stream yeah so far so good me and cop having a good time it's true. killing trogs now leveling uh pretty quick because we had a lot of rested experience coming into this so we're almost we're gonna be 15 after these quests i think how would you say that Question should be answered, cop. I would say that we are indeed leveling very quick due to our rested experience. That's the main reason, you think? I think that. That and, and skill. It's a skill, skill issue. Yeah, I think skill, yeah. As Jix would say, it's a skill issue. Hmm. It's funny, I, uh, my nephew is now working with my uncle um, at the grocery store that he's a manager of. And um, they were like kind of bantering about. Um, I guess about the, the job itself and uh you know my uncle was trying to like basically like convince others that he's not hard on his son instead his son is an inadequate worker or or could be a better worker not necessarily inadequate but he was like you're you could be a better worker if you wanted to be and um and and they were like talking about this and I, I just like interjected I was like is it is it a very skillful job like I mean like what do you <laughs> you just put stuff on the shelves. Like, you know what there's not really a lot of thought going into some of these decisions. It was like they're like debating this for like 15 minutes about like how like he's he's like he chooses to 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 only have like one item in his hand at a time when he could be stocking the shelves like with four items at a time instead of one. And I'll, I'm like, okay, yeah, <laughs> taking this menial task super uh, serious. It seems. Yeah, I suppose when it's your livelihood. That's funny, yeah. Everybody uh, has different uh, routes of engagement. You're gonna do something for your livelihood. You should take it seriously, I suppose. Yep. Blackshire as well. What's up, buddy? Hey, Metro, how's it going? <sighs> Throw a couple heals, yeah. I was just bubble too. We don't really get much use out of laying hands either. We should probably focus on getting use of our CDs if we have to. It's like, you know, using bubbles is like not a problem at all. Yeah, I just, I wanted to use my potion because I had a minor healing potion, so. Right. I actually should have, I keep vendoring them. Should I, oh, we got a lot of mobs attacking us right now. still under attack. Yeah, go, 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 kill. I'm, I'm healing you, dude. Go, go kill the stuff. Did not realize we were still under attack. We have two different mobs attacking us, and if that third scout on the left aggro, we're going to be in real trouble. Yeah, these mobs are a pain, because there's, like, most of them are these scouts that are just... Most of them are these scouts that are just like uh, completely ranged. They won't ever run into melee. I had no idea we had that many attacking us there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was a little risky. Just gonna drink a little bit of water. Be right with you.
Gabe says, did your hunter die or something? What do you mean? Because you're not leveling it? Like, is that maybe what he means? Not sure. Hunter has died a few times, I think, in the playthrough so far. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually pretty happy with the drop rate of these two teeth, though. Got five. Of Surprisingly good, yeah. Not too bad. Theo says, Metro's beard doesn't stand a chance against yours. I don't know, Metro's beard's probably better than mine right now. What, my dwarf's beard? <laughs> I don't know what he means by that. <laughs> it's a little weird otherwise if he's talking about our actual faces. I, I think he might be because he was talking about me being the only real Santa earlier. Oh. Because I used to have a huge Santa beard. I remember, but that's not the case anymore, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's Theo. It's changed. You know. Yeah, some said some odd things. Went out on patrols and came back with some strange ideas. Sounds really familiar. It's from Westworld. Did you ever watch Westworld? I watched the first episode of it. I I never because I I think I got distracted or something. Like I ran out of time and. Okay. It yeah, you need like enough time those... to watch all ten episodes. Yeah. It's mandatory. It seemed like one of those ones I would want to watch all at once. Yeah, certainly. <clears throat> okay, I need three more, you need one more, it looks like. No, other way around. I need one more, you need three more. We can always turn this in and then do the next leg of it, too. It's up to you. Next leg, it wants us to go deeper into the area, which I don't necessarily think is a good investment of our time, but... Yeah. I think it's just better to just kill stuff, because, I mean, we're going to have it here pretty darn quick, I think. For the yeah. amount of time running back and forth to the quest giver. I just, yeah, it, it depends if you want to do the next leg, yeah. I think it, I think we're good at this point. I figured 14 would be where we wanted to get, so I didn't expect to get the 15, that's for sure. Wow Kid asks, have I seen the Wheel of Time uh, shows yet? No. I really want to watch Wheel that. Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Time. It's Wheel of Time. What is that? It's one of the best fantasy novels out there. It's by like Robert Jordan. There's like 13 books. It's really good. Robert Griffin, you mean? No, no. Robert Jordan. RG3. I wonder if that guy's still playing. I don't think so. Uh, no, yeah. That's on Amazon now, right? I saw a box that yeah. uh, came with a promotional art for it oh yeah because there was a sec oh yeah wow kid says yeah 14 he likes it so far forgot they uh they made a second prequel novel so yeah there is now 14 novels in the series. oh the books yeah yeah and there's this is the first season of it on tv oh cool so, so there's gonna be a lot of seasons in it yeah yeah if they go through it's the like entire story it's gonna be a lot of series a lot of seasons. The quarterback? Yeah, Robert Griffin III. Um, anyway, the uh, the story, I don't know anything about it. Is it like uh, low fantasy, or what, what? what is it? like? Is there like magic and stuff? Or Oh yeah, there's magic. This magic stuff is basically based on magic. The idea is that the magic that exists in that universe is the magic that drives the wheel of time that keeps the universe going and talks about the cycle of life and um okay basically based on, you know, stuff keeps repeating and... Oh, okay, this is awful. I swear they've increased the aggro rage, too. Like, there's yeah. no reason that mob should have aggroed all the way over there. Doesn't even make sense. 
I suppose it helps if I'm targeting the correct mob, huh? Yeah, I don't know why you're constantly not attacking stuff, too. You're gonna have to figure that out. This is gonna get a little bit harder in the future. Can't attack while I'm invulnerable, apparently. Correct, yeah. There we go, Trogtooth. Cool. Yeah, you can't actually auto-attack when you're bubbled or bopped. That was a feature for a very long time, I remember. Even in MOP, I think that was still the way it was. So I remember whenever uh, people were always talking about their DPS, I would bop them. Just to be, <laughs> just to be like, fucking with them, basically. I remember <laughs> Siler, I used to do it all the time with Siler. <laughs> Love it. Yep, me too. <laughs> Alright, go turn these in and then we'll hearth. Sounds good. <clears throat> now, we actually missed a quest that I didn't realize uh, that was in Stormwind, or in uh, Elwyn. Um, if you kill enough Defias, eventually it'll drop. It's this item, it's called the uh, Fullboro Deed or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's a lead in to uh, um, Goldshire. What's I don't even know the names of these zones. Westfall. It's yeah. a it's a lead into Westfall, and um, I don't think it does anything after you get it. But it's just like free experience. So it's another thing on the list that I noticed we didn't do right. Yeah, I think I think we're good without it. No, oh, I know that. Yeah, I'm just saying it. There's like a few things that we did miss uh, along the way, but not much. Not much. What can I do? Well done, Gidwin. You demonstrated uncanny courage on the battlefield. Our war against the Trogs will be won with efforts such as yours. You have served King Magni well. If you fancy yourself well suited for this kind of adventuring, I suggest you speak with Mountaineer Gravelgaw. The captain has him assigned to the uh, to a rough patrol that I'm sure he can use some help with. Check with Gravelgaw just inside the tower. See you soon. What is that quest? Oh, that's just the next stage of it. Yeah, okay. He's not even inside the tower, he's just standing right there. I'm gonna read it, but we won't do it. Okay. Mountaineer Cobbleflint had nothing but good things to say about you, Dwarf. For that reason, I'm going to entrust upon you a mission of utmost imp importance. We need to keep pressure on the invading Trog forces until our Dwarven brethren return from the Alliance front. Set forth into the southern hills and kill ten Stone Splitter Skull Thumpers and ten Stone Splitter Seers. Your attacks will buy us some time. Report back when your mission is complete. Yeah, okay. Nothing special. I thought there might be some something unique about that quest, the way he said it. Yeah. Not too bad. Not, not a bad thing to check stuff like that. I agree, yeah. What's Do you have eight trog stone, t stone teeth to show me? If not, there's still work to be done. Oh, really? Is that how quests work? Thanks a lot, Captain Rogelfuss. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I am quite impressed, Gidwin. You have done the Dwarven race a great favor by defending our lands. King Magni Bronzebeard himself would be proud. That's nice say that. on the ground. That's a really weird... Man, I swear the classic quests are just a little different, huh? Oh yeah, we should hearth. That's just a little different, isn't it? They're like telling you exactly what you need to do. It's yeah. funny. Uh, Grixon, what's up, buddy? Big Dog getting immersive over here. Hey, Metro, hope you had some quality time with your family yesterday. Yes, certainly did. Hope you had the same, or at least enjoyed your Thanksgiving one way or the other. Uh, and that's that. Holiday is uh, the real holiday about to begin. As you see, we got the Christmas lights up. We got the posters, too. I'm loving those posters, man. What a great investment that was. They look gorgeous in your... Uh, oh, they're fucking display. awesome. Those are two of my favorite zones in the game. And, you know, they're definitely my, my favorite two starting zones per Horde and Alliance. Yeah, definitely. Once I, once I get some Grotsits together, I'm definitely going to have to... Get me a couple for sure, for sure. I'm uh, uh, some what? Oh, sorry. It, it, that's just me being old and weird. Um, it, it's a okay. it's a very old reference to a very obscure episode of Doctor Who. At one of the one of the guys in the things calls money grotsits. Okay. So it's just gotcha. it's just my brain being weird. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I do that kind of stuff all the time. I just had no idea what you even said. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will get that reference besides me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm sure nobody will. So. Hmm. Uh, Gabriel says, NPC's giving you attitude. Yeah, that guy was... He's, he's a clown. A little dwarf clown there. 
Anyway, Grixon says, yeah, my wife is already bugging me to put up the Christmas lights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time to do it. That week after Thanksgiving is always the best time to do it. I might try to fit that in as well at some point, but we'll see. So now tomorrow I'm going to do um, some keys, Shadowland stuff, and then um, Sunday we're still going to do Pokemon? Yep, yep, absolutely. That's that's the plan as of right now. Awesome. Although Wow Kid says, it's a trap, don't do it. I intend to. To do what? I don't know. I'm just... I don't either. Wait, what are we even doing here? Um... There's that Stormpike's order quest that we can turn in. But where? I don't see it anywhere. I'm assuming it's in the Dwarven sector. Okay. I think. Yeah, it's not on my questy thing. Like, when you open the map, do you see the quest? Hang on, I'll, I will open the map. Uh, I do not see it on questy. Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming, because he says he's an armorer, so I'm assuming he's in the Dwarven district. You'd hope so. Arthur says, hey, friends, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy, buddy? And Matt, hey, big Matt. Hey, Matt. What's up, buddy? Hey, Metro, what's up, buddy, buddy? Not, not much, buddy, buddy, buddy. How's, how's it going? What about you, cop? What's up? Anything up? Uh, Currently uh, uh, leveling with my best bunny, Metro. <laughs> best bunny, yep. <laughs> what's up, buddy, buddy? <laughs> God, the, the inside jokes are just getting out of control. It's true. <laughs> Tell the story real quick. My uh, longtime Pokemon friend, uh, Arno, basically taught me everything I know about Pokemon and honestly is the reason that I got into it uh, enough to make a video game. Um, we always used to play together. And, uh, you know, we were playing on Skype. Like, it wasn't the best audio quality time. So I think there was probably some things uh, misunderstood because of that, too. But I always say, every single time we'd start the episode, I always say, All right, I'm back with my good bunny, Arno. And I guess I kind of maybe like slur the word a little bit too. Like it, even now when I know what I'm saying, it does kind of sound like I'm saying bunny instead of buddy. But he always thought I was saying bunny. So after like five episodes, he's like, he like pulls me aside. He's like, dude, why do you keep calling me a rabbit? I was like, what? He's like, why do you call me a rabbit? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It took like 20 minutes to realize what he was even talking about. Anyway. Uh, a letter from the Dwarven lands. I wonder who would call from them so far to the north. Please, let me see the order. Ah, uh, this request was one of the Stormpikes. That's a proud clan, full of quality dwarves. Rich ones, too. Thank you, Gidwin. I'll get to work on Mountaineer Stormpike's shield by the end of the day. Watch oh, okay, back. so there isn't actually... You don't actually return. So that was... Yeah. yeah, that was worth doing then. Nice little chunk of experience there. Yep. And six silver to boot. Pally pals, that is us. Oh yeah, should we train? We can go train too while we're Ooh, yeah, 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 for sure. Fourteen should be something good there. I'm not sure, but we'll see. <sighs> yeah, pally pals. I love the concept. Always fun to have. I'd love to do more stuff like this, like where there's like a. A group cohesion element alongside the the playthrough. I don't. I can't really think of any others. Can you? No. Honestly, I, not, not many. Yeah. But either way, we have fun. Is this so immersive that you made Cop play an attractive female human? So if you don't get the joke, uh, me and Cop are playing as the Pally Pals, which is a, a, a basically a reference from a thing in Eastern Plaguelands and Cataclysm. Me and Cop also did these quests together on a different playthrough, and uh, we had a, a hearty chuckle at it. Um, and they're, they're hilarious characters, but, you know, they're very uh, uniquely interacting with each other. And I said, man, they interact with each other like me and Cop interact with each other. Um, so when we both said we wanted to play Classic and level and do these zones and re record this stuff, um, I was like, oh, I, think I, I think I might want to play a Paladin. And he's like, oh, I think I might want to play a Paladin. And at first I was like, yeah, maybe that's not a very good idea. But then we came up with the idea like, oh, you know what? We should both play Paladins and we'll play the Paladin Pals. And Oh, Wisdom. Okay, that's useful. Um, and, um, and so then we were like, well, how can we be the Paladin Pals if we're going to play Alliance? Because the, the Paladin Pals are, one's a dwarf and one's a blood elf. And it's kind of like, you know, 
I guess, meant to give the player the representation that the two factions are happy to work together in sometimes. Uh, but so anyway, um, we were like, okay, well, I'll be the dwarf and you be the blood elf. That's why it's a female human. Because it's <laughs> another, <laughs> common, another common joke that actually got removed from the game uh, in uh, 9.15 or whatever. Um, Maximilian, uh, in these uh, quests in Angoro, he is looking for a damsel in distress, which he believes to be a female human, and instead, it's a male blood elf. <laughs> so, it's quite funny. I, I think that kind of stuff is funny. I don't know what, like, I don't know why that's looked at as negative, or, you know, I don't know what you would say, but, like, it's like, I don't, I think that's just funny, I mean. It's, they're making, they're making fun of the, of the, uh, yeah, the, 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 exactly. Uh, ignorance of that type of thing so. and, I, and i guess in 2022 now it's like well you can be a female if you want or whatever so this bullshit is like encroaching and crouching on everything in the game now but i don't know it's just that to me is like i mean it's pretty clear that blood elf males look like fucking men or look like female right like i mean that's that's always been a joke i mean literally as long as the game's been a game so i don't know anyway rampage says i used to love wow man i spent 16 years of my life on that game oh yeah what stopped you from enjoying it nowadays? And Stromy as well, and Pipple is laughing. Uh, how's it going, Stromy? What are you up to? How was your Thanksgiving? Yeah, that's a, that, that's a long story for that. I didn't realize how many steps there were to get to where we are now of this. Yeah. I imagine we'll be repeating it a couple of times through this playthrough. Yeah, I don't mind telling it. I just didn't realize how <laughs> how long of a story it was. Like, there's actually a lot that went into this. <laughs> it's not just... Not everybody will see that, obviously. Yeah, but the ones who do will laugh out loud. <laughs> Rampage was perma-banned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, anyway, Matt... Says, of course it's funny. The dang uh, personal computer cancel culture has no sense of humor. Yes, I totally agree. It's just weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, Blood Elf is not a real race, so I don't see why anybody would be offended by a joke like that. Yeah. That's why I, I never understood people getting mad at the whole Jar Jar Binks thing. It's... That Gungans are not a real race, so why? Would Wait, what? What did they get mad at? Apparently, the the voice, like they're saying, it's racist. Like the the what? accent, the Jar Jar Binks, like it, that's the okay. the thing. People say it's a racist accent, and I'm like, but racist Gungans to what? aren't uh, Gungans aren't real. Yeah, that's just <laughs> what they sound like. That's what the the story has them sound like. That's not. Hey there. Who the fuck says that? Wow, you really people like are really stupid Same if they're track. doing that. Yeah. What, so you just can't make a custom race of anything anymore in this in this world? Yeah. And you're like, what, what is that? How is that racist? What is it racist against? I don't even understand. I don't know. I... <laughs> That's actually weird. <laughs> Are you going to do a late stream tonight, too? Uh, I'm not sure when I'll start that. I probably will do one Sunday, though, just because me and Cop are going to get together for Pokemon in the afternoon, and then I still want to stream Sunday, so... I don't know. Um, I'll probably... I'm not sure. I'm not sure when we're going to start. Yeah. I have to figure a few things out this coming week, so we'll see what, what it looks like. Well, whenever we need to get together, I am good, so. Sweet. Yeah, well, we could do it more if you want as well, I don't know. No, it's entirely up to when when is good for you, buddy. Yeah, I do have some things coming up here that I have to uh, gonna have to have a conversation about. Um, but um, yeah, I think uh, one way or the other, the weekend's still pretty open. I mean, you uh, obviously uh, can always get together on Saturday. It's just this Saturday is not uh, was not good for me because of the I needed to do a certain amount of um, things for the campaign there, so I needed to get it in this Saturday. I'm actually not sure what next week weekend looks like because. Friday, they have, uh, I have maintenance in my house for, for hours and hours and on end again. Mm. And, uh, probably will go and visit my mother on Sunday because that, that way I can get some groceries done or something. But I, nice. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I'll figure it all out this week. 
Uh, you guys back to progression rating. No. Sadly not. Okay, so um, we're going to start this zone up. I think we'll I'll have to get the recording stuff up. Let me get that up. And then we'll be back to the... To be quiet in between the quest kind of thing, you know? Yep, yep, yep. I do not have recording stuff set up because I don't expect us to do the next Paladin quest today, so... Yeah, that's fine. something? It was horrible. Verna woke me up when she heard a ruckus in the fields. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's pa gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel I just... I, I feel sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. Have a good one. Good day to you. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Fullborough gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma Saldine over on the farm yonder. The Saldine's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. See you later. Hello. Poor old Blanche. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all of the farms in Westfall. If you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. See you around. Okay. Um... Jar Jar had an Afro-Caribbean accent, which is not racist. It's an excuse to virtue signal on Twitter. Okay, Twitter. Uh, I'm probably going to do a fight sim stream tonight. Okay. Um, it's Blanche, yeah. Still alive. Does old Blanche die? Is that what happens in chat? I don't fully understand the situation. He, he, he dies in uh, in Cataclysm. And I think uh, I think he's dead when you're doing the, the Furbo quest in, in Cataclysm. If I remember correctly. The, the horse dies as part of a quest, or is it just dead when... It's just dead when started? you get in there, and I think the, the quest is to find I his see. murderer, if I remember correctly. Interesting. What I want to know is, what did Blanche do that caused him to go to Revendreth? That, That's a great Re point, yeah. He's in Revendreth. He's a horse. That's a great point, yeah. Rough times, huh, Gidwin? No matter where you turn, someone needs help, and my wife and I are no exception. Look at what has happened in this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. Go with honor, friend. Can I help Welcome you? to our humble abode. It's always nice to see a friendly face. And what strong arms you have. My husband and I are always looking for help around the farm. Now that most of the good folk have left, it's hard to find an able body to help out there. I'm going to miss the Verna Fulborg so much. I don't know, I don't suppose you happen to see her on the way here. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall, but between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip. Now we can make Westfall stew. Hortus liver pie. The onions are peeled. The garlic is minced. The rosemary is crushed. The crust has been baked. The dill wheat is chopped. The gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight Gortus livers. See you around. Well met. 
Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three stringy, stringy vulture meat, three Gorta snouts, three murloc eyes, and three okra. Be careful. Okay, so this is where things get a little weird. Um, so, uh, I think we should go into the town and pick all those quests up too, huh? Sounds good. It's a little awkward because we're like basically just going and picking up all the quests first, but then we're going to be basically just grinding mob. I mean, we're going to be here for the next, probably the rest of the stream, just doing these quests that we're going to have immediately. Yeah. I was going to say... Just yeah. a bunch of loot. A lot, a lot of that loot is just for cooking reagents, right? So, I mean, we could get them off the the auction house. But well, technically, assuming, but... Assuming they're there, but... I was the one thing I was going to ask is if we were going to do the hidden quest with the chicken. Oh yeah, eventually. I mean, I, I want to do one hundred percent of the zone if we're going gotcha. to do the zone at all. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and the big problem is like the zone kind of can't be done without doing dead mines. Yeah. I'm not really sure how that's going to be done. I think maybe what we should do is just move on and then come back and we can finish it, like so, when we're like in our like higher like in our thirties or forties or something, and just try to kill it on our own. Yeah. Just so I can get the footage or something. I don't. I don't really know. Um, not really sure how to do this zone without <laughs> killing Edwin Van Cleef. I, I don't remember how the quests work. I'm not sure if killing Van Cleef stuff is actually like required to go to the next zone. I don't. I don't think it is. But yeah, I don't think it is either. But it, it it completes the story. Yep. Okay, hold on a second. Just let me clear this up. Greetings. Ah, so my friend sent you here. How kind. Well, the Stormwind Monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it's up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom. A foul corruption has crept into Westfall. While I was upholding my duty on the battlefields of Lordaeron, these honest farms were overrun and made into hideouts for thugs and murderers. The people's militia needs your help. People's Militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trappers sighting near the Django Lord Mine to the northwest, as well as the Molson Farm and Fulborough's Pumpkin Farm. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 Defias smugglers, then return to me. Light bless you. The Defias Brotherhood. The band of wretches possible for drifting. The band of wretches Defias. responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the lands call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know where. We need to know who's who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding out. In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in the Redridge Mountain, east of Elwynn, and find out what you can. Be careful. You need something? The Stormwind has abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept it, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall, Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mine thieves. Bring me eight gnoll paws and I will reward you for your bravery. See you around. Greetings. The Defias front is constantly shifting. I've been following their movements for quite some time now. On a side note, I've ascertained that certain members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. Bring me 15 of these bandanas, and I'll see to it that you are rewarded. Go with honor, friend. Okay, I think that's it for the quests that we need to pick up. So now you look at the map, and the whole map is just covered in things. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So where should we start? Um, I don't know. Fur bulls? Um, Why is this not working? Oh, that's right. Wrong button. I will follow you and kill what you kill. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. So yeah, I'll just buff a wisdom, or I'll just buff a might from now on. If you want to try to get wisdom up on us. Absolutely. Awesome. Anyway, um. <laughs> so so Wildkid says she becomes a mount in Shadowlands, and I have it. Then Stromy says, I'm sure she has been a mount a few times before that. Yeah, I mean it is a horse, right? Yeah. It's a great point, actually, Stromy. And uh, Boombot says, F's for Blanche, yeah. I don't know what happens, but never, uh, you know, you don't want to see a, a character like that die. It's very, uh, very sad. tragic. Yeah. So sad. Theo says, Merry pre-Christmas, Cop. And Cop, when was Metro's most hated thing introduced, a.k.a. mounts? And I would say mounts are level 40. Mounts? <laughs> I'm hated mounts. Uh, I think, you, you might be thinking of flying. That would yeah. be in TBC. Yeah. Rampage says best mount ever is Shadow Fax. What is that? I don't know that. Oh, that's the the mount that the wizard from Lord of the Rings rides, Gandalf. Oh God, really? Yeah. So not a wow mount. Not a wow mount. No. And Matara says, try using Codex. It's superior to Questy for quest icons on the map. I have not heard of it, but I will look into it for next time. Superior to Questy. Wow, that's interesting. I've never heard anyone say anything but Questy. I don't really care about the icons on the map. It's just we're mostly laughing at the fact that we now have quests that literally can be done anywhere at any point in the zone, and it's going to take us probably two, three hours to get them all done. Yeah. Yeah. I Should watched grind. the entire Duke game the other night, which is usually about two hours, and I was still not done with the quest, so. And they take twice as long when they're loot quests when you have two people, so. Well, that's. I was doing them with uh, two two people, basically, because I was uh, dual boxing, but. Gotcha. Theo says Is there even any horses in WoW except the Pinto? Uh, yes, there's quite a few actually. It's the human racial mount. It's actually quite, weird, there's actually yeah. many people who joke about there being too many just yeah, horses. like literally that horses and wolves are like the most common mount by type, I think. Mm -hmm. I think the trick to maximizing this is like. To always stay heading towards the Defias. I, I don't know because it's like the bandana, the bandana quest is is rough, but these beasts are way rougher. Like this uh, West Falls Dew quest takes way longer than every other quest, but there's so many of them in between the other quests that it seems like a very logical thing to do regardless. Yeah. Um, and I don't really know honestly how you. Uh, I'm not really sure how how it's best done, but. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, is just to head towards the Defias. Just kind of keep moving in that direction always. Yep. I'm pretty sure men are the most common mount by type. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, maybe. Check what's up, buddy. <laughs> Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, that's a one-handed axe, we don't want that. The other problem with this... Uh, quest set is I don't really fully understand where these bags of oaks are oats are supposed to be. And I had a lot of trouble finding them. Enough of them for two characters especially. I don't I don't I just I just don't know where they're supposed to be. I just kind of eventually stumbled upon enough of them. Yeah, I think they're just supposed to be in the fields. Yeah. But they're in weird places like un an unreliable um uh, they're not very reliably found, I think. Gotcha. Oh, 
God, these fucking parries are just so ridiculous. Somehow I have an incredibly big aggro range as well. I noticed this as well. I don't know. Don't really understand. It's, it's, I swear they've changed a few things about the game that they didn't tell people about. Yeah. But then again, I haven't done much questing in recent days, so... I don't fully know if it's always been like this or what. I do recall that those robots are like the bane of my existence anytime I came into this zone, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, maybe... Maybe not then. Good that we're really, uh, yeah, we're over leveled, so this is really nice. Just basically oh, yeah. killing these mobs very quick might take much less time just because of that. For sure, for I'm gonna sure. keep track of the actual quest stuff because there's so many different things that you can loot while we're doing these quests, and it's just like very hard for me to keep track of all of them. I guess they're they're showing up on like Questy's interface, but. Like, ironically, that, those boar intestines, those are the same ones from the quest that we were potentially going to do in uh, Lock Madon area there, so. Oh. Yeah, I always remember before I came into this zone, I would always stop in the auction house and. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Get a bunch we of stuff. We should have probably at least looked when we were out there. Yeah, I mean, we actually went to Stormwind, too. It's primarily an Alliance server, too, so you would think there would be stuff on there. But. We, we can go. Do you want to go? Maybe we'll go. Uh... Let me get to a server. Because sure. we got a well, quest. Well, we have to the go quest. There. Yes, we do, and we—I guess we should do that and record it as well. Like it is yeah. part of the zone. Okay, so let's do that. I, let's just just go now. I mean, we could it. we could also run to Red Ridge along the way because we got a quest to go there. Yeah, I do want to do that back. as well. I didn't know when you wanted to do it. I, I think we could you, do but... we could. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. This is this is good. So we'll go to uh, we'll go to Stormwind, do that quest, um, and then we'll go to Red Ridge and turn that in, and then then we'll fly back, and then do all the quests again. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I was gonna reply, but I wanted to wait until you reply to that, Jix. So, somebody, like, basically, I don't know, I don't even know. These, like, people, I'm just getting ready to ban these people. I don't even know what these people are doing at this point watching this channel, but... Jix, like, I, I don't know if you saw the video I released yesterday, but I just I made a little fun video about, um... Just, like, what my what my favorite tank would be per Covenant, yeah. instead of what my favorite Covenant would be per tank. Gotcha. Uh, and, uh, and Jix gave his thoughts, and then this guy replies and basically said, like... Do you even play this game? Venthyr Paladin, number one? It's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> well, are you, like, trolling? Or is that, is that, like, a serious comment? It's like, this is just, like, a fun little topic, dude. Like, I don't... For sure. I don't think anyone takes it serious enough. Hey, oh, wait, where's the actual quest? Oh, it might be, like, gray already. It's I think it, I think I think it must be, yeah. It's, it, it's, I think it was in here. I think it's in the... It's actually in the tower, I think. Yeah, yeah, so the reason we didn't see it was because it's probably gray already. Let us go have I remember, that's not a feature in li in Classic WoW. You can't turn on Trivial Quest, right? No, but it's not gray, so we don't to have to worry. It, it is for me. Oh, it's probably because I'm not a fucking human. You you uh, see a quest there? Yeah, I see a quest. I got a quest. Do you want me to just read it out and you can record Hold it? Hold on, let me, let me talk to him. Yeah, I don't have a quest, so yeah. Okay, you'll have to read it. I try to keep Sentinel well stocked. That's not easy with all the action we see. A swift message. Although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Osric Strang. His shop Limited Immunity is in the old town of Stormwind. 
a supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact Osric for more. Can you take him this note? Fastest way to Stormwind is through our through Thor, our Griffin Master. He's just down the hill. Bring him the note, and then take a Griffin to Stormwind. See you later. That's so weird. I guess you don't get that quest if you're not a human. Yeah, that, that is weird. Like of all the things I, I would expect to be a, to be limited, I, I wouldn't expect that. I'm surprised. Yep. Jake says Venter Prod is questionable for Mythic Plus, but I had Raid in mind, just like you. Also had aesthetics and visuals in mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty yeah. <laughs> obvious to me that the whole, whole concept was just mostly a fun little Hello. concept, right? Okay. I do want to uh, record this this ride as part of the video, so let's just be okay. quiet while it's there is a There is a quest. Uh, i got to turn in and get a new quest here, too. Oh, so. my. Yeah, okay, go for it. Yeah. You look like you're in a hurry. Well, then, you came to the right place. You ever get this note to Stormwind? That's not a problem. You can take one of my griffins. For a small fee, you can take a griffin to Stormwind, so you can deliver Lewis's note to Osric. You won't get there faster any other way. That sounds acceptable. Just speak to me again when you're ready for a ride. I'll charge you a little, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Safe travels. Good day to you. See you later. Chick says, you look like you're in a hurry. You came to the right place, says a vanilla flight master. Uh, you sure about that, pal? <laughs> and then he jokingly points out that I went to the bathroom during that. So he says, Metro literally got up and walked away during the flight path. Solid way to prove the point. <laughs> you're right about that. They're called bathroom break flight paths for a reason. <laughs> so where do we uh, where do we go? It's just an old town here. It's uh, the okay. plate armor place. Limited immunity. You'll probably give me a, a thing to go back on the flight path, and we can turn yeah, he will. and then run to Red Ridge and fly back from there. Sell only the best gear, tested and true, and the prices are set. So if you want to haggle, go find a goblin. You've been traveling, eh? Have you been anywhere interesting? Ah, a note from Quartermaster Lewis. Not surprised he needs more gear. Sentinel Hill is far away, and the land Stormman has all but forgotten. Well, thank you, Terranar. Here's some money to cover your travel costs. Terranar, I gathered into this crate everything Lewis asked for. Can you take it to him? If you've already spoken to Thor and Westfall, then you can take a Griffin back to him. Dungar Long, Dunk, Long Drink is our Griffin Master over in the Trade District. Speak with Dungar, then get this crate to Lewis as fast as you can. We don't want our fight men and women in Westfall to go without fresh equipment. See you later. Chicks wants to know if you're doing a Batman voice there. 
No, I was trying to emulate the voice that the that the uh, the NPC gives. It's kind of like, "Hey there, what's going on?" Yeah, hey there, hey there. Yeah, you're right. That sounds like a Tom Cruise impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So, what what was your what did you think we need to do now? Well, we I, we need to turn this in at the flight master. He'll give me a quest to go there, and then we can just run to Red Ridge and fly from Red Ridge to okay to Westfall. Yeah, we don't have to fly to Westfall. That's not actually no. part of the quest. We just have to go back to Westfall at some point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there'll be okay, cool. A turn in up here and then a new quest. So I will read. That's gonna be perfect, cop. Well met. These great beasts know paths that ye can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. Is that sweat on your brow, ma'am? You've been running too much. Next time, take a grippin'. I pray for Westfall, eh? Have you been to Westfall before? If so, then it's no problem, my friend. I have plenty of grippins trained to fly that route. The Griffin Master in Westfall is Thor. You've spoken to him before, you could take one of my Griffins to him. It's a good lesson to know. Griffins are always trained to fly to their capital city, but they'll only take you to a remote Griffin Master after you've already been there. You've already been to Thor, so just speak with me again when you're ready to take a Griffin to Westfall. Once there, you can deliver Osric's crate to Quartermaster Lewis. For the Alliance. That it? That's it. Man, that is so weird. They, I can see why they changed the questing format in this game, because it's like, they're actually like, I mean, that is trying to really explain everything to you there, isn't it? Like, Yeah. It's like, it's like hey, they must have mentioned that like three times within those two quests. Hey, have you ever talked to, if you've talked to him before, you're probably good, but if you <laughs> didn't, do you know that I can't get you there? You have to go there first. Are you, are you aware of that? It's like they said it like three times. It's weird. So, yeah, thanks. That's how flight paths work. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make the trip all the way to Redridge now and do that part of it. Yep. Although I think the next part is back then in Duskwood, isn't it? Yeah, I think Redridge sends us Duskwood. Duskwood sends us back to Westfall, I think. But yeah, whatever, whatever happens, we it's all part of the, the one zone, I think. So I think we're good. Yeah, it wouldn't be a problem to get the flight paths anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's going to make the next couple of streams easier if we're doing uh, Red Ridge. And Certainly. That's good, man. Yeah, there's actually a lot of parts of the the, the, the leveling path that um, they like they run in just to get a flight path and die, basically. Well, not now, I guess, since they're doing the uh, hardcore ship, but... Um, yeah, originally that was the way to do it. They just, they basically run to the start of Redridge, get killed by beasts, and then you spawn right next to the Flight Master. So it saves like five minutes. Nice. I hate dying though. I don't, Me too. I don't, I don't, I won't ever die. Like I'm never going to die on purpose. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, it seems antithetical to the whole idea of what you're trying to do, but. Well, especially, um. You know, because you're going to have some gear that needs to be repaired after dying too many times. Speaking of yeah. bender. Figure out. Make sure I don't bend the wrong things. Four ribs. I don't think we need those. A lot of this is just still stuff from the last zone, I think. Don't need milk or a light feather. Flask of oil. I feel like we do need for something, don't we? I think so. I think there's a quest from dwarves or something that you need the flask of, mil uh, flask of oil. Sounds really familiar. Rampage says, New World was so bad. What a disappointment. Oh, really? Why? I never... I never even thought about that game. Any game that's not... Like, any new MMO that comes out today is never, never going to be of any interest to me. It yeah. just takes so much work to establish an MMO. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, WoW is so great because it has thousands of years... Or thousands. Why did I say thousands? <laughs> it has, like, dozens of years worth of work gone into it. Yeah. 
you know, even Warcraft 3 establishes WoW, but a brand new universe, it's like, I don't think I can get anything into that. It'd be very, it would have to be, the gameplay would have to be spectacular, and I don't see how it could be. It really amazes me that Final Fantasy XIV was able to establish itself without the, the background that WoW has. Well, they they did, no, I mean, Final Fantasy XIV does have, um, you know, they use characters and, and stuff from their previous universes, so it, that's oh. at least somewhat formidable, like, comparatively, but... Um, yeah, I mean, like, a, you know, Elder Scrolls, same thing. They're going to use a lot of concepts from the Elder Scrolls games. Yeah. But it's just, like, any new, completely new universe that's trying to launch in 2022, man. It's like, man, because the problem is these game companies, they don't have infinite time, right? Like, they're all on budgets nowadays. So they're going to choose the play, the gameplay over the, the, the everything else, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, like, the world is going to suffer because of that. Like, there's just no way around it. Like, no matter what. Because, like, the, the good thing about WoW is it took them, like, you know, a bunch of years to make WoW, but they didn't really care. Like, Warcraft 3 was doing well, and they, yep. I guess they were making them at different times, so it didn't wasn't slowing them down. But, like, when it's still interesting to go back and look at that classic, that first classic deep dive panel. I was actually at BlizzCon for that. I watched that live. And, um, yeah, the guy told, like, told us about how, like, there's code and, and files from, like, I think it was, like, 1998 or something like that that started wow it's like wow man wow. that's pretty ridiculous that is amazing. yeah it was like 10 i was like something like 10 years prior to the game's launch Oof. yeah because i mean i can remember playing warcraft 1 in 1994 so yeah yeah that, if, if there's code in the files from then yeah makes sense I mean, basically, they just they they probably knew they wanted to make a bunch of games, so they just started initiating like a database. But I'm sure they didn't start actually working on on WoW. I think it was, you know, probably much later than 1998. But regardless, I assume I don't remember when Warcraft three came out, but I assume that would have been around the same time. So yeah. I would imagine they probably because they originally they were using a lot of models from Warcraft three and World of Warcraft, <laughs> uh, and then they eventually redid all of them, but. Yeah, I mean, they still use a lot of the sounds from, like, peons and yep. uh, peasants. It's basically, yeah, like it's basically, like, I felt like they were meant to be companion games, and then they decided to take a WoW a little bit more serious, so they basically remade everything, but... Well, and, and I, I always can, can remember hearing that uh, the the Orc campaign, like, the actual one that's after the main story in Dude. Warcraft 3, is, is a beta, essentially, for or an alpha for War, or World of Warcraft. Like Cop, it. yeah, I, I agree with all that. Really good point. You're a very smart individual. Do you um? Do did we forget to do something? Uh, don't know. What did we forget to do? Check the auction house. Oh, son of a diddle! <laughs> Man, uh... I don't know. My memory's awful. If yours is gonna be parallel to mine, we are in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> I was the one reading the quest. It was your job to remember. You're right. I'll take it. Actually, I'll take the blame. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll fly from Redridge to Stormwind and go check yeah. it again. Yeah, for sure, for sure. J Storm says flask of oil is needed for the Westfall Lighthouse quest. By the way. Yeah, I knew it was something. Uh, did you see my new transmog in Discord? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's similar to uh, what I'm using as well, right? I l that set is just fucking gorgeous. Like, it's actually insanely nice looking. And what is that sword? Is that part of the artifact? I think that's right. And then, then there's that Cataclysm shield. I think that's Cataclysm, right? It's it's pretty good. I'm not a fan of the shoulders, but everything else... Solid. Yeah, the only thing better would be is if the, the blue was a little bit closer to Bastion blue, but... You're, you're never going to quite get exactly that. Oh, what? On the shield? Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty good, though, to be fair. I mean, the color scheme's solid. Those legs are just great. Like, the, the or the boots, I guess they're the boots, yeah. Really, that set is... That's one of the best sets in the whole game, if you ask me. Agreed. The other four are good. Like, the, Necrom uh, the Necromancer-looking one from Necrolord is awesome, too, but... It's not like, you know, it's it's almost like it's awesome, but it's almost like we've seen it before, so I'm less impressed by it. Whereas this this one is like I've never seen anything like this before in this game. It's amazing. Like those ones from the 9.2 zone that they, they just look incredibly unique. 
Oh yeah, yeah, those um, the broker ones, right? Is that the ones yeah. you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a visually expand, a visually impressive patch. Hopefully there'll be enough for both of us on the auction house and we all have enough money. I don't know if it's even going to happen. Yeah. I guess even if we buy a few, it'll just save us a lot of time regardless, even if we don't finish the quest. Yeah, I mean, at worst comes to worst, we might be able to eliminate one of the mobs that we need to... Uh... Yeah, it would be good. The thing we need the least is stuff from the boars, because there's two quests to kill the boars. So... Yeah. I guess, wait, can we buy Gortex liver too? Maybe. Yes. I remember oh, okay. buying Gortex livers. I remember Oh, that. okay. So maybe we can... Alright, that's fine. Then. Can we buy a handful of oats? No, no, no. That's the stuff on the ground, yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff on the ground. Wait, is it not in here? No, I guess not. It's in the end or something? Must be. So, Stout Mal sent you. Well, I owe him. What I am about to tell you could cost me my life. The Defias gang is up to something big. Last I heard, they were working in conjunction with various gnolls, kobolds, and even goblins. Take this note to Stout Mal. It explains as much as I know on the subject. Have a good one. I'm going to read it too. Stout Mantle. Some nerve sending a total stranger to discuss the Defias gang. Once you saved my life, and now you put it in great peril. But I owe you. The Defias Brotherhood is larger than you think. Every mine from Westfall, Westfall to Elwyn Forest is under their control. Kobolds and gnolls have been enlisted to do their dirty work. They have goblins crafting metal monsters to place in the Westfall fields to prey on the superstitions of the local residents. They have a vast underground network built. Bigger than you know, Stout Mantle. From Booty Bay right to Stormwind Keep. You may be a brave paladin, but you are a fool if you think you can shut them down. They are working on a weapon of mass destruction. After all, if there is one thing stonemasons know, it's how to build big. You didn't think this was about pumpkin farms and vineyards, now did you? I repaid your favor. Now, leave me be. Wow, that was, that was intense. That was a big bit of information there about the stonemasons. Yeah, that might be, yeah, because, yeah, up until right now, we didn't even hear that name. And on top of that, he also mentioned that all the stuff in uh, Westfall, or all this, all the, the basically the Jasper Lord Mine and all that stuff in Elwyn Forest, those mobs are there because of the Defias, huh? Mm-hmm. God, they're really a far, far-reaching, like, group. It's actually very insane. I mean, and it, it's, it's interesting, because I was thinking about this when we were reading some of the Dwarven stuff, is... They keep talking about how the armies are away on distant battlefields and who sent them there, if not Lord Prestor, Lord and Lady Prestor. Yes, that's that's my favorite part about all the human stuff is that it's not only like one big, um, it's all involved, but it's actually like not only involved at this level, but it's, it's like a max level storyline point as well. Hello. All right, so we'll go to Stormwind. Farewell. Uh, anyway, um, Jick says, with memories this bad, that one raider that was suddenly out of town makes more sense. <laughs> uh, it's Truth Guard, the weapon, yeah. I remember grabbing those oats for the Sin Ru Runner Blanche mount. They should have more objectives like that, make you explore old expansions. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's cool. That's part of the, cat the, the, the Shadowlands thing? Hmm. Wow, that's cool. I keep meaning to go that's get Sin Runner Blanche. I'm going to have to have do to that, do that on stream one of these Damn, days. Damn, that's, that's really neat. Yep. 
And Jick says, I was unable to find a Bastion blue shield, but this one has yellow holy light that glows in game. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, I just used like a gray shield because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Emerald Raven says, Grats cop on getting level 15. Thank you so much, Emerald. We're getting there. We might actually get high enough that we can do the uh, the Paladin quest next time. That would be cool. Unfortunately, oh, the level Paladin, 20 the Paladin level... quest is going to take us into a dungeon. Yeah, SFK, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that one. There's a way you can solo it, I know, but I don't know. I wonder if we could we could solo enough just to get the, the, the parts we need. And then just head out. I think so. Yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah. There's some weird exploity stuff you can do in that dungeon that makes it apparently relatively easy to do. Be interesting if if I could. Yeah, if I, we could, we can learn that because a lot of the level twenty class quests go into SFK. So when I'm doing my class quest video. <laughs> be nice because the i know like i still got to do the blood oh yeah one. i get you yeah 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 you definitely it's not a problem yeah, yeah. we can learn i'm that. sure it works on on every class okay so let's see so we're looking for gortus now i already have a few of some of these do you have anything of anything um i have three gortus snouts already and oh okay perfect. that's pretty much it okay so let me just, we'll see what's here, and um, I doubt there will be like a surplus, but if there is, we can buy it all. If not, I'll just, we'll see what's happening, I guess. Okay, stringy. So we can just do this. Stringy, vulture, meat. Oh, there's... Okay, so there's a bunch of them listed together. How many do you need? Stringy, vulture, meat? I need three. Oh, you have none. Okay. I have none. All right. So there's a group of two and a group of three. You buy the group of three, and I'll buy the group of one or two. Because I need two. I will buy the group of three. Yeah, there you go. Cool. It's actually gone from the auction house. I don't think I've ever seen this. Like, I've never done auction housing with another person before. That's funny. Nice. Murloc eyes. This one, if we can't find, it's. Okay, there is six. Um, I'll just buy it out and I'll split it with you. Sounds good. So we're done with that quest. Gore tusks oh, okra, now. Okra. We need still need okra. Well, no, I know. I'm, I'm, we're done with that portion. Sorry. Um, gore tusks now. I still need one of eleven silver. Oh boy, I'm not gonna buy that. That's way too much money. Um, and then okra. Okay. About so how many o okra do you need? I still need three okra. I will buy Perfect. the five, okay. and you can. Okay, buy good. Two. You buy the five, and we'll split it. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I only need two okra. You need three, so there's five. You buy that, and then we'll split Perfect. it, just like we did with the murloc eyes. And then we um, need Gortes liver. Should be a bunch of those too. There is six. A really expensive pack of them. Yeah. There's um, eight actually. There's not all well, these nine on the auction house. I'll just buy them all out and we'll split them up. And You're going to buy them? Okay. Yeah, I'll buy them all out. We'll split you them up. You have enough money for this? Yeah, I, I should have plenty because I got 60 okay. silver. This is only going to take me 19 more silver, so I, I'm fine. All right. Sounds good. And then we'll, st we'll still need to kill some gore tusks, but. I still need, yeah, I still need a snout anyway. I'm not paying 11 silver for one snout. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's fine. And then um, we'll finish that up just naturally. Sounds good. I think that's all the things we can get off the auction house. Yep. That worked out really well. Surprisingly well. <laughs> so one of those okra and two of those. And we've got all that. We've got all of the Gortusk snouts. Let me trade it to you, sir. And 
I think that's it. Okay. All right, so I still need five. All right, I still need three livers and then the one snout, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is done. That'll work really well, I think. Cool. And then we'll go back and do the... Uh... Well, we can take the flight path back there, right? Everything's good with that? Yep. Cool. We'll do that quest, record that, and then we'll get back to the rest of the questing. Yep, yep, yep. Do you have any time frame for how long you can play today? I, I can play for as long as we need to play today. So Awesome, okay. I'll probably go till about 6 or so tonight, since we started a little later. Light be with you. That, that's about um, less than 3 hours. Gotcha. Alright, so Take flying us. back to Sentinel Hill. I'll go run and turn the and do the, read and turn in the one that was human only right away. Sweet. Hello. You're back from Stormwind. Old Osric send the armor? Great, you brought me the armor. We'll get those to, uh, that we'll get this divided to those who need it immediately. Thank you, Terranar. Your efforts have been great help to us. And now that you're no stranger to Griffins, hope you'll come to lend your aid to Sentinel Hill often. Have a good one. King's honor, friend. It's good to see you back, Edwin. What did Wiley have to say for himself? Ah, oh, I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance. But this information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stone maces. Perhaps there was a slip of tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stone masons? Only one man would know for sure. Matthias Shaw, head of SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. Go with honor, friend. I should probably just go do that too, huh? Yeah. Head back to Stormwind. Let's get, it's, let's get these all done because I do want to have yeah. all of these recorded and I don't want to end up forgetting yeah. or doing them in the wrong order or something. Anyway, Jig says uh, he's about to go to his dad's and eat some fried okra. Do we want him to pick him up some? Is that you're serious? Fried okra? <laughs> huh. Yeah, we could we could use some more maybe. How are you? Do you want some cop? No, thanks. I, I, I'm not a big okra guy, but uh, my palate it actually sounds like something you would love. Yeah, my palate and Jix's palate is very different. So, I think yours and everyone else's as well, honestly. <laughs> no darn Americans and their lack of love of Hawaiian pizza. Jix is unsure if the quest guy will accept the ones from his his father's. Yeah, I. Yeah. I Probably, probably not, yeah. Probably not. They're fried. You know, that's why. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. He says it'll be good if you put some ketchup on it. <laughs> fried okra and ketchup, yep. <laughs> Peanut butter as well, perhaps. <laughs> the good thing I like you guys so much, I tell you that. <laughs> it's certainly not a bad thing. 
It helps. Indeed. Theo says, what the heck is okra? I don't know. It's a vegetable of some kind, I believe. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> Fully I mean, it, it literally could be anything. Americans deep fry everything, so. Okay, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it literally could be anything. Yeah, it could be metal. <laughs> could be a bolt. <laughs> it's a southern dish. I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> yeah. Look, all I'm saying is you have deep fried ice cream. Enough said. That's pretty good, though, I bet. <laughs> Theo says they have fried donuts. Yeah, but donuts are meant to be deep fried. <laughs> that's the yeah, main way of coo that's, cooking. <laughs> yeah, that's what a donut is, yeah. <laughs> What can I do for you? Welcome to SI7 headquarters, Gidwin. What business do you have with me? I'm a very busy man. Oh wait, I wanted to read the quest. Or read the note, sorry. Start over. Wait, no, this is just the same quest. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. So he just gives us the note that Wiley gave to us to give to him. Okay. Yeah. Greetings. This matter might be more complex than Stout Mano realizes. The Stonemason's Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the recognition, after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I have written a more detailed account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once. Be careful. Lord Stoutmantle, led by Edwin Van Cleef, the Stonemasons Guild was composed of the most skilled builders among men. The Stonemasons helped to rebuild the broken city of Stormwind that was raised by the orcs during the First War. Van Cleef and his tradesmen were peerless builders, and their work and artistry were evident in its edifices of the Cathedral of Light and Stormwind Keep itself. However, the nobles of Stormwind ran up a huge debt by expanding the kingdom's military presence throughout Elwyn and into Stranglethorn. The massive debt crippled the kingdom's economy and stripped Van Cleef and his stonemasons of their promised rewards. After spending years toiling to rebuild the glorious city, the stonemasons were left broke, forgotten by the city's corrupt officials. Having personally known Edwin Van Cleef my entire life, I can tell you that facing him as a foe is quite a daunting task. You see, he was my childhood friend, and I personally trained him in the ways of the shadows, thinking that one day he might consider a career alongside me. If Van Cleef is heading up the Defias Brotherhood, may the light have mercy on our souls. Pretty cool. Yeah. Cool I'll stuff. Always... Cool stuff. Edwin Van Cleef. What a fucking character. Huh? I mean, I'll tell you what. That, I think, is maybe the most recognizable villain in any... I mean, I don't think there's another storyline that is that powerful, right? Yeah. Not, not at all. Like I mean, it, again, it mentions the the nobles. It goes like this. Yeah. this storyline just keep, goes throughout the. Yeah, it's probably experience. always been Anixia, right? Like all of these issues are from Anixia, even before Warcraft, right? Even before yep. World of Warcraft, huh? Yep, the Anixian Nefarian, Lord and Lady Prester. Yeah. So, kind of um, 
real quick, I just want to bring... So, this is bizarre. What is going on here? This this building gets completely destroyed in Cataclysm? This is not here in, in Stormwind today. Um, I think it is, but this whole area is just reconfigured, right? Like, all these walls are gone. I think yeah. it's probably because this is a lot where Deathwing lands and stuff, right? Oh, well, maybe. A lot of this is destroyed by Deathwing when he lands in the city. Yeah, I was just shocked when we walked in here. I was like, wait, what's going on? It's just like walls and everything. It's like we're walking into a building, but if you come to the exact same spot we're in in, in live, wow, it's like this big grassy area with training dummies and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think this building's still here. Yeah, and this is, we can't actually go in here because uh, we don't have a PvP rank. Have you ever noticed that? I've never attempted to go in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't go in unless you're a knight or higher in PvP. Interesting. That's a very cool concept, right? It is. It's very but, similar to the idea of player housing, but just uh, for specific <laughs> players, you know? I suppose so, yeah. A clubhouse where they can hang out. Yeah, that's all it really is. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Um, he says, I've seen people unironically eat fried sticks of butter. That's definitely a lot worse for you. Yes. Theo fat, says, fried fat. That's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just say it. <laughs> you might be right, actually. I'll, I'll fry everything. I've, <laughs> I've switched to your position. I now agree with you. <laughs> Theo, however, has switched to your position. He says, okay, I rest oh. my case. You guys are allowed to fry everything. Guess because donuts are so tasty. Yeah, I guess he's right. Actually, yeah, donuts are like the fried food, right? Yep. Donuts and French fries. Yes. And I guess chicken too, kind of popular. Yeah, absolutely. Especially Kentucky Fried Chicken. That that's a company. Yep. Well met. All right, back to Sentinel Hill. Hopefully, like staying there this time. Yes. Although I can I can almost feel them saying. Go to Duskwood for help. I, I know there's something in Duskwood, <laughs> but I don't know what. Yeah, me either. I don't remember why. I know the Stalvin quest line takes you all three zones, but I don't remember what this quest line does for us. I think that might be another one. I think that might be when we do the messenger or something. I don't remember the yeah. order of any of these quests. It's been a very, very long time. So it's probably been... The last time I probably did this was probably when I was a child. And classic, at least. I don't think any of these quests exist in Livewire, right? No, no. It's all, it's all very different in Livewell. Because, of course, Edward yeah. Van Cleef is dead. He's dead, yeah. And you're doing the whole mystery of uh, the dead minds. As the whole oh, thing. yeah, you're trying to figure out why there's, like, Defias again, and it's his daughter or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But still, that whole story... I mean, even past capitalism, that's an extension of the same story. So, yeah, and I bet if they do a revamp of the zone in 10.0, there'll be another Defias storyline, right? Yeah, I can see that happening, honestly. I could see a revamp, a world revamp in 10.0. I think so, too. And if they do it, dude, me and you on the beta, we're going to be spending yeah. a lot of time reading those quests, just like Jesse back in the day, huh? Yes! Absolutely. King's honor, friend. Did Master Shaw shed any light on things? Edwin Van Cleef. I know the name well. I think to think that a man so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Gidwin, my scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the route roads between Moonbrook and the Gold Coast Quarry and the Django Lode Mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. Go with honor, friend. Okay, so that's that's yeah, I remember this now. So these other quests are just not related to this at all. This is the main storyline that takes yeah. you into Dead Mines. Everything else is just basically kill credits. So, okay, so let's try to finish up all of these easy quests first, and then we'll try to find the messenger, and then we'll turn them all in at once. Sounds, Sounds good? good. I still need these fucking boars. 
That was smart to go to the auction house, though. You'd yeah. never do that in like a speed run, but it's gonna save us time for sure. A lot of greens, though. Absolutely. The chest here. Then we loot this already. You did, but it's respawned. Respawned. Yeah, I'm seeing more chests in classic than I am in cl in a cataclysm version. Yeah, some assholes stole all the good stuff. I hate when people do that. Okay, we definitely got to figure out this okra thing, though. Or this um, oats thing. Because this is actually... This took me, like, most... This was a lot more time spent on this than I wanted to spend the other night. So you see there's just one in this wheelbarrow here. So you, you get that one. I'll kill, kill a mob while you do it. Okay. I'll just try to hopefully find enough of them. another one over there good yeah, same thing I'll just let you finish that quest first and then we can alternate yeah, I think they're all around this field or any of the uh, the fields oh there's another one right there too okay they're just way more this is like there's nobody actually in this zone doing these quests right now so when I did it on the other server, it was like a lot more people doing these quests, obviously. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, you see that one by the tree over there? Uh, yep. That's three of eight. I love, like, the animation on the dwarf auto attacks, too. He kind of just, like... Lifts the hammer over his head and kind of slams it. Pretty nice. Two-handed weapon animations in Classic WoW are very unique looking. Absolutely. So let me know if you see any others. It's hard to... Yeah. It's kind of hard to see where they... Oh, here's one right here. That's four of eight for me. You know what I mean by the hidden chicken quest, yeah? No. There is a quest where if you do the chicken emote to a chicken often enough, it will pop up a quest to give oh, you Oh, yes. I have that quest in my inventory. Because people always kept sharing it. I remember in Korax Revenge, people kept sharing it. And I was just like, oh my god, get this out of my freaking... <laughs> so I just accepted it and never turned it in. I'm going to spend on my... I assume it's an alliance-only quest for him. Yeah, there is a, a horde version in uh, Tears Fall. Oh, uh, really? Yep. I don't know. It's if also the horde... with a chicken. Yeah, it's also with a chicken. Like, oh, that's cool. I don't know if there is, if it's in, if it's in uh, vanilla or if it didn't come in until TBC. But I do remember doing it in Tears Fall. Gotcha. It just hovered over a uh, oats thing, and I don't see it. It just like appeared on my screen. Oh, it's over to our left, yeah. I get you. I just grabbed this one. Forgot of the agreement. <laughs> I just agreed to. Uh, anyway, um, so then the 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 pocket watch is up here, right? I think. Yeah, it's inside in his dresser. I think he said. Okay, good. I'll do that too. I see a handful of oats. Six of eight. Okay. I thought there was mobs in here. I guess somebody must have just cleared them out. 
Probably that hunter. There's a bunch of oats in here, too. Didn't expect that. This will be bag seven. And there's a treasure chest in here, too. That's that's. This is where there should be a treasure chest. In a place with, like, six Defias mobs guarding the entrance. Good work, Blizzard. Smart. I actually wonder if... I always thought they just converted the classic pressures into the the cataclysm versions that give experience, but I wonder if they just removed them and added changed all of them because I, I don't think I've ever seen. Actually, I don't know. I've never really done this zone, so I don't even know. Yeah, the rest of the oats are yours, sir. Oh, okay. I went out and a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Yeah, I guess there's just the other zone. The other, I, I really, I probably missed a lot of them too because they're in weird spots. I never would have expected there to be two in there. Yeah, and I mean, like, there's, uh, quest items are, are harder to find in Classic just because they don't glow the way they do it. In they don't glow, yeah, you're right. So we've been trained to look for that glow, and it's a lot harder to see. I Yeah, I think you're right about that. Do you still need more stuff? Yep. No, I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten anyone since we got her. What did you need? A liver? I need uh, three livers and one snout. Yeah, I just got a liver and a snout. I don't know if I can oh, give cool. you the snout, but I... Yep, I you can. can. Okay, cool. I mean, we just bought all of it on the auction house, right? Oh, that's right. Okay, so one... Cortez Slipper. And... One Cortez Snout. Just gotta separate them out. Yeah, we haven't turned any in, so make sure you have enough. Snout icon is so funny looking. It's just like a pig face. I got another liver and snout. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Do you still need the snout or just the liver? No, nope, just one liver. Or two livers, actually. I can give you one. Wherever you went. That's what the Paladin Pals do, right? That's right. We support each other. Trading that liver.
nice thing is we can put any extras that we have of those things that we get on the auction house at the end of the day. Yeah, I guess true, yeah. Yeah, they'll probably sell, because there was very few up there. You got another one. I got another one. Let's trade me that one, then we're done with the, the boars. That saves us so much time. Funny that you got them all. Okay, cool. So that's it for that quest. Now we just need to, need to find more of these oats. I bet some might respawn here. Or just yeah. stay in this general area. We still need to kill more of these Harvest Watchers anyway. I don't know how often they respawn though. I don't, hey, there's one over there now, so I bet, yeah. I think we got that one already, so I bet there's more respawning. Yeah. Benny Blanco as well. Is that a, That's the name of somebody, isn't it? Isn't that like a real world reference? It sounds really familiar. I can't say for sure. I think so, because that's the guy is in that house that he wasn't there when we went in. I think that's the name of a gangster of some rapport in real life. Sounds like it. Nothing in here. Actually, I think I remember finishing the quest by where I turned it in, too, so... Bandanas, though, we're just not getting... Not making any progress on that, homie. Yeah, I seem to recall always farming them near the windmill here. Or the, the big tower over here. The bandanas? Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of Defias and they respawn decently. You mean this uh, mine, or what tower? No, no, the tower just over to our left here. Oh, the silo. Yeah, silo. Okay, yeah. I thought you meant this is the only tower I was aware of was back in the zone in the middle of the, no, the city, no, no, so I was no. That was uh, not we, what I meant. We'll go mean? there and kill more of these uh these machine dudes. So that's funny too, because like when you come to the zone, I I'm like, what the hell are these things? Why are they there? And then that quest that we just read, that actually explains them. Like they're made by goblins to make this area inhospitable. Made yeah. no sense. I'm like, how the hell did these things come like this? Like, what what has happened here? <laughs> it's such a bizarre looking mob. And that's one of the bosses in Dead Mines too. Is Helix Gearbreaker or something like that? Is a boss in the mine, a goblin. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy who made them all. Because then in the the new Dead Mines, that's one of the actual bosses is killing a Harvest Watcher. Yeah, a, G a big old Harvest Watcher. Yeah, does a whirlwind. I remember. I remember it being difficult and heroic when the expansion first launched. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I would always come here if I was leveling a rogue. Uh, no matter of my faction, because... That. These guys drop a very unique piece of transmog. Uh, yep. Not transmog, but actual just gear. I know what I mean. It's a gray item. Yeah, it's a, a mask. I used to love it. Because, of course, at low levels, you'd never get headgear, right? Yep. Did you know that, uh, I guess it must have been in Legion, in the Order Hall, there's like a vendor that sells one of every color mask that could be possibly in the game. Did you know oh, that? Nice. I did not know that, because I haven't... That's another one of those that I've just always meant to do, is the, mm. the Rogue Legion, the Legion Rogue and yeah. all stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, there's something called, like, Coin of Air, which I guess is supposed to be a pickpocketing adventure. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And you use those Coins of Air to buy the transmog, different color, um, green, red, purple, blue, every, every color, I think. Nice. It's interesting, I didn't know that existed until somewhat recently. So much good stuff in Legion, I'm going to have to go back and redo a bunch of it, I think. It's shocking how many, yeah, small things like that they added to it. They really did listen to people saying, oh, I miss class quests, and really go whole hog. Yeah, it's just it. strange, because they must have put, like, an enormous amount of time into those, and then and they just give up on it. It's like, I wonder if they, like, have these groups of people working on these things and it took them like years to do all that stuff for legion and now it's taken them years to do something for another expansion that's coming maybe it's just like i don't really know where that time went like yeah 
they must have spent an enormous amount of time on all the uh, the class order hall and everything and all the stuff in it. And then at BFA, they don't do anything remotely similar to that. So I don't know what time they would have spent, like you know, where they where that time went in BFA. Yeah. Somehow getting a lot of bandanas myself, but you have very few, right? Yeah, I have two. I have, two. I have eight. <laughs> That's strange. Well, as, as a wise man once said, RNG is RNG. Who said that? I do not know, but I, rec I recall repeating it many times. Okay, guys, do you have much success with Enhancement Shaman and Keys? I think Enhance is a lot better than it has been, historically. If you look back at the channel's history, um, there's quite a few videos basically comparing Enhance to Feral's efficacy in, in Legion. In Legion, they were, like, offensively awful at surviving. They had the least health of any spec in the game for some reason. And they also um, didn't have a good defensive CD. Basically, Ankh was, like, their defensive CD. And in Legion, that was ridiculously unacceptable because every boss could one-shot you. But nowadays, it doesn't really work like that anymore. So their potential problems with defense are much less, like, that, like it's not hurting hurting the classes nearly as much. But on top of that, they've also been given an incredibly good legendary, which offers a very good upfront burst DPS every minute. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they're a pretty good pick. It's just Ellie's much better and has been for a long time. So. It's going to be difficult to get the people who are playing Shaman to care about Enhance, no matter what they give. I mean, on top of that, Wind Fury, I mean, that's not a trivial matter. Like, getting Wind Fury is actually probably pretty good, even for Prod Mans. Yeah. I remember distinctly there being a kind of a channel meme of Enhance having to wear a... He's wearing a Stamp Flask! Yes, that was it, yeah. We were joking about that because these enhancement shamans would come in and they would literally just have no hope of surviving the bosses. And it was like, why is this class even like this? Um, and then we would, uh, I'd always joke like, man, they should probably just sell out and make sure they don't die and stuff. And then uh, that's exactly what happened. Some guy wearing an uh, enhancement shaman wearing a stamina flask in Legion <laughs> in one of the keys. And I remember like just cracking up laughing because I was like, oh, I guess, uh, I guess this guy agrees. So there was a lot of pushback at the time. People were like, no, bro, it's not that big of a deal and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, well, I think it is a big deal and you're just denying it, but whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I really enjoy I, I mean, I've only done solo stuff with it, but my Enhanced Shaman, is, I, I really do enjoy playing it. It feels very engaging. Oh, Enhanced is amazing. It's probably my favorite non-tank spec or non-healing spec too, I guess. Definitely my favorite melee DPS spec in the game right now. That being said, it does feel like he uh, healing yourself is part of the normal rotation. <laughs> it has the potential to be, yeah. Especially if you're like uh, Venthyr, you can chain heal or chain harvest off yourself and heal a bunch. Well, best for totem too, right? Like, you can, yeah. I you, don't know you, anything about the it, it, stuff. But. You just because it, it it does a lot of AOE healing <sighs> if you could do three yeah. healing spells while it's out. Oh well, that's not. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. That's like for Resto. I think any Enhance is going to do three healing spells while a big CD is down, are they? No. But in solo combat. But in, in MOP, uh, Siler, um in the beginning of MOP, Enhancement Shaman benefited from... Well, in all of MOP, Shaman, all Shaman, benefited from an incredibly powerful version of Ancestral Guidance. Oh, which yeah. whenever you deal damage, it heals. Incredibly powerful. It remained powerful the whole time. But Enhance also had this talent that uh, whatever like the Maelstrom thing was, mm -hmm. like however the buff worked, it would also buff uh, Healing Rain. Um, and Siler would take, it was just basically on like a defensive talent tier, so he would just take that and drop Healing Rain every time he could. And he was actually out healing Jesse. <laughs> he <was laughs> weird, like legit, it's not even a joke. We have five, five healers and Siler. And Siler would be doing more healing than Jesse, who was our fifth healer. So I was like, okay. Well, that was only in the Jesse knew what spells to hit. <laughs> yeah, that was only in the first tier of Cataclysm, and then they nerfed the hell out of that talent. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it sounds like a joke, and it's a joke on Jesse's part, but it's also kind of just ridiculous. Like a DPS should never be able to heal that much. Like I'm talking yeah. about, he was healing like 
you know, 10% of the healing was coming from an enhancement shaman, so. Can heal to get Vesper Totem to pop now with two legendaries. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I don't think anybody's going to ever use healing spells as a DPS, though. <laughs> I can't even get them to do that when it's a Grievous week, let alone part of the rotation, so. Yay, I got my third ban bandana. Nice, ma'am. <laughs> I'm very interested in playing it with the Feral Spirit set bonus. I know, the set bonus for Feral yes. seems so fun. Same with Ellie. I just hope that these set bonuses, I don't know, like, I, you know, in the past, like, if you wanted a set bonus, you had to raid. That was the only way you can get it. Yeah. And I know that's not what they're doing now, but it's just like, I think it's still going to be pretty hard to get these on alts and stuff, especially if you're not actually raiding, so I don't know. Yeah. They're a really cool concept, but I do think that set bonuses were removed for a reason, and unless they figured out how to fix that problem, I don't think people are going to really enjoy them as much as they could. I think it's a really good thing to bring back for a final tier, you know, like where you're going to be massively overpowered anyway. It could be, yeah, that's a good way to look at it. But I, I do like them not being there for the first couple of tiers. I kind of agree, actually. It does actually that when you put it that way, that makes complete sense. Yeah, it's actually a really good idea. Can't find any of these okra or any of these oats bags. I don't know if there was just none here or what. I thought there would be a bunch here because there's things on the map showing that they should be here. Oh yeah, there's one by this. Okay, there's one by this uh, scarecrow. Interesting. Gotcha. I didn't expect that. I didn't think they would be in the middle of the field. So basically all that remains is the bandanas. And then I just got to figure out this oats situation. And bandanas, then we do the gnolls. No pause, yeah. Yeah, oh, that oh! Very... What about the uh, the simple compass? Oh yeah, where is that quest? I think that's down south. I think that's like yeah, that's later. Okay. That's uh, I guess I mean I guess we can go there. No, I now, just mention but... it because I it, it's listed separately on my things, so I just noticed. It. Yeah, that that's that's the quest we picked up in Stormwind from last. Uh... I think I I need yeah. Remind me when we when we go do that quest. I need to read that for this episode. Gotcha. Because I picked it up, but we didn't actually... I didn't record me reading it. I thought that quest was actually part of... This whole quest chain for the Defias, but I actually don't think... I think it's just like a single quest that... Is offered, now that I think about it. God, these guys are just... Even when there's like one other per there's like one other person in each area, and that's enough to make this quest very difficult for us to finish. Yeah. As they say, as welcome much as to I... classic. <laughs> what, what'd you say? I said, as they say, welcome to classic. Yeah, pretty much. That's, I, it sucks so bad because this game is so good, and the stories are excellent, and there's so much cool stuff in the in the zones and stuff. But like, this really kills it, man. Like. If I wasn't sure what I was doing in Classic, uh, mm -hmm. this would be a huge turnoff. I mean, you like run back and forth over and over again just for a hope of a single loot. I mean, like, this is ridiculous. We probably killed like 40 of these already. The fact that neither of us even, we haven't even looted 15 total is just not, this is not well made at all. Yep. I think for Season of Mastery 2, if they do another one, Season of Versatility. Um, they need to up the drop rates on, on everything and, and make it probably even like 50% um, instead of 40%. Yeah, I, I can totally support that. It's actually not anywhere near as fast as I thought it was going to be. Now that I've leveled a bunch of characters past level 20, it's actually kind of weird how um, it, it just doesn't seem like it's any faster than... Like, it's not actually impacting the, the pace at all. Like, I'm reading these guides and questing things on from the original classic, and I'm basically doing the exact same quest, and I'm the same level, level they were when they did them. I don't, I don't know why that's the case. The only thing I could think of is because I'm losing a massive amount of experience by dual boxing and not getting anything from mob kills, but yeah. it's not 30% is, or what is it, 40? 40% 40 is not anywhere near as much as I thought it was. The big thing is the elite quest, though. The elite quest probably give double the experience they used to. Yes. 
Rampage says Legion best expansion by far. It's a very good expansion. It ended in a very good way. I think it, the state of Legion's fina finale was the best part of any expansion, in my opinion. But the start was the worst, um, and it's the only time I ever actually considered quitting the game permanently. Yeah, I would say that uh, Legion had some really good ideas, but an absolutely awful start to it. So that does uh, kind of remind me of how, you know, that, that that taints the whole thing a bit for me. It's the the one big problem with Legion was obtaining legendaries, right? And that, when they yeah, fixed that, it was a, an amazing uh, expansion. It was it was legitimately like awful, like that. It was such an important part of the system and the expansion. Like you, you know what I mean. Like the legendaries yeah. were such a huge part, especially then. Like looking back on it, it's easy to say like, ah, the legendaries were kind of, you know, it's it's a it's a thing that they'll go on for years, and it wasn't that big of a deal. But at the time. I remember thinking like, dude, these legendaries, I need to get this as fast as humanly possible. Like, I need to get this. And I, I went weeks without having one on my Paladin. It, it caused such an anxiety and, and it was so unfun. I was like, and then I remember like, I, I was the last person to get the first one. And I was, when they allowed you to have two in the next patch, I was the last person to have the second one as well. I, I remember there's multiple people in the guild who already had three before I had two. And, and you know, I don't know, maybe I was like doing the wrong content or not enough of it. I think I was, again, not really doing a lot of world content. So maybe that was a big part of it, but it was just like, that's fucking awful, man. Like that, you can't have that. Like that was, that was like three months into the expansion. I still didn't have one. And then of course the big problem for me was I got the wrong legendary. I had the worst two legendaries, the first two that dropped. That's basically why I'm playing a Death Knight now is because <laughs> on top of the Holy Pally changes, um, and how bad I had the start of Legion go for me. I was like just completely done with with Pout and it was I was like I couldn't even look at the class anymore. I was just like man this this fucking sucks. This is the worst feeling in the world. And the DK legendaries were all excellent. Like there was no bad legendary. So I remember thinking like oh man if I um you know if I get any legendary on DK it's gonna be great. And I actually got the best one immediately. The first legendary I got in my DK was the wrists, which at the time was the best one before the chest and everything came out. Nice. So it's just I mean that's not a good system. <laughs> and I'm sure they know that and that's why they changed legendaries to work how they work in Shadowlands and stuff, but that can't be forgotten. I can't I can't go back and look at Legion fondly because of that. It's just always gonna be in my head. Yeah. It, it, that can see it tainting the entire expansion for you. Yeah, beyond. I mean, it really just put such a bad taste in my mouth that I mean, like, legitimately, I switched mains because of it. I've never switched mains before. That's the only time I ever played anything other than Paladin, and you know what I mean? And that yeah. was a huge part of why. Like, Blood Decay was always fun. It was fun in WAD. I'm sure it was fun in Mob too. I don't really remember very well, but I don't think it was ever not fun. So, I could have always played Blood Decay, but I didn't want to because a Paladin was even better. Yeah. And then they ruined the fucking... I mean, they, they, they destroyed that spec. I mean, they did the dumbest thing I've ever seen anyone do to a spec in, in Legion. And then on top of that, they the legendaries was just... It was so dumb. There was like literally only two that actually helped you heal. Everything else was like a utility legendary. And I remember thinking that would have been fine if they just made every legendary a utility legendary. It would have been fine. Then no, Then all the problems I just described, they wouldn't have existed. Because I could have just used any legendary I wanted and, um, you know, use them, mix and match them, whatever. It wouldn't matter. But because I didn't get the ring of the shoulders, it was like I was like losing like 10% of my potential healing. Maybe more. Can't remember how powerful they were. That's really Legion's bad start is why I'm playing Classic right now, honestly, because that's when the Star Race was in its throes as well, and I was just playing Classic instead of Legion. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> yep. And the Star Race launched like, at the end of WAD, and you know I was playing it, but um, I didn't expect to play it much when Legion launched, and then Legion came out, and it was causing me to be very unhappy. I was like looking for a way to play WoW, and I actually talked about all this in that video I released mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. Uh, Alright, anyway, I still need one handful of oats, and how many more bandanas do you need? Four. Okay, sure. On our way, and then we gotta go do the knolls. And then I guess the compass maybe still as well. Do that, and get the, yeah, I guess we'll get the compass and find the messenger. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to find. I'm pretty sure he spawns in Moonbrook, yeah. and moves all the way north. 
So I, I, I have all the way I always found him was just to start at West uh, at Sentinel Hill and just walk to Moonbrook, and I always found him somewhere along the way. Okay. Yeah, see, there's a handful of oats here. Like, look at that. It's just under a wheelbarrow. I never would have saw that. That's hard. This stuff's hard to find. You're right. Without the glow, it's actually very hard to find. I think it was easier back in the day, but we've become so used to the glow. Right? I guess but, so. It's also the game. Like, yeah. when we were playing it and somebody said, turn down um, ground clutter. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that was a huge thing, right? Yes. Like back in classic, there was no probably ground clutter slider, so it was just low by default. Now you can turn it way up, and it's kind of ridiculous. The game looks so different. This chest is back again. What is going on here? This wasn't even here. It just spawned like a second after. <laughs> I knew there was a dwarf around and decided, you know. Yeah. Yeah, can't be hiding from a quest. from a dwarf <laughs> when you're a treasure chest. That's a good impression, yeah. Well, you know, I try. It went slightly faster than I thought it would, but. I always forget the buff could call. Need yeah. to get a buff watch. Yeah, that would actually. I need to get that too. I had it for uh, the original classic, but I hate how they combined classic into TBC. So all my add-ons and configurations from classic is now just on TBC. <laughs> if I had to do it again, I'd have to set it all up. I also think mob density is way higher in Classic. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Again, I think that's one of those things that they just did not understand. Yes, I actually completely agree with that. Because when I was doing that Hillsbrad quest, it made me really... It made It's very obvious that that's the case. There's no way they would have added that many mobs in that small of an area. And then you were expected to kill them that in that high volume it's like it doesn't even make sense it's, it's just a freaking million mobs all within probably like 100 yards of actual gameplay space and um i don't know it's just very strange they did that a couple places though like the gold bar all farm or whatever in arathi there's just like a million peons or something all standing there oh yeah Yeah, I can remember one very specific group of quests. Um, and I was leveling my uh, my rogue through Arathi on TBC, being very difficult because it was very high concentration of mobs that had a spell that needed to be interrupted, or it would one shot you. Oh yeah. And it was very hard to. Uh, to recognize that, especially if you pulled more than one. Hmm. Uh, Gig says, I'm going to attempt to pug raid again next patch. Yeah, pugging raid. Well, if you ever, uh, feel like you want to join a guild, let me know. But yeah, the, uh, I wonder what pugging raid must be like. The beginning of a patch. I remember Silo used to do it a lot, and he had success with it. But then once people start getting into Mythic, obviously that's kind of the end of it, because the realm has to have enough players to pug Mythic. Not possible in our realm, but I bet others it is. Did you get any pause? Um, you got one. One. Yeah. We killed seven mobs and got one. Oh my god. Uh <sighs> The leveling guide actually didn't include that quest, and I was wondering why. That would but be. But now I think I might realize why. That would be why. 
Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is. <laughs> I'm starting to lose it a bit, a little bit. In my throat. So give me. A, I understand. If you have to, uh, if we got to stop early, just let me know. Yeah, I just need some water. It's <laughs> yeah. a little better. Nowhere near as bad just talking, but when I was yeah. uh, doing the do, doing the voices, especially like orcs and tauren and stuff, last week, it was mm. it, it was really bad because I had just gotten a throat cold and not really respected it. I guess is a good I, way I to put imagine, it. Yeah. <laughs> I always used to have problems when me and Arno would do the Pokemon games because I was I I tried to do like if you ever remember that I remember. Tunnel. <laughs> That fucking like German Japanese voice. It like changed every time I did the voice. I would just like scream. I don't know where that even came from. I just remember like I, I we had done a few episodes together, and I was like, man, you know what? It'd be because I, I I don't really feel like people do that when they do let's plays. They don't try to like voice act. Mm -hmm. They just try to like read. They just like read the quest. And it's like, man, if we can just actually give unique voices to all these characters, it could be really fun. Yeah. And I remember looking up like how to do different voices. And one of the tips was like, don't do a voice in the same um, like volume. Like try to make your voice louder or softer, and that will change the perception of the voice you're doing. So I just remember thinking like, all right, let's do it as loud as I possibly can. I just remember like the first time I ever did that, I just started screaming, and Arno was just like <laughs> laughing his fucking ass out of the loud. I have enough bandanas now. We we're good. Oh really? Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. So yeah, let's just follow this road south, and this will be where the the dude should be. And if we get to the Saladin farm or whatever it is, no, that's not that one. I don't know. Whatever that farm is down there, we'll stop it and get that pocket Sounds watch. But rem remind me, I have to record the actual quest itself. Sure. There's a bunch of no paws just up here too. Stop oh the yeah, that's a good idea. Forgot we were doing that. Yes, yeah. I uh, I discovered the other day because I I went and did uh, I recorded the orc warrior first couple set of the quests. I discovered do that I when I go to do an orc voice and I say the word warrior, and I didn't even realize it, it was completely subconscious until I was listening back. I I say it like the way it's said in Warcraft One, like the the total hokey voice warrior. You know, just like oh. Warrior. That's yeah. funny. I remember that. The way that the orcs talk is completely hokey in a Warcraft one, right? It's really cheesy. Yeah. I yeah. Remember. And I, 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 I do it, not even thinking. It's just like, oh, that's hilarious. It's funny. That that's how ingrained Warcraft is with me. I, I don't even think about it. I just do cheesy things. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm the same way. Get a buff too when you can. This is kind of the trick to WoW, though, like, it, it, these quests are a joke, like, we're three levels higher than them, and these mobs are no no threat, like, just don't do quests when you're not the right level. I think that's why everybody <laughs> thinks, like, Classic is hard. Yeah, I could we just, see that. We just pulled four mobs, and we're never in any danger there. I had Bubble and Land hands up, and obviously we could have just actually healed each other, too, you know? Yeah. It's like, no, nah, I don't know. Now, my lay on hands is down for another 55 minutes, but I still have bubble. 
Yep. I mean, I used land hands maybe like once in this whole playthrough, and I think it was by accident. <laughs> I remember using it at some point and being like, oh god, I really needed that. I don't remember when that was. A gnome, look at that guy. Gave me intellect. Wow, that was nice of him. Yeah. Drive by buffs. Welcome to classic. Yeah, I do like buffs. I'll tell you, it's always a, a feature. Let's go and kill that scout though, because this guy's raining chaos on us. Still thinking he's playing Warcraft 3, raining chaos. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Thanks for the heal. No problem. I saw you were getting a little low. I was uh, waiting to bubble, but I guess I'll, I won't bubble this playthrough. I played a Paladin very long. I know when I can bubble. I figured I'd save In fact, uh, it's funny because the guy who I basically like took his account off him for a while and played on that account, um, Sean and his brother used to play in arena with him all the time. And he was always like, yeah, he's a good player, but he never uses bubble. Like, he'll die with bubble off CD, and in arena, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never forget that. I remember him you know, telling me that, thinking like, okay, well, I have to get better, and I need to never be the person who never uses bubble. Because it's the most overpowered spell in the game, right? I mean, yeah. it's a, especially in l later expansions, it's a very short CD, a full immunity that lasts for a few seconds. I mean, I don't know how long it lasts here. This is the shit version, too. We're eventually going to get actual bubble. This is just... I don't know what this is. It's like a weak version of it for some reason. It only lasts 6 seconds. I think it eventually lasts 12 seconds. can't remember. But, yeah, either way... Um, lasts a pretty long time. can really break the game with it. Yeah, I mean, I can remember jumping off of Thunder Bluff and using it to... Right. Kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, because the only other immunity in the game in Classic was Ice Block, and that was a talent. So you had to have a Frost uh, frost build for that. Good thing I got I five purify. out of eight paused. Yeah, me too. Cool. Good That's thing funny. I bought Purify because I had a disease on me. Yep, me too. Those guys put diseases on us. Let's start slash plate out. Let's see. Nine hours to 15. Mm -hmm. Not almost bad considering 16. we're reading all the quests, right? Yeah, almost 16. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, obviously, once we turn these in, we'll probably be pretty close to 17. <laughs> we have like five quests to turn in, right? Yep. Soon to be six and seven quests to turn in, honestly. Eight, almost, because way. we got mysterious message as well. What's that? That's the one with the uh, the messenger's mysterious message. Oh, is it? Yeah, because we got simple compass, no pause, a mysterious message to get. And then we'll have eight quests to turn in. God, inventory is full. Uh, yeah, mine is as well. Just gonna have to delete some of this rough stone. I don't know why I have even have that. Oh, I have a better cloak in my. I have two better cloaks in my inventory. Oh yeah, I forgot about cloaks. Yeah, me too. I have way better cloaks. You're right. Okay, uh, I think. Hey, you know what? Let me read it first because I don't want to have to read it while the mobs are respawning on us or something stupid. It seems an eternity since I was a boy working the farm in Westfall. They say you can never go back, and it's true. Doubly true in my case. My family's home has been burned down and taken over by thieves. I have spoken with my father about the fate of some of my possessions, including my first compass. He was unable to save them. However, he also says that they should be hidden away on the farm. You'll find the Alexton farmstead west of Sentinel Hill. Perhaps you can go and retrieve it for me. So now we just gotta clear all this out. 
Probably should have came here first. I didn't realize how many mobs there were here. God, there's a lot of mobs. Jesus. We're the paladin pals. We, we got this. Oh, I don't. I know that. It's just we 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 could have gotten bandanas from these, so we kind of lost some lost some time here. Ah. Ah. I assume these are the next mob type too, so we're also <laughs> doing that wrong as well. Looters and pillagers, I think that's the next mob type that we have to kill. God, yeah. look at this. This is crazy. Uh, Alright, let's kill that mage, the pillager, quickly. Casters just do so much damage in classic, it's crazy. Saw that coming. Just let them run. It's better to just let mobs run and come back to you. I do know that. I just was like, I can stun him. And yeah. I finally got to use bubble though, so don't worry. It was worth it. Definitely gonna loot that if I can. You can. Let's kill these two back here as well. for that quest. All right, cut through the middle of the farm here. Should we have to fight even more defiance mobs? be an engineering thing i got a copper modulator to yeah drop. yeah it's it's an engineering <laughs> yeah i don't know why that stuff happens but those mobs can drop like any engineering items in the game basically nice careful i had a feeling that was gonna happen oh. just kill this guy quick just switch him he's gonna keep stunning us over and over again okay i will stun him as soon as i'm out oh my god man these mobs. he resisted it yep this is going to be my land hands. This might still be a death. Yeah, I think we're going to die here. Maybe not. These flesh rippers are low level. Yeah, that's good. There's only that one mob that was, it was like a level 19 mob or something. Those guys are the hardest mobs in the game. So whenever you see them, or in the zone, so whenever you see them, you got to steer clear of them. I have no idea why they're... I mean, it doesn't even make sense. No, it's... It's like random level 19 elementals in the zone. I don't know what the point of that was being added. I mean, they made a whole thing about it in Cataclysm to make, to justify it, I think, because they had the... Oh, really? Yeah, they have that whole area that's, like, torn apart and floating in the sky. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I wouldn't call that justifying it, but I guess that's a nod to it, right? Yeah. Come on, vulture. No. Oh. 
Okay, I don't see him. So we probably should just... I don't know how we would have missed him. Well, uh, I mean, there's, the, there's, there's this other road, right? We went on the left road. No, no. No, there's only the one road. Look at the map. It shows you his path. So the only way we could have missed him was he was either in the mine when we passed by it, or we missed him because we were killing those gnolls. I think we'll just... Um, let's just kill more gnolls on the way back. We'll turn all these quests in, and then we can do that one later. Because we do have to come back and kill a bunch of the other types of mobs still. I swear I've seen him on the right-hand side. On this right-hand road here. I nope. swear I have. That's when he's being uh, escorted. When you do the next quest is to escort him back to the moon to Moonbrook, and that's when you take him as your prisoner instead. Gotcha. Or it's like a different guy, I guess. It's not the patroller, but anyway. Yeah. That, auto that attack squad sense. tearing the mobs apart. Yes, sir, bro. Paladin auto attack for life. That's right. It's actually kind of fun. Paladin and shamans, like almost all their damage is gonna be auto attack. I actually like it. I mean, it sounds yeah. lame, but it, it's quite fun. Like, I wish there was more auto attack proc stuff in Livewile. With none. I mean, if uh, bl blessing of uh, or um, what's it called? Seal of command was in the game. I would love that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it would definitely change the way you play for sure. It's just so weird. Like the game is almost the combat is almost unrecognizable from the early days. It's like most of your damage was auto attacks, and and it still is in live WoW. Mm -hmm. Like actually, if you ever look, I'm sure you do as a melee. You'll see, like, a lot of your damage is auto attacks, mm -hmm. but it's not, like, played around anymore. Like, the game doesn't really care that that's the case. That's just how it is. Yeah. But in, in Classic, it cared heavily. It's like your damage was auto attacks for a reason, because all your spells could potentially buff your auto attack damage. Like, all the different buffs and stuff that Classic has, that, you know, Blessing of Might, buffing your auto attacks, right? Like, yeah. that's the whole purpose of the spell. Okay, this is going to be a little tougher. These guys are a lot higher level. They're our level uh, 16. And I don't have a... Uh, I don't have bubble, or I don't have mana, so... Yeah, let's... Uh, Just going to come and get this mob first. This loot, I didn't loot. We can, e we can easily kill them. I'm just saying it's going to be a little bit harder. So let's you, go, you, should, uh, you should ding in the middle of this, too, because I'm already 16. No, I'm not even close. It's because you did that Stormwind close that oh. that Stormwind quest that I didn't get to do. Oh, they didn't Spit even all aggro. Okay. <laughs> Great, good work. Pro tank split pulled him. Yeah. I feel like I've always had a really good eye for that. How did that aggro now? Like what? I swear. This is the kind of thing that kills me sometimes in, in Classic. Like, how? I think it makes sense. Careful. Drop threat onto you now, so... Yeah, good. Okay, didn't get a single paw. It looks like you did, though. Yep. Good. I better make some room for that wool claw. Goodbye, copper modulator. <laughs> wow, kid says I got all the planes today, really. Even the ones in the... I was going to make a joke about plane, but I won't even bother. I guess it's not that funny. Not all of them, but a good number of commercial jets, I see. Uh oh, you're not here, huh? Yep. I'm coming. Oh, we've got a lot of mobs running at us now because those mobs bleed into other ones. And I have no bubble ups. This is very. I think we should just run. Yep, yeah, let's do it. I'm good with it. I'd die either way, it looks like. Blessing of protection. Metal for truth. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? I bopped. Yeah. And I died. I stunned. 
That's fine, just run. How is leveling in Westfall? Well, up until this very moment, it was going excellent. And I didn't realize you weren't there. Sorry, I was still looting and making room and stuff. I come back to to uh, res you. No, if you want. I'm almost back. We died pretty close to the graveyard, but... Guess it's still faster, yeah? Okay, and I res. I mean, we didn't spend time getting this spell for nothing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a good point. Killed at least one mob there, so... Don't know if any others died. Well, I don't think so, but... Ooh, Let's somebody gave us hint. Oh. Who? I don't know. I don't see a mage anywhere. Not a person around here. It's weird. Thought you were just joking and you used a scroll or something. No. So somebody actually gave us hint. I don't see any player anywhere near us. Nor do I. Metro, any idea if raiding Sunday, Tuesday is viable in terms of finding good pugs? What, in classic? I have no idea. I mean, in live WoW, people raid all times, all times. Like, you can find raid groups for any hour and any com combination of availability. But, you know, I, I know Season of Mastery, people aren't really, like, there's not, like, a lot of serious guilds that came to play Season of Mastery. They're also playing TBC, so I don't really know. I don't know. I'm not really looking to raid, so I don't really... I haven't really thought about it. I mean, obviously, you've, you've listed everything but one day, right? Sunday... You mean only those two days, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's a little tough. I think most guilds probably try to raid in, like, blocks, so... Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday... I don't think many people raid one day and then take four days off. I'm sure there's plenty of guilds that would have you, even if you can only make one of their raid days or something in classic, because you need 40 people and you don't even need... Oh, you, I see. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I see. I should have read it that way. Um, okay, I'm not, not trying to die again. Yeah. Um, how many do you still need? None. I am oh, you're done. done. I just, like, that last one gave me the last noble pie I needed. Very good. Ho hopefully these will be responding over here and we can wrap this up. Yeah, I'm sure there's people Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. Usually Tuesday is the start of the week, though, so... I would imagine they wouldn't... Not a lot of people would raid Tuesday. And then not again until Sunday. Actually got a lot more done in the zone than I expected today. I mean, we we might come close to finishing it. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was thinking. Hager says I already lost motivation to play season of mastery because I know there is nothing for me at sixty. Yeah, that's and that's literally I've been trying to warn people about that for years. So I don't know how people are still still falling into this trap, but. The reason I'm playing Classic is because I don't care about 60. <laughs> and I think if everybody went to that approach and just enjoyed the leveling process, it would be a lot more easy to enjoy the game. Absolutely, because, I mean, it's it's most of the game, right? Yeah, I mean, it's literally going to take me weeks to get all these characters where I want them. It's not even time to think about 60, honestly. Like, it, I'll, I'll probably not actually even get most of them to 60. I'll probably just stop eventually. Yeah. I'm just having a hard time deciding if I want to get back into the game. I always liked high-end rating. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say anything about classic as high end, so just play it and have fun. I wouldn't worry about rating, honestly. Especially in classic. All right. Anyway, um, all right. So we'll go turn in all these quests Sounds to go good. all the way back up to. Let's, you know what? Let's do this in a little bit of an RP order. Let's go back to all the way north first, and then we'll work our way back south. It sounds good to me, my friend. I'm gonna stop in vendor first, though, because I do want to get my yes. inventory cleaned up. Should we set our hearths here? Would, would that aid us in, you know? It's a pretty small zone. I mean, we could, I guess, but... You want to just set it now and then hearth back? Well, I, I, don't, I, know. I, don't, I, I don't know. 
I was thinking, wondering if it would aid us in our speed turning stuff in and that. If we were trying to not read the quest, I, it would yeah, certainly Yeah, no, but... you're right. You're right. Since we have to go in a straight line from north to south anyway, it can't really help us. Say that... maybe like two minutes or something. Yep. Doesn't one of these sell something you green and unique? I suppose maybe. Only the finest goods. I almost kind of half but There's remember that. Tailoring and leatherworking patterns here. I think every general good vendors can sell those though. This guy's a bowyer, so maybe he can sell a green bow. I don't know. Never played a human hunter, uh, an alliance hunter ever. Bless you. Good day to you. See you later. Hmm. So much cloth. Okay. Sure, you didn't sell any of the other items. The Murloc eyes and all that stuff, right? No, no, I kept them. Be careful. Okay, let's head north. I did that the other day. I sold, uh... I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, it was in fucking Elwyn. Um, the boar meat. You know how you can do the boar meat oh, yeah, quest and turn yeah. that in? I did that. I, I was following the, the guide, and it was like, you can get boar meat now before you even do the quest. So I did that. And I had like six or so boar meat. I had more than I needed. And I went to the vendor as per the guide. It said, vendor, all your stuff. And I vendored everything. And then like 20 minutes later, when I was supposed to turn the boar meat into the quest, I realized I vendored all of it. And I was like, okay, this is not how you speed run something. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to go basically do the quest a second time because I vendored it all. Nice. The nice part of this is we should get back on that road that the device messenger is on on our way back down. We might actually get lucky enough to hit him. Nah, we're gonna just gonna stay on the road we we're just on to go north to south, right? Okay, yeah, you know you're right. I keep getting confused in this zone of roads and stuff. Yeah, we can just do the Defy's Messenger last or something. Like, we'll just do every other quest and then yeah. just sit there for a while and find it. Because I mean, I don't see that many other people in the zone, so I don't know how he's not up. We must have either missed him or somebody just managed to kill him right before we got there. Yeah. But the way I have always done it when I was looking for him was just start at Moonbrook, go the full route, and then walk back. And if he's not up, then you know he's going to either spawn soon or you, there's, you know, there's a reason yeah. to wait at least, so... Well, there's a warlock. Yeah, level 12. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> you need Old Blanche is on her last leg. Did you happen to find any oats for her? Uh, thank you so much, Kidwin. Poor Old Blanche will be so happy. See you around. What can I do for you? Don't suppose you were able to get my watch. Ah, my watch. Thank you so much, kind sir. We are but poor farmers and have lost our land, but please accept this reward as a token of our appreciation. See you around. Uh, good work, friend. You have earned your pay well. Who knows? Perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. For the Alliance. Need help? All I need for my famous meat pies are eight Gortes livers. 
Ah, then these are just perfect, Gidwin. Thank you so much. Farmer Saldin and I are going to feast tonight. And here is a little something for you, for the hard work. You didn't think I was going to let a paladin like you go hungry, did you? Come back with the following ingredients. Uh, that okra will thicken up the broth nicely. Now we just add the stringy vulture meat, a few murloc eyes, and those delicious Gortest snouts. And we're done. For all your help, Gidwin, I want you to take today's first batch of Westfall stew. Safe travels. Give a lot of, <laughs> give like four items there. It's funny. Yeah, I don't think we gained any bag slots. Oh wait, <laughs> did I forget a quest? The forgotten heirloom. What is that? Why is that on the map? No, that's just bugged, right? Yeah. Okay. That that was the the one we turned into the the farmer. Next yeah, time, yeah, right? yeah. Okay, I thought so. Read some comments while we keep running. <laughs> um, the cow looked significant. It wasn't. Grats on the ding. Thanks. Although should be dinging slightly faster than this. Uh, yo, finally in Westfall. I told you the story gets insane, I guess, here with the Defias Bandits. Oh, yeah, I, I know all about the story. I'm just always happy to relive it. It's really well done. Trevor McLeod says, may the light guide you. Oh, thanks. It's very nice of you to say that. Indeed. Uh, Wildkid said, did they update the graphics for Season of Mastery, or is it just the classic WoW? Um, they didn't change anything about the client, no. It's the same client we've had for Classic the whole time. Um, Tagor says, rip inventory space in Classic. Your bags are full so quick. Yes, they basically start full. Vince asks, did your hunter die? My hunter's died multiple times. I don't I don't know why people keep asking that. It's a pally thing, says Trevor. Yes, correct. Well met. Well done, Gidwin. My scout witnessed your valiant acts. You're providing yourself, or you're proving yourself quite well so far. A band of vicious, defiant pillagers has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and in the Alexton Farmstead. The people's militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately, Gidwin, and make the light's presence known in Westfall. The Gold Coast Quarry is near the shore, to the west of the tower. As the next step of your training, I want you to kill 15 of those Defias pillagers and 15 Defias looters. Be careful. Have you collected a pause from those treacherous gnolls yet? Oh, well done, Gidwin. With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the people's militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Please, accept this in recognition for your tireless efforts. See you later. Honor, friend. Bring me 15 red leather bandanas and I'll pay you well. That's ah, nice work, dwarf. Please, accept one of these items as payment for all your hard work. Light bless you. That's some good items from that guy. Yeah, I took the boots. Yeah, me too. The cloak was good, but the boots are better. Uh, Rampage says, anyone else agree that One Azeroth TV is one of the best WoW content creators out there? If I needed any motivation to play again, I would find it here. Like, so, man, I really pre do. You, do you agree with that, cop? I 100% agree with that. Oh, that's nice. Not even like 99%. You're 100%. Yep. You need some. Nice. I appreciate that, guys. It's nice of you to say that. I try. I'm just very passionate about the game. It's very easy for me to enjoy the game, so I don't... Unfortunately, I think a lot of people are not in that boat, and that's sad, but it's just how it is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's see. Four-slot bag I don't need. Nope. Okay, cool. So we can go... Um, I guess just maybe go to Moonbrook and kill the mobs there. Yeah. And then maybe we'll see the messenger, and if not, then we'll... Go with honor, friend. Double up and figure it out. But yeah, that's like we're probably like well over halfway done with the zone, right? There's not much left. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's just... a very short zone in both iterations of it, actually. Yeah, so. that's true, actually. It's probably a really good place to quest in Live Wild because of how short it is. People... Um, and I think... Go ahead, sorry. Uh, no, I was just going to say, people don't recommend it in Live Wild um, simply because uh, it's large for the amount of... Compared to other zones that you can do at the level, it's large for the, the amount of quests you get like there's a lot of travel in between uh, mm. but yeah it's still it, it's it's a very short zone so because there's, there's not a huge amount of story but go ahead I, I didn't mean to interrupt you i know i know you didn't mean to but you did it so you got to admit that and move on i admitted it i apologize okay. i'm a canadian okay. I, I apologize i'm glad rampage uh wildcat actually says Rampage, why do you think I'm a member? Metro is great, and I'm not just saying that. I have a lot of confidence in myself and playing what I want to play, and it's because of watching Metro. Well, I'm glad that you guys feel that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's just easy for me. This is just who I am. I think a lot of people are also quite fake on, on YouTube as well. It's just like, I'll probably never be like a fucking million sub YouTuber, and I don't really want to be because I'm just, just who I am. It's, I just like the game, and I like it the way I like it, so I think if everybody just explored what they want out of the game, it would be a lot easier for them to find fun in it for years to come. Especially, you know, with Classic, too, like, I don't know what their future is with WoW's, like, content pathways, but, like, this is this is proof that they can easily go backwards and still make progress with the game, you know? Yes. They made Classic, and um, even though it's it could be better, it's still an excellent product, and... It makes it very easy for me to enjoy, uh, you know, the game in different ways now. I, I only hope that they could try to incorporate something like this in the live game, because even though a classic is fun and, and playing it here is fun, it does feel like I'm playing on an entirely fresh account. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that, like, you know. I, I, I guess the main thing, if they can't connect the zones in some way, like if I can't play i just really like to be able to collect the transmog or the patterns or something from classic and bring them over to my main characters because that's actually the one thing that i feel like is really missing from like classic is cool and exploring the zones are nice but i probably wouldn't do that more than once every so often yeah but actually getting transmog and patterns and stuff that has been frankly just removed from the game for no reason and i will say that like clearly for no reason that you know when they removed the cataclysm stuff they didn't realize that there was going to become this whole like persistent collection meta that exists in this game, you know, like there was no, there was no collection tab, there was no tabs for uh, transmog. Transmog wasn't even in the game at the time. Yep. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. They, they clearly didn't know what they were doing when they when they removed everything with Cataclysm, and I just hope that they won't ever make that mistake again, and I hope that they will try to rectify that mistake, but maybe someday we'll see what happens in 10.0. I'm optimistic. Yeah. Even though I have a feeling that they probably still won't do it, but. I just hope that at least if they do do a new um, a new revamp, which seems like very likely, they will do it for the right reasons, and they will make uh, all the stuff that they remove. Or maybe they just won't remove anything at all, and that would be ideal. Then Chromie Time could act. I, like I, I have to think that they made Chromie Time for more than one reason. That's that's the only thing that keeps coming to my mind. It's like surely they didn't just make Chromie Time as like a leveling feature only, right? There, there must be another purpose to it because the character itself is like a major character in this game like chromie you know what i mean like for her, for her to just be sitting in orgrimmar all day okay we're in serious trouble kill this pillager and then we're gonna go kill the other one i'll heal you i'll heal you so you have threat Trying not to aggro the other one over there. Yeah, okay. It's We're just running. Late. Just go ahead and run. Yeah, run. And be really careful. Uh, I'm going to bubble here in a second, so... Okay. Are right, still going to die? That bubble's about to expire. Healing potion. Oh, smart. And bop. Oh, can't do it. Nope, it's you're still immune. Yeah. But luckily, we're out of combat. How? How is this mob? No, we're not, dude. That mob is still chasing. Just kill it. It's I'm, so low. I'm out okay. of combat. 
No, no you aren't. This mob is still chasing you. I don't know how the hell that happens, but I've noticed that a few times now in Classic. These mobs run for miles. That also has to have been changed from original Classic. There's no way that was how it was. That that mob chased us like 400 yards. I mean, that's ridiculous. Like I say, all I, all I know is I, I, my thing said I was I could read okay, my Okay, it was probably order. chasing me then, but I'm just yeah. saying that mob ran really, really far. It's weird. Yeah. I don't understand why that happens. Their, their leashes are not proper it doesn't seem like they even have a leash at times so the only thing about paladin is that we don't have a ranged ability to pull mobs so we just have to be a little bit more careful when we pull in casters like that so i guess that's that's just a trap we shouldn't even do that we should just stay away from those mobs Getting disarmed too, that's not helping. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so let's do this. Now we can head to the mine. Because it's like a place that he might be. Okay. This is a good idea. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll head to the mine, finish the quest at the mine. And then if we haven't seen him, we'll run all the way north uh, to the, the mine. The, J, um, the other mine. So the quarry is what I mean at first. The first thing is the quarry. Then we'll head to the Django Load Mine. And then we'll head all the way back to the Moonbrook and just wait, I guess. I mean, if it's not up, though, I don't know. I, have, again, haven't seen anybody else, so I don't know. He's got to just be walking around somewhere, and we just missed him. Yeah. Is there no focus in Classic? Okay. I keep trying to set nope. you as my focus. So I, nope. so if I lose nope. you, I can find you. That was like a... That was like a... Pretty sure that's like a wad thing. I don't even know when they added that. <laughs> super long ago, or super recent ago. I could say, and then we'll try to finish these two quests, and then I got about an hour left, so I don't know how much. We're pretty pretty close to being done with the zone, but I don't think we can finish it. I mean, maybe I guess I guess like we can just go a little over. Hey, I'm just not I, really I, sure what's left. I don't remember. I know there's the lighthouse quest after all these other defies quests, but I think that's actually it, right? Yeah, I, I once we get to the point okay. where they send us to the dead mines, I think that's pretty much it. We're very close to that. Hmm. Okay, we'll just we'll just finish it then. Unless this messenger takes like an hour. Yeah. Well, whatever you need, buddy. I'm I'm down either way. So. Yeah. Just um, I typically try to eat every twenty four hours. Um, so when I, I I don't mind pushing it back. Oh, here's the messenger. Today. We double stun him. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? That whatever the hell that was, I don't know what that is, but this has been happening a lot recently. Did you see that guy like sprint away? Yes. Like he he ran a lot faster than he should have <laughs> away, and that and that's another one of these things that I feel like they they must have changed since. Classic. But again, I don't, I don't know because like I didn't actually play <laughs> classic the right way. I kind of just grinded the whole way, so I don't remember. This is just different from private servers, or if it's different from the first classic thing as well. It's so hard to tell because it was 17 years ago. Well, I don't mean that. I mean like the more recent launch yeah. of classic. That's what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the recent launch of classic. This is just really crazy how much mob, how much damage these mobs do. 
It's doing like 20% of your health every time it casts. It's not actually... Are there mobs inside here? I just see gnolls. I see, yeah, gnolls. We don't need gnolls. Okay, let's not go. Oh, I see a device pillager. Yeah, me too, but it's... I don't want to get trapped in a mine with all these casters. Yeah, agreed. We'll just head back. Since we got the messenger now, we don't have to worry. We'll just head to the, the farm or whatever and finish it up there. Sounds good. There's going to be more mobs there. Finish that up. We'll be 17 surely after these two quests get done and turned in. And then I guess we'll have probably that final... Uh, I know there's one more installment of these types of kill quests. And then I guess the escort. Yeah, the escort. I think the escort gives a ton of experience as well, if I remember. Because it's probably a dungeon quest at that point, too. So maybe we get extra for um, for the, the Seeds of the Mastery portion of it. Because that was the, the, the... That's how I first noticed it. I don't know if you... I, I guess you haven't played any... Uh, like, anyway, in the Barrens, there's quests to go to Sunken Temple, or that's not anyway. I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, I'll say so, that. I, I that's... still called it Serpent Shrine Cavern. Um... <laughs> huh. Okay, anyway, um, it's, yeah, the dungeon that's in the Barrens. Wailing Caverns, that's it. Hey. Um, but there's quests there, and they take you to Thunder Bluff. You go to Thunder Bluff, you talk to Hamul Roomtonum or whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and those quests, even though you're you're doing a quest that doesn't even take you to the dungeon, it just leads you eventually to the dungeon, those quests give the extra experience portions as well. Oh, wow. So it's like, oh, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Like, you actually get a ton of experience just from going to Thunder Bluff. It gives, like, a thousand experience. Just Usually a quest like that will give, like, a hundred and some experience, you know? Wow. But because it's technically considered a dungeon quest... It's benefiting from the bonus that all dungeon quests are offering. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's a quest that's worth doing for sure. I guess just all zones aren't created equal either in this game, so it's like, you're never gonna get five levels from this zone, huh? Oh, what are these mobs? Not the right mobs. Wanna just run? Eh. Nah, I don't think it's probably gonna... Taking longer to just... or taking less time to just kill them. We got a pot. No, oh, fuck. Just bubble, just in case. Take the risk out of it. Yeah, this is why you don't go into buildings and mines and stuff. Yeah, mines especially are really dangerous. There's usually only one way out of each of these items, and they're uh, sometimes filled with patrols. Apparently, I didn't never saw anything like that before. Don't even know where that guy came from, honestly. Yeah, now that I just happened to see him coming around, I was like, "Uh oh." Yeah, good, good catch, because I was completely <laughs> unaware. I wish that like every single mob that was in the game had transmog that you could get though. Yeah. Like, some of these guys are like really nice. They have some cool transmogs. It's like I know none of this. You you can't get any of these this cloth robe that this, this pillager is wearing. That's just not an item in the game. I've never seen that before other than on, on these mobs. And like the the gear that um Stout Man is wearing, it's it's really cool. It's like man, that's a nice little low fantasy paladin transmog. 
I like it. <sighs> One more looter. How's that sword treating you pretty good? Yeah, absolutely. I think I'm actually pulling threat from you a couple, a couple times, so... Yeah, I noticed that. Okay, this is gonna be... This is gonna be annoying, Let's I kill think. kill that pillager first, yeah. Oh my god, man. What the heck is up with this aggro radius? I told you, it's definitely off. Something's different. Looks like there's a little bit of snow on the ground outside. Nice. We got some flurries today. It's above freezing here, but in the last couple days, but we snow is still on the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. It's ah, always that's cool because that's when it's really it, it's nice, you know. It's not. Uh -huh. It's be because normally most weather is too hot for me, but this is feels good, and it looks good. It looks good. You're right. I agree. <laughs> Look good, feel good, and like they say. Look good, feel good, play good, do good damage. Eat good, yeah. Eat good, live good. That's what the other phrase is. That's a different phrase altogether. Yes. Equally as valid, though, from what I understand. Both are valid, yeah. I think so. Where are the elemental? Careful. <laughs> Stupid little dust devil. Eat good, live good, auto attack good. <laughs> yes, exactly. <clears throat> Let's just cut through here. Nine nine oh five in the morning. I'm ready for the day now, cop. What about you? Yep, yeah, I'm early. I'm awake and ready. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably still be on the Season of Mastery server even after we stop streaming. I want to get my Shaman up a little bit more before I stream him next time. Oh, cool. I almost kind of want to start the next stream by doing the... Uh... The Call of Water quest because it's gonna take me all over Hex Half oh, Acre. God. Yeah. yeah, that's a <laughs> that <laughs> is the quest that I don't ever do when leveling. Yeah, even the guide say it's not necessary, but given what I'm doing with the shaman, I really kind of want to do it at level. So, yeah, it's cool to do it, obviously, but it's gonna take you like a ton of. Uh, I mean, how, how many levels? You, you need to be twenty for that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think like I'm twelve might... or something. No, I'm 15. 15. Level 15. So oh, 15. Okay. So I, I spend a few hours tonight, get to 20, and be done. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Need help? Your worth to the People's Militia has been validated by your brave acts thus far. Seven devices have eluded us, but... My most trusted scout reports that these defies have been looting and pillaging the countryside all the way into the southern Westfall. We believe they are hiding out in the Dagger Hills, plotting their next move. Slay the wretches in the name of the people's militia. Be careful. What can I do? For Gidwin, were you able to gather any information? Wait, is this? 
Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna read. Okay, let me read this first. There's a note as well, if you didn't realize. Black Nails. The sea awaits us. We need your supplies from the north. Strip everything. Every railroad pike. Every water bucket. We need metal. A shipment is due from BB, but long overdue. Come through for me, Black Nails. Send your supplies directly to the barn this time. No time to squander. Van Cleef. Light be with you. Gidwin, were you able to gather any information? Did you locate the messenger? Uh, this is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal Saldine's wagon. He has promised to lead us to the hideout in exchange for his life. I want you to defend the traitor so he can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have unlocked the location. Go with honor, friend. He's not here. That means somebody else must be doing the quest right now, I guess. It's supposed to be like right here, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he's down there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> that's like that's the Admiral Ripsnarl in in Live Wow. Who's yes. like right there. Right? He's right up there. I knew there was sauce. some prisoner relation to that. That's funny. <laughs> so Stoutman will send a scra scrawny dwarf like you to protect me. Guess you'll have to do. Better bring some friends too. You know the deal, right? You watch my back, and I'll take you to the Defias hideout. But you better be close by my side. The Defias gang wants my head now. If they see me with you, they'll try to kill me. Let me know when you and any friends you can round up are ready to go. Follow me, Terranar. I'll take you to the Defias hideout, but you better protect me, or I'm as good as dead. You got the quest, right? Everything good on that? Yep. I just, uh, I just suddenly had a memory flashback. The last time we were leveling together in the Defias mines, when we got into the undead side, and all those blues started to drop. Oh, yeah! I forgot about that. We were getting items from... That was from um, yeah. the stockades. Those yes. mobs were dropping items from the stockades for some reason. Yeah. I never did find out if that was intended or some weird bug or... I definitely not intended. Especially at the rate they were dropping. I think I walked away with three blues. <laughs> yeah, that was a, quite a few of them, I remember. Also, just occurred to me we're gonna have to go straight through that trap. Yes, but he'll help. Ah, good, good. How's that bubble up and everything up this time? Yeah, lay on hands is almost up for me too. So the entrance is hidden here in Moonbrook. Keep your eyes peeled for thieves. They want me dead.
He's gonna die. Can you stun one of these? Nope. I will heal him though. Didn't realize he could be healed. Most things on escort quests can. Oh yeah. You can go tell Stoutman, oh, this is where the Defias gang is holed up, Terranar. Did you get crest quit? Yep, absolutely. No, I did not. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, we can do, do it, again. it again. Yep, honestly, by the time we get back here, some of these mobs might not, not even have respawned. I don't think I had turned it. You must have turned it in while I was reading it or something. Yeah, I don't think sorry. I turned it in. He was like already running away as I was finishing reading for some reason. My apologies. I thought I had clicked it after you were done. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That's escort quests. This is probably going to happen multiple times. In this, I don't actually know how many escort quests we're going to do, but this, this has happened to me already with my dual boxing characters multiple times already. Very annoying. I basically just like... I stop and then try to quickly click on both screens and get them as fast as possible because if some of them, I feel like if you wait even like five seconds, you lose your opportunity. Yeah. yeah just go this way. Actually, too many mobs. Three more dings, seal of command. Oh yeah, it's true. Oh, about to be. Oh, are you seventeen right? Yeah, you're seventeen right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if we want to find a quest that you can do that I can't, or you do that I don't. Nah, I'm not worried about it. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna matter in the long run, and. I don't really even care. I mean, this this is just for fun. I'm not leveling these characters for any other reason. As long as we never get to a point where I can't pick up a quest because I'm too low level, that would be the only yeah. time it would be an issue. I don't sure. think we're going to be doing anything like that. No. <laughs> Planning doing quests that are super low. Right, so I guess I better abandon this and do it again. It yeah, literally just, that's why. Yeah. The second you pick the quest up, he starts running. That's very strange. Or design, really. Oh, wait, I don't even have the quest. What's going on here? Okay, I do. It's just bugged. Very weird. Yeah. This is not like your regular escort either. He like sprints. Like, what is he doing? Did you see him sprint after that first mage in the city? Like, first he was yeah. completely uninterested, and then he, like, came from Africa. That's why I started dragging... Yeah, I don't know if you know. I started dragging him back. I started dragging them all back, because I could tell that the, the dude was just going to keep walking. And then as soon as I did, he just started, like... He went on a rampage to go and kill him. <laughs> it's just... He runs slightly slower than us, too, which is odd. Yeah. I don't know why. I guess if that if we go a completely wrong way, it gives us a chance to catch up. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I guess maybe that's why. I don't know. I've never seen... There's very few escorts that, that don't just walk on, like, regular walking speed. I've never seen anybody sprint. Or if you're like me and you get stuck on the signpost for a few seconds, it gives you a chance to catch uh, up. Yeah, that certainly that could help. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly can't think of too many other escort quests that I would even want to do. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing Angoro at some point, too, when we get that, at that high. But... Definitely. No Angoros. Yeah, you, it's a zone that you really have to do. There's a lot of experience in that zone. Yeah. 
And that's got that one escort quest where every so often you have to douse with water or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. It's like, it's yeah, too hot. Yeah, what is that? I'm going to faint. It's too hot. Is it, isn't that in Cataclysm too? Yes. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I remember doing that recently. Got a rebuff as well. Okay. Also, buff him too. I don't know if you realized. Yep, I was buffing him last time. Nice. Of course, he has no mana, so my blessing of wisdom does nothing. Yeah, it doesn't help him, yeah. <laughs> but at least I can heal him. Sure. Now he walks. <laughs> yeah. I think that left mob is scripted to aggro because it has like a little bit of RP to it. Eh, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. The Brotherhood will not tell you. Right. I think that's just him aggroing. We got so lucky. I don't know if you realized it, but um, when we aggroed two of those casters, the first one was casting on on the trader, and that was actually the only reason I didn't get killed there. Oh wow! He he ate, he ate a fireball from from the second caster, and uh, okay, this is about to be that same circumstance. I'll stun first. I went to aggro the uh, the one padding. Good. Oh oh, he spawned. My stun He's is on looter. cooldown. Got to stop walking into that third one, man. That's we keep doing this every single time we come in here. You can kill that one without aggroing the one on the other side of the fountain. Okay, I ding now, that's lucky. You pretty sure they nerfed the casters? <laughs> and they're doing like 20% of our health every cast, I don't know if they nerfed anything. Seems like they're more powerful than I would expect them to be, if any, especially considering their level, their green mob, still doing this much damage to us. Like, we actually came to the zone over-leveled on purpose, and we still struggled with parts of it. Alright, finally done. Okay, so I think we should probably go do the stuff that's pretty close to us anyway. Actually, it looks like we can go back this way. So we can get some of it here. Hey, this is a summoning stone now. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Did you know they changed that in Classic yeah. and uh, Season of Mastery? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Who, who are you summoning? You. <laughs> I'm helping you. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see if it works. It did work, right? It did work. Yeah, I'm taking, obviously, I'm not summoning anyone. I just want to see if it worked. <laughs> what is a knuckle duster cop, you know? Uh, it's like a pair of brass knuckles. Oh, really? Yep. I believe that's, that's his uh, name. Defias Knuckle Duster. It just means that he uses his hands. Maybe. Isn't there like a dwarf NPC out behind yes, these hills? Yes, that's, that's the... Uh, hopefully you save some flask. Well, I actually don't have enough though. I think it's five. I only have four. Uh, let me just check. I have one flask of oil. Oh. Well, maybe if you give it to me, then that would be the experience differential. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see. I don't even remember how that works. I think it's just that one quest for some reason. Uh, J Storm says you need hops for the dwarf. Oh. Oh, we have none. At least I, I, have I have 
I'm sure I have one hop. I have one hop. I got one hop too. You see me jumping? You got good hops for a dwarf, I gotta say. I can jump almost as high as you, yeah. Uses him to make his beer, J Storm says. That makes sense. No, it certainly makes a lot more sense than me giving him flasks of oil. <laughs> I knew it was something else that dropped in the zone, but I didn't know where it was coming from. God, wisdom is so nice when you have two paladins because typically it's like a trade-off. It's like, do we want might or wisdom? I think you take might a lot of times. But this is like perfect because two buffs, it's like, oh, well, we best of both worlds. Yeah. I almost was thinking about going for kings, but I don't think I don't think kings is better than might and wisdom. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's like kings is really good when you're max level gear and you have a lot of stats. Yeah. But when you're like low level, I don't know how good it is. Yeah, I mean... I've got 51 stamina. Would five extra stamina make that much difference? That's right. Yeah, I don't know. Good question. Hurry, my friend, move with haste in order for our rich lager to taste more like beer and less like stew. Hops are needed to make the brew. Off with you. Gotta be the weirdest quest in the game. I have no idea what that is. Just like, is that a poem? Did he, did he just recite a poem? Here, I'll give like you my rhyme. one hop. I don't want it. Never gonna get five. That one won't be getting completed. I think they have a very low drop chance from those uh, harvesters. Yep. That's a really good one-hander, wow. It is indeed. If you were going prot, that would be the thing. Not bad. Wicked Blackjack, interesting name too. Not a bad looking thing to either. Was that quest giver dropping rhymes? Yeah, I think that's what that was. I think it was like a poem. I don't understand. He was in the middle of a rap battle. Could be. Oh, you attacked that? Yeah. It was attacking his boar, so I thought I'd help him out. Yeah, no. He's trying to... He's not helping us out. We're not helping him. Yeah, well, it, it, we also needed to kill it for the quest, so... I was being... I was That's being true, some, I suppose you're right. I was being somewhat... Uh, selfish. It's such an easy fix too, man. I don't know. I, I really hope that if they ever do this again, they will add uh, shared tags. It's yeah. really... I don't know why they wouldn't. Especially if they're nerfing grinding in general. Like, yeah. if that's the case, then why would you not? Like, if you're trying to remove grinding as like a legitimate way to level, then that's fine. Do it. <laughs> Go ahead and do it and make shared tags a thing. Because it's actually like... I mean, the fact that 
we like we have seen like maybe like four people total since we've been playing today. Yeah. And 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 I see that guy, and I'm like, fuck that guy. You know what I mean? Like this is my immediate reply. Like I, I don't want to see him. And that's that should never be the case in in a game like this. Like we should be like, oh hey look, another player. Like you know, it should be like, oh that's cool. I mean, that was the whole point of cross realm zoning was to make was because they want you wanted you to see other people. Right. In the world it's true. Alive. Yep. But exactly. It's antithetical with the whole non shared tags, right? It's just dumb. It's just dumb. Yeah, it's just yeah. like really not a good decision. And and I know original plastic they didn't have the the tech for it. I'm sure, but mm -hmm. it's like it's time to move on. I think at this point, there's no reason that. And you should see it on the bigger realms, man. It is an absolute mess. It's oh It's just yeah. so un fun. I remember day one of the original uh, classic relaunch, lining up for mobs. Yeah, yeah, lining up. Right. I forgot about that. It's so silly, isn't it? Yeah. But it's pretty much the only way you can get the quest. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there fighting with people forever. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a Canadian. I, I like to be polite. I I did it to, to not be a... Yeah. A, it, I, 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 it just feels pointless, you know? It's like if there's that many people, it's like okay. It's just like if I went to a, if I went to a store and there was that many people on a line, I'd be like, I'm not going to the store. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Split tag should only be a PvP thing, right? Just it works the same way in live, right? Mm -hmm. If you have war mode on, uh, you do not get a tag if an alliance player tags a horde mob. Okay, let's try to kill this mage quick, I guess. I don't even know what this guy is. A renegade mage. What the hell is that? Another amazing transmog chest that I doubt is in the game. Yeah, it is kind of interesting, isn't it? But Siler told me the uh, importance of queuing in England. I don't know if I ever told you the story. Did I, ever, did I ever tell you the story? I, I don't not. recall. I think you probably did, but I okay, don't I'm gonna recall tell you this is, this is a hilarious story. So we went in um, when we were at BlizzCon in California. We um, we had some things that we needed to ship. Well, I, I had some things that I needed to ship back to Pennsylvania, and he um, he you know he just joined me on the the journey basically. So we went to like a FedEx store or whatever it was, and um, I had this giant package. And there was like this line that kind of like wrapped around uh, an area in the middle. I don't really know what the area in the middle was for, but I think it was for something else. And I think a lot of people were confused about what place they should be standing in because um, it, it seemed like there was a lot of general confusion in the store anyway when we walked in. So we walk in and I'm like fully expecting this to take like a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we're standing in line and some guy comes up to the side of us. First of all, he almost knocks the box out of my hand, which was, I was, you know, the guy was yeah. very rude anyway. But he walks right by us and goes past like three other people and goes right up to the counter, um, which which I think, again, I think what he thought he was doing was he was going to the area that was supposed to be in the middle of the room because he went up there and they told him no, that he had to leave anyway. Um, but anyway, he walked right up and nobody bats an eye, like nobody says a word. And Siler, like, I just look at Siler and he has this like fucking like look of panic on his face i was like what what's going on he's like dude what's going on why is he doing this i was like doing what it's like he just cut the whole queue i was like oh yeah i don't know he's probably got some reason to do it right and he goes oh my god dude are you serious i was like yeah he's like dude if you did that in england there would be an actual fight i was like <laughs> what <laughs> he told me like the whole thing like you go to a grocery store if somebody like cuts the queue, there's like an actual fist fight. It's like everybody starts yelling at the guy. Like the whole the whole store will be against that person. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, wow, that's that's a little different here. It's and very like, I guess similar people just in Canada, yeah, ahead, but your... it's very similar in Canada. But we don't we don't generally fist fight. We just. <laughs> I mean, I think he was probably exaggerating, but it was still like. <laughs> Just stare I, angrily. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't help but laugh at that. He's like, "Oh, dude, they take queuing really serious in England." I was like, "Okay, right. not here." I think everybody's just a little too rude to care, honestly. Unfortunately, 
I think it's like if you see some if, if that guy did that and he was doing it for selfish reasons, in my head I'm like, yeah, I might see myself doing that too if I was a little bit more in a rush. You know what I mean? Like it's like so there's not really that social code around here, I guess. I have but. been in extreme rushes and that had the whole, you know, queue with the lines taped off type of thing empty and still walked all the way through it. Just not, I'm not going to cross over the ropes or go around the ropes. I will go through that queue. Yeah. Take, take the time, just because it's, that's just how we're taught, right? There's any mobs there. What does it say hops? What is it? I guess maybe from killing some of the mobs that could have been down here. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Probably uh, Waza me. says, I live in England and it's something you learn at a very early age. Never jump a queue. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Right? <laughs> it's pretty bizarre, man. <laughs> but yeah, Tegor's right. It does suck hating your own faction as they they make your life worse. Like, they, yeah, they don't help you in any way. I mean, honestly, even in classic, I'm like, oh, just please go away. Like, people come up and they're like, hey, man, can we group? And I'm like, I don't want to group. Like, can you just go do something else? But I know if I say no to the guy, he's going to, me and him are going to have to compete for mobs. It's just yeah. like, ah, you know what? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know that pain. It's just like not. The whole thing just sucks. It's just really... It's strange, but it's such an, a fixable problem. I will admit, looking at that a way that was happening, the hunter, I saw him attacking just the one thing, and I was like, well, there's that other mob attacking his boar. He hasn't tagged it yet. I'll just go over there and tag that. And I'll save his boar, but I'll also get the tag. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you, did two, uh, you did a nice thing and a, a thing that was beneficial to us at the same time, but... To me, if somebody does that, like that dude jumped the queue, right? That's what he yeah. did. We're, we're in line for those three mobs that are there, and he comes up and steals one off of us. So it's like, okay. So so if it, he does that, then all right, you do that, fine. I don't really care, but I'm not going to, you know, that's it. Good luck, buddy. You just pulled two mobs on purpose? Well, that's up to you now, you know? And obviously, as a hunter, he's not going to die. He's not going to have any issues. But yeah. I mean, the amount of times I've seen that happen, not necessarily on Season of Mastery, but I remember in the original classic, especially on private servers, actually, I saw it a lot. People would like basically jump the queue, and then they'd be there fighting three mobs, and they die. It's like good for you, you fucking idiot. You know what I mean? If if we all worked together, this would have been easy. But now you're dead because of it, because you're in a rush. Yeah. So I don't know. That's just a lesson I've learned a long time ago as well. Never be in a rush in this game when it comes to other people, because they're always going to be selfish as well. So don't be selfish too, because all you're going to do is get into a, a selfish match. You know. Yeah. You don't want to be uh, out, out selfishing someone. It's not a very good look. Yeah, for sure. Where the hell are these mobs? We really, we only need one more of these, what is it, plane stalkers or path seekers or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's path stalker. There's supposed <clears throat> to be one up to our right here. Near There's the dungeon two entrance. Camp, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if we can split pull these. This knuckle duster first. No. Kill this one. I'm not going over there to loot that because we're a little aggro. Yeah, well, we're good now. It's just one mob. But if it aggroed while we were fighting those three, we might have been in some trouble. All right, anyway, that's it. We're done. Let's head out. Yes. Back to Sentinel Hill. We definitely should, definitely should have set our heart. Yeah, it was a good idea that you yeah, had. Should, we should have did that. Yeah, that's okay. The run will do us good. Good exercise, you know. Yeah, I wish. Fortunately, we are coming up. I have like probably an hour left here, so um, 
Hopefully, I don't know how much is left after this. I assume there's no other quest now, right? And then it's yeah. just going to be the, the, the lighthouse stuff? I think so. Okay, good. I see. The only thing I see there is the level 22 dungeon quest at the moment. Yeah, so. I see that as well, yeah. I guess I'll pick that up and record all that too. Just in case we have an opportunity to do it somehow. There's not even other people in the zone, though. I don't even know if there's people doing... Like, when we're playing, I don't think there's even people playing. Yeah. Kilo, would it be feasible for Chromie Time to have classic vanilla zones built into it? Or would that be too much server load? We have been advocating yes. for that since Chromie Time was announced back two, three years ago now. Um... <laughs> And I don't know about that. I mean, your question is valid. I don't know anything about the technical side of it. But I will tell you um, a quick answer to that. Uh, I have suggested that to people who might know more about it. And I got... Um, well, the first answer I got was basically like... There's too many reasons to not do it effectively. Like, um, when you level, you get all these quests to go get flying and... A bunch of other stuff that just doesn't really combat like it doesn't really it's not compatible with classic mm -hmm. zones um and i originally i was like i don't i don't care like <laughs> i'm not an idiot like i'm not yeah. gonna go do something like that for no reason but it's probably a technical thing too like you have to make sure everything works congruously uh, but but then more recently i asked probably about like three or four weeks ago i asked about it again and um it was like, um, the response was like, it's not as easy as simply copy and pasting the zones, which tells me that it's a lot of work, probably. It's a lot yeah. more work than I think it would be. Uh, but still, all of that being said, I think they should do it, and I don't know if they will, because it would kind of, like, kill Classic. I mean, I don't know if it would or not, but I feel like it would, because that's, like, gotta be at least, like, 50% of the reason people play classic yeah. race to re-experience this content maybe not maybe not a hundred percent obviously not a hundred percent but i mean i i think most people would just not play classic if all these zones yeah. and quests and stuff were still in the game i mean yeah i tend to agree i would say more but we're going to read quests yep <laughs> greetings When I left the tainted lands of Lordaeron, I returned to a grim state of affairs here in my homeland. But there is hope for Westfall yet. As proven by your valor in battle, it is obvious to me that you serve our cause with honor. It is with great pride that I induct thee into the people's militia. May the light shine upon you. For the Alliance. That sword is too good to pass up. I'm going to have to go train that. What can I do? Most excellent, Gidwin. Van Cleef is as good as ours now that we know where he is hiding. There is but one task less for you, left for you to complete. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. While it saddens me to condemn any man to a death sentence, it is for the greater good of the people of Westfall that Van Cleef is laid to rest once and for all. Bring me the villain's head once the deed is done. Kill Edwin Van Cleef and bring his head to Gyron Stoutmantle. Go with honor, friend. That's, that's it. Where's that other quest? Silk bandanas. What? Red silk bandanas. Scout Riley. Oh, at the top. He's up. He's uh, at the top. Yeah. Okay, okay. Light it's no secret that the trademark of the Defias gang is their red bandanas, but we've learned that the material from which these bandages are made signifies the member's rank. That being said, I want you to eliminate as many high-ranking Defias members as you can. The highest-ranking members will undoubtedly be found in Van Cleef's secret hideout. When you're done, bring me ten red silk bandanas as proof of their deaths, and I will reward you. Good luck, Edwin. Be careful. I don't know if there's any outside. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. That's the hops quest. I'm just dropping this. It does look like there are some probably in the mine, though, on the way there. So we probably could, could do, do that though. quest. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to at least peek in before you drop the quest? Let's see. 
Oh, I'm not dropping that. I'm dropping this hops quest because there's no oh, way I'm okay. doing that one. Gotcha. It's just dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't mind uh, trying to do it. It's just like now we definitely aren't. Because I, I also realized there's also those quests to go into the mine. Uh, and I don't know if those mobs are elite. Do you do, do you have any idea? Um, I think the undead ones are. But I, oh, I could they? be wrong. Yeah. I need to empty okay. my bags too before we go. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I gotta run. Oh, yeah. We can do that at the innkeeper. I forget. Keep you can just do it at the innkeeper unless you also need to repair. No. I shouldn't need to repair. I, I, my thing's not showing I need it, so... That that sword is insanely good. Yep. Yeah, I assume you picked it up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got. I, I gotta go get... I gotta go get um, training for that. Looking for something specific? I'm just gonna start selling some things. Because Me too. I have a bajillion D uh, linen bandages, or linen cloth, and I don't think I'll need them anymore. Okay, I'm going to run the bathroom real quick while you do that. Ah, uh, come back. Welcome back. All right, let's go get that lighthouse started. See what happens. Sounds good. I think we're starting to get into prime time. I saw three people log in in the end while you were. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's almost ten o'clock, so I assume a lot of people do wake up. I mean, I also I don't know what time zone this is because I'm pretty sure Australia has like multiple time zones. Let's take a look, actually. World time zone. I'm actually shocked that it's 9, because I always thought Australia was 13 to 14 hours ahead of us. But that would actually be 14 hours ahead of us, right? That is... Yeah. That would be 14 hours ahead 15, of us. That's 15 hours ahead of me? No, 16 hours ahead of me. Yeah. No, 15. That would be 14 ahead of me. So, it looks like Sydney and Brisbane... Oh, what the hell? Those are also one more different... Oh my god, there's like five time zones in Australia. That's really weird. Oh, wait, 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 no. 9.47, because it's... Ah, crap! I didn't turn, I was looking at the clock. Oh, yeah, I got a mob, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, That's fine, dude. I'm sorry, I wonder why you're freaking out. <laughs> nah, we, we've killed plenty of mobs, we'll be alright. Yeah, no, I just, I'm just mad at the, the lack of attention to... Yeah, it. I agree. You gotta get better, man. But you're trying. It's fine. But listen, listen. This is so. These are these are eighteen hours ahead of me. So sixteen ahead of you. I don't even understand this. Like this doesn't even make sense. So Sydney is nine forty-seven. So that's what time it is on the server. Mm -hmm. Brisbane is eight forty-seven. Oh, it's because some of them are observing daylight savings time and others aren't. What the oh. fuck is going on in this country? <laughs> It's like, it's, it's so fucking small. How do you have this shit happen? They have five different time zones right now, dude. So Brisbane, 847. And then they have these half time zones. So Adelaide is, it's 917 instead of 947 there. 
And then uh, uh, the the region above it, I can't, I don't see a name. It says eight seventeen. So that's one hour different, but it's still a half hour different than the rest of the country. And then Perth, which is on the far west of the country, fucking six a.m. Six forty seven. <laughs> so three hours different from the east of the country. It's like, dude, there's no way this place is that big that it needs three time zones. Like, what is happening there? I don't even understand what I'm looking at. I mean, this is just bizarre. Well, and then New Zealand, which is, you know, not very close, I guess, but commonly looked at as, like, very similar region-wise. It's 11.47 there, so two hours ahead of Sydney. It's like, okay, well, you guys are just fucked. I can't help you with this. <laughs> if you got seven time zones in this small area... Yeah, we're in serious trouble. How yeah. weird is that, though? It is. It's pretty weird. I mean, Canada does have a half-hour time zone in one, in one province, but that they're just weird. Up you got to be fucking kidding me, cop. Yeah. Newfoundland. It's called Newfoundland time. Is that in the middle? Of, it's, it looks like it's east of Edmonton. Is that right? It is the mo easternmost part of Canada. It's. Oh, okay. That's not what I was looking at. You're, yeah, St. John's. Yep. It's a, that's what's listed on. Okay, yeah, that's it. I see that now. The weird but, thing is there's this, like, chunk of... Um, so, like, they have this map, and it's, like, color-coded. And, like, Denver is, like, far east of Edmonton. But if you expanded that all the way north into Canada, mm -hmm. it's not the same time zone for some reason. So, like, the time zones, like, go in a really weird direction in, in Canada. I don't know if that's just because the curvature of the world or what, but... We, yeah, we're the same thought, time zone as Denver. We are one. I know you are, but I'm here. I'll, I'll send you a picture of the map because it's okay, sure. probably going to confuse you as much as it confuses me. And then I'll, we'll get back to reading the quest after this. Okay. Oh yeah, but see, Edmonton is in the middle of that red bit there. Not not. The no, I know. But, but why is that? What's that green? Like why? Why is there this weird shape, green thing? I, I don't know what that is. Well, the yellow bit is Saskatchewan, which doesn't deserve daylight savings time. So it's probably... Oh, that, that must be why. Yeah. That must be why. Yeah, the, and then that light red bit left of Edmonton, that's also probably not observing daylight savings yeah, time. Yeah, that's, that that that's in the middle of the mountains. That's ain't no. That's a national yeah. park. Ain't nobody lives there. Oh, okay. That makes sense, too, because that's the same way in uh, south of Denver. That's actually Arizona, and they don't observe either. Okay, that makes sense. Now I understand. All right, here we go. Read time. Do not be alarmed, dwarf. I have long since passed from this land, but I intend no harm to your kind. I have witnessed too much death in my time. My only wish now is for peace. Perhaps you can help my cause. Keeper of the flame. The night the lighthouse's keeper family died was horrible. I watched, helpless, at old Murkai led the attack. But what's done is done, and now my concern is for the lives of the sailors of the great sea whose ships come close to the perilous rocks of the coastline. With no one to keep watch on the flame, the responsibility has fallen upon me. Help me keep the torch lit by bringing me five flasks of oil from the harvest monsters. Which I just vendored all of them. Sweet. You probably noticed all of the shipwrecks along the coast. The great sea is treacherous indeed. The coast of Westfall needs to be kept clear, so if sailors find their way to our beaches, they are safe. The Murlocs are troubled, though. Kill seven tide hunters, seven warriors, seven oracles, and seven coast runners. And I will see to it that you are rewarded. When my life was ended upon the rocks, I had no clue what the afterlife held for me. The lighthouse was black that night because old Murkai had scared the keeper's family off. They returned and relit the flame, but old Murkai coerced the weaker-minded murlocs to raid the lighthouse with him once again. The second time, the family was not so lucky, and before my eyes, they perished helplessly. Slay old Murkai if you see him along the shore, and bring me one of his scales, and I shall reward you. That is a very weird side quest right there, I'll tell you what. Yeah. <clears throat> That's funny, I just vendored all those flasks of oils, though. I'm just half remembering now. You can get them off the auction house I should have remembered earlier. I knew there was more, I, and I should have recognized the hops thing, too, because I knew there was more stuff that we had to do in the zone. Yeah. I remember reading that in the guide, and I just didn't even realize it. 
I will definitely do this quest and uh, we'll see what, what ends up happening with that. I guess we probably should do it. I mean, it seems like a good amount of experience. I mean, there's plenty of those, uh, whatever those things are, those harvest golems. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a higher drop rate now that we actually have the quest for it. Could be. Yeah, does it work that way? Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Probably not in classic, yeah. Shouldn't that guy be at the top of a light tower or something? Which guy? The ghost guy that we just talked to, I think. Yeah, what is this? A reference? I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. Why is that guy there? I don't either, honestly. I think that's the same guy that you do the treasure qu or turn the treasure quest into. In it is, yeah. Yeah, is, is that not in the game? I don't know if it is. I don't see it anywhere on the map. Like, uh, no, it starts the other quest. in in Cataclysm. It starts way up north along the coast. Oh, okay. Like, loot it from a murloc or something. Hmm. I think I think it does. I think it might be in Classic too. Maybe. I I feel like I've done it before, and I don't think I ever did this zone. I think maybe you and I did it once, but yeah. that was it. I wonder if these quests were always here. It seems like they kind of got, like, shoehorned in. Like, it doesn't really even fit with the zone at all, and there's no indication that it's even here. Yeah, it might have gotten shoehorned in because somebody said, oh, look, there's not enough quests in this zone. Yeah, like, I wonder if they... I, I mean, that would make a lot of sense because there really is not a lot of quests in this zone. It's actually funny because, like, doing the Cataclysm versions of these zones, I feel like it takes longer. Yeah, and, and the funny part is, like, we took a long time just to get the freaking quest objective, like, actually looted, you know what I mean? So, yeah. if these quests dropped as often as uh, a, a modern quest, this would have been, like, a one-hour zone total. We would have been in and out of this within, like, an hour. Yeah. I mean, we shortcutted a lot of it by going to the auction house, for sure. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right, actually. And that didn't even really cut that much time off, regardless. We've been streaming for five hours. What would you say? The first hour and a half was the other zone? Yeah. Or would you say maybe even two hours? I think it's probably an hour and a half, yeah. Sounds about oh, there's right. old Merc guy. Damn, level 20. This doesn't even feel like we should be here, honestly. Good thing we did come, uh, or good thing we did get a few extra levels before we yeah. came here. This guy would probably beat us 2v1 if we weren't at least 17. Probably. Although now he's kind of, uh, nothing. Ah, uh, yeah. You got that sword, too. You're going to have thread a lot more now. Yep. Something to keep in mind. I'm going to have to talk to Wu Ping to learn how to do some whooping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that at some point as well. Probably... Might not end up doing it today, hopefully I can remember. One thing I do miss from from the uh, current version of Paladin is having an interrupt that's a, yeah that has a less than one minute cooldown. Obviously, play a no spec Paladin though. You want to have it? That's true. I remember. I, I actually I need to level finish leveling my no spec Paladin. Oh yeah, I forgot you were doing that. I was actually uh, having a look at Rogue as well on uh, Classic, and uh, it's like almost identical to No Spec Rogue. Like, wow! It, the 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 version that you always talk about, Combat Rogue. 
Yes. It's like a no spec rogue. It's exact. I mean, I don't. I'm not actually sure what would be different. The only thing that's different is their last point talent. Um, what's it called? Adrenaline rush. I think you yes. don't have that. But like, and I guess bleed flurry too. Like, yeah. So like two two CDs. But everything else is like the exact same. The actual gameplay loop would be the exact same on no spec paladin or on no spec rogue. Thanks. Which is kind of interesting because I think that just generally says that Rogue has not really changed a lot over the years compared to Paladin, right? Like Paladin's yeah. completely different than it was in Classic yeah. nowadays, right? Like it couldn't be more dissimilar, honestly. It was a complete heal bot back in Classic, right? Like at least at the end game. Well, reg regardless, I mean, I don't even mean, I just mean like the spells. Like you, most of the spells don't exist. <laughs> like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Blessings have been removed. They did try to add some ores and stuff back, but like. I mean, ninety percent of the stuff that's in classic just doesn't exist anymore. It's like the the CDs like bubble and land hands are still there, I suppose, but wings isn't there. Um, you know, consecrate is a talent. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Like it's, it couldn't be more dissimilar, honestly. I think the big the big change came in uh, right at the end of wrath with uh, holy power being added. It really changed the the mindset of the whole uh, whole class. Well, certainly, yeah. Uh, that was wrath, holy power. Uh, it was, uh, the, the yeah. the, it was the pre-patch. It was the pre-patch. Yeah, 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 my bad. You might have even said that. I, I meant to say it, but I probably didn't. <laughs> okay. The only patch that had a letter in it. 3.3.a or 4.03a or something like that. Oh, no, that they always do that. That's, that's, um... That's how it works if you're, uh... Like the pre patch is different than the expansion. So they do 3.3.5A, 3.3.5B. One's for expansion, one's for prior to the expansion. And Kyle has joined us. Welcome, buddy. Welcome, buddy, How's buddy. Going, my friend. Yeah. Current stream boss, reigning champion. Short Punky is my current stream boss over here, but has been taking nice. some damage lately. Oh, well, that's good. Wait, is it good or bad? It sounds it sounds weird for me to say that's a good thing, but I think it is. I think it is too. Honestly, last time I was in your stream, Kyle's health was a lot lower than I uh, last time than I've seen it in a while. It's been getting yeah, it's been lowering. Going well, how are things with you? Pretty good, man. Yeah, just chilling, enjoying. Had a good Thanksgiving. Now it's time for the Christmas holiday. We're going to get ready for that next. Got the Christmas lights on in the background, I'm sure you can tell. Day one of the Christmas extravaganza begins today. Nice. Do they do advent calendars in in uh, Canada? Absolutely. Oh, really? This is another thing I, me and Tyler talked about. It's, like, extremely popular in England, but yes. I don't know any... Like, in the United States, it just doesn't really exist. Yeah, it's a big thing up, up here, too, so... I don't get what Advent refers to. Do you know what that word means? I don't. I've, I've never... Never thought about yeah. it, honestly. Advent calendar. I don't know what Advent refers to. Maybe it's referring to the, uh, to the, uh... Movie of the Final Fantasy VII movie, Advent Children. <laughs> Advent Children. <laughs> We're waiting for that to come out. Yeah. Kyle says he'll top the stream bo boss off if he gets a bonus this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that for one second, my friend. Do not, do not do that though. You don't have to win. Use your bonus on something that's <laughs> yeah good for you. Broski, what's up, buddy? As well. Good evening. Here's a bunch of harvest gold. It's a weird little area. There's a ton of trappers here and a ton of harvest golems right next to each other. In the United States, we just eat chocolate. We don't wait a month. <laughs> is that what is that chocolate has something to do with it? Yeah, yeah I know. Chocolate is behind the uh, the the doors in the advent counts. There's a chocolate for everybody. Oh, yeah. Really? Yep. Oh, that's interesting. I guess it, it's like that's the common one. Yeah. Okay, because Siler told me this is how this all started with 
a long time ago, um, we were talking, his, he said his father got him an advent calendar, and I didn't even know what that meant. But then he explained it, and it was like a beer advent calendar. I was like, oh my god, that sounds like such a great idea. And then I was looking um, the, the following year, and, and they, it was like nothing like that exists in the United States. Um, so my mother just went and bought a bunch of beers and put them into like a thing to make it seem like it was an advent calendar. It was like, oh, that, that's cool. That is so, so cute and nice, you know? Yeah, I brought it up and I was like, I'm disappointed that I can't find this. And she get, basically did it as a gift, you know? That's awesome. Oh, okay. Advent is coming in Latin. Oh, the, I that, get it. The coming of Christmas and... Yes, I. yeah. That makes sense. I understand now. I think we should probably go around anyway. Did you get any oil there? I got one oil. I'm at two. Good. I have I have one as well. I don't think there'd be any way to go and for me to get those back from a vendor. I was thinking maybe, but I don't think so. No, we'd have to go all the way back to the city. and It'd still be there, but... Yeah. All right, Metro. Bedtime. Working early tomorrow. Have a good one. See you, buddy. Have a good one. Tomorrow we'll be live with some keys, and then Sunday we'll probably definitely be uh, doing the Pokemon thing in the morning, and then I'll be back streaming in the evening with some more Season of Mastery, I assume. Not 100% sure yet, but that's what I expect to do. If not, Monday for sure. Yeah. I think I will do yeah. some Season of Mastery tomorrow on my own, and uh, probably in the morning I'm going to release my Final Fantasy 13 video that was uh, YouTube member and uh, patron only on Thursday evening. Nice. It's a re SLB says it's a religious thing. We used to make Advent wreaths in Catholic school when I was little. Yeah. Oh. I guess so. I mean, it's definitely not a religious thing in England, right? Because they don't even have the same religion as we do. But um, I don't really know where the origin started and why the United States doesn't have any connection to it. But I guess that's what the word means, regardless. Yeah. Makes sense. I find that there's a lot of traditions, especially ones that, that date back before uh, your War of Independence, that Americans just don't do. It's one of those things, like, when you have a war with somebody, you, you do whatever you can to differentiate yourself from them. Okay. Interesting point. You probably are right about that, yeah. I mean, that's why you spell a lot of words differently. Yes, yeah. English. Oh, do you see this off in the horizon? There's like a bunch of trees floating in the middle of nowhere and part of the yeah. Stormwind Keep is being seen. Yeah, they just haven't drawn up fully in yet. That's weird. We can see the leaves, but not the, the trunk. That. Uh, Kylo's asking, what is Cop's channel? My channel is Cop Livestreams for this and Cop uh, Kopitar Rules for my LP channel. Plug, 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 plug. It should, it should be in my, um, like, there should be, like, a channel page or something. I don't even know where that is now, but pretty sure the links are there. But, yeah, if you want to see his live streams, just type in COP live streams, K-O-P. A lot of people try to type C-O-P, but that's not the right one. Yeah, I am the K-O-P. That's, that's a different type of stream altogether. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a different type of COP altogether. Yeah. Okay, where the hell are these mobs? This is a great example of why Classic is just so b bizarre, though. Like, the mobs down south were, like, level 18 or 19, and these ones are green. They're level 13. It's like, what? It's the same quest. We have to kill all of them for the same quest. Well, who the hell designed this? It's almost like they had no rec like they didn't really fully understand what a green and orange mob would be difference wise. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like to kill an orange mob, it's very difficult, and to kill a green mob, it's a joke. Like you're gonna kill it insanely quickly. It, it, you can't have that. You can't have one the quest differ in five levels like this. Maybe even six levels. I've said it a bunch of times. I think the biggest change they ever made to the game was to add level scaling. And uh, That's true. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that was a long time after they designed this quest, but yes. still, it would solve this problem that I'm describing 100% if everything yep. just scaled to your level. Yeah, can you imagine what Classic would be like if it was 
just live WoW systems, but classic content. I mean, that sounds like such a great product to me. I don't know. I would love really that to a, be a season of uh, the next season of Mass season of versatility. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever do like that. I don't think they'll ever do level scaling. That would really fuck everything up in classic. But um, yeah, I just I just hope that someday they can add all this content to the live game because it would be vastly preferential to me. Look at this mob's eleven. This is a fucking gray mob. Are you joking? What? How? Really bizarre. We uh, we didn't even get uh, cre uh, experience for killing that mob because it was nope. gray. Stupid gray mob. Give us experience. Yes, we're heading back. I guess. Oh, that's cool. I got a. I purchased something that I didn't end up wanting, so I had to send it back. And um, I actually got a, a a message from PayPal. It says, "We refunded twenty dollars and fifty two cents to your PayPal balance. You can transfer this money to your bank account or leave it in your PayPal balance account." That's cool. Nice. Thanks for that, PayPal. I bought these golf balls. I've been like just kind of spying uh, like cheap golf balls all over the internet constantly and I, I found I found one that I really like so I, I they had it this website had it but the golf ball there's there's the TP5 and then there's the TP5X which the X is like a completely different ball but when you're typing out the description of your product you know it's one letter so it's easy to to make a mistake with this right yeah. so I've been very cautious about buying them because I'm very aware that somebody could literally just accidentally forget to type the X or something and I'll have the wrong product. But anyway, this website says TP5 Mix. That's what the product description is, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, to me, that could mean, like, there's a bunch of different quality TP5s. There's a bunch of different year TP5s. Like, you know, they've been making them for years. So it could be, like, 2017 compared to 2019. Stuff like this. But, uh, you know, I recognize it could also mean TP5 Xs as well in there, right? So I bought the the bought the thing. It's like twenty some dollars. It was one hundred percent TP five X two thousand nineteen. That's it. Every wow. single ball in the bag was a TP five X from two thousand nineteen. I was like, "What the fuck is this nonsense? This is not a mix. This is not what you described. Everything is wrong about this." And they're like, "Okay, you could refund it." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's like, "What? Well, you basically lied. I mean, this is not a mix. It's not what you described it as." It's like it couldn't be right. The whole description couldn't be more in incorrect. It's actually really yeah. weird. I mean, that's why up here we've got a, a every province in Canada has an unconditional return policy number of days, so that if you get something that's wrong, you just send it back. You know, no ifs, ands, yeah. or buts. But that's probably what should happen everywhere. But this is on eBay, so it's up to the discretion of the person. I'm actually shocked at how good eBay is for purchasing things. Oh yes. Now I did, I did talk about this on stream a, a while ago, and um, <laughs> he says it's like a golf loot box. That's funny. Yeah, basically. Um, but anyway, um, I talked about this on stream a while ago, and somebody was like, "Yeah, unless you're the seller." And I was like, "What do you mean?" And they's like, "The seller gets like screwed on eBay." I was like, "Really?" And they were explaining to me that like eBay takes like 17% of the price or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not, but. It's like, oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a particularly problematic thing with the, the golf ball situation because, like, I'm basically I'm measuring the ball's value, like the purchase of said balls, in price value per ball. So if I'm getting 24 balls and it's anything more than two dollars a ball, that's too much money. I'm not. That's not worth me buying. Yeah. And if it's close to $1 a ball, then it's like, oh, that's a great deal. But I'm also factoring in um, shipping and handling and taxes and stuff. And and so, you know, if I ever see something that's really close to $1 a ball, even after all that, it's excellent. So whether it's free shipping or whether the tax isn't high or anything like that, then it's really good. But if those people are also doing that and their 17% of their profit is coming off because of that, it's like, wow. So they're getting like, they're getting like a couple pennies per ball. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Hopefully that's not happening. 
Yeah, I, th I don't know. I, I just know I, I've always been impressed with the way eBay works. Like, there I, was, I'm very satisfied with it now, yeah. There was a time when there were a lot of really scam stuff on eBay, but they're been all, they, they took the reins and stood up for that, right? They, 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 they support it? Is that what you're saying? No, no. They support the person who was scammed, is what I'm saying. Like, oh, they, 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 they're, re they're very good about refunds, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, they're trying to help you not get scammed. That's what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were trying to say they're trying to help get people scammed. No, no they're very aggressive at, at uh, stopping scams, is what I'm saying. Like, huh. even, if, even if eBay takes the loss... They will help you. Okay. Been well, that's well. yeah. That's the way it should be. I mean, it's their platform. People are scamming people on. Yeah. It's not just some like free market space. It's everybody's congregating in. Yeah. Just go up and around. There's just way too many mobs in this little cluster. Yep. Oh, plus this is, yeah, this is exactly where we came for. Kill some more harvest golems. Yes. Get more oil. We like that. It's Maybe true. we should just go and get that quest done now, actually. We can just, since we're already kind of up here. There's another field of them over to the west, or to the east there. Absolutely. That field that I call, as I said, had a silo or tower, or whatever it has, and it has a lot of these things in it too. I think. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to avoid going that far if we don't have to, but it's super weird. I looked in, I looked at eBay. It has a different fee depending on what item it is. Around thirteen percent for most categories. Then you have stuff like trading cards, one percent less, or sneakers over a hundred dollars is zero percent. Okay. Uh, you know what? That might be why a lot of people are selling golf balls, like many, Bulk. many, many, many golf balls. Yeah. So that might be why. Like, I bought 100 golf balls, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, that could be why. It's like if you sell so many products or such a value product, then they reduce the fee they take. It actually makes sense. Yeah. They, they might they might take, like, if, you know, you're trying to sell a single item for, like, $10, like, they might not like that. Yeah, because they make less, too, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, SLP says it's the same thing with YouTube and Super Chat. Yeah, and it's it's not you losing that, luckily. And you know, don't don't feel like I don't know. I tried to explain this to people a long time ago, uh, but it does. Yeah, if you if you're like vehemently against YouTube or you only want to give me money directly, then Super Chat is a really bad way to do it. I I, I saw this chick. Um, I remember this was like in Legion. The chick got a $500 donation, and she only received $386. Wow. How nuts is that? That's insane. It means YouTube took a hundred and some dollars out of that. But I don't think that was... I think it was also because she was not in... the. I think it was United States dollars, and she wasn't in United States. So I think it had to be converted or something. I don't, yeah. I don't really know. I just I, I, I've that. seen that myself a lot, actually. Because yeah. I'm in Can uh, Canada. Oh yeah, maybe it was Canada too, actually. Because that's a whole different dollar, right? The dollar yes. is the same word, but for some reason it's not the same currency. Yep. It's, it, and it depends. Like, uh, I, I, the, That's one thing I noticed, because a lot of my tips come through Streamlabs, because of course I'm not monetized on my Warcraft channel yet, is that if somebody donates in U.S. dollars, it's very different than if they donate in Canadian dollars. Yeah. What are you going to do to stop that? Like, is Canada concerned with that, or? No, because it's always been that way. We all, you know, we've always had our own currency. There was oh. a time in my lifetime where the Canadian dollar was worth more. So. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm, that's cool. Well, that actually is that cool, or is that a really bad thing? Um, it depends. Right, because all, most of our retail prices are based upon the fact that the Canadian dollar is worth, you know, thirty to forty percent less than the U.S. dollar. 
So if the Canadian dollar suddenly spikes up where it's worth way more, then suddenly a loaf of bread is actually costing a lot more. Yeah. Right? That's what I thought, yeah. So it's actually... I mean, it's cool for trade and stuff, or anybody who gets paid in Canadian dollars, but it's very not cool for for the average consumer. Like, oh my god, the, this is terrible! What is going on here? Where are these mobs even coming from? For professional sports teams, like uh, that that work in Canada then pay their athletes in Canadian dollars. Great. For, great for that, mm, that I see, yeah. What a fucking joke. This is actually just a joke, man. Run away? I mean, it's never not gonna be able to run. We're gonna die. <laughs> One way or the other, I think we both die here. This is so dumb, man. I died. Get away. Get go. You can make it get win, I believe. Hmm. I tried oh, I tried to bubble. It didn't get off in time. This is such a fucking joke, man. This this game is actually like it's it one or two tweaks and it could be yeah. insanely fun, but like, how how does that even happen? <laughs> there's like no mobs and all of a sudden there's five mobs on us. Yeah. It's really dumb. Alright, well we're gonna have to go around that because I'm not trying to fight all that shit again. I agree. And and it, the funniest part is this is all part of one quest. It's like, dude, get a fucking clue. How do how do you let this happen? The one mob is gray and the other mob is 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 three levels higher than us and swarming us like this. I mean, I get the idea they want the levels to go up as you move down because the the basic pathing of the zone is from north to south, but it's a bit much when you for this quest for those. Murders, yeah, it it, it just doesn't make any sense. Like the quest has gotten in the south. You know, it's like, if, yeah, I could see if that quest came from Sentinel Hill, which is in the middle of the zone, and encourages you to go both north and south at the same time, but it's like, the quest is all the way down south, so not only do you have to travel all the way back up north, but while you do so, the mobs are like seven or eight levels lower. You're not even getting experience from killing them for the same quest. And meanwhile, like, we're level 17. Yeah. If we were level 16, then maybe we'd be getting experience from those mobs, but there'd be no way we can do this quest. Yeah. You basically are one way or the other. You're either getting no experience from some of the mobs you're killing, or you're getting slaughtered by the other mobs. Yeah. Strange. It's a prime example of, of them expecting you to stop in the middle of a zone and go someplace else in the way that the, the, the zones yes, are I, I, designed. I, that's how it plays out, but I don't think they, anybody expected that. I honestly think that was just it's just poorly designed. Well, we only need two more. We gotta finish this flask, though, actually. Yeah, let's just go and do that real quick. Okay. I have three. You have, what, two or three? I have two, I believe. Okay. Let's go. Kill those out at this uh, farm here and go turn these quests in, and then that's it. I'm gonna have to probably go after that. Okie doke. The other funny thing about uh, fighting... Um, Murlocs is you get all these barnacle things and they have like meat in them. <laughs> I guess that still exists in LiveWow, but I don't think I've seen this past oh. classic in terms of content. Oh yeah, the clams, yeah. Because they don't stack, but the meat inside them does. <laughs> it's like really annoying. Should probably pop open all of mine. Because they also drop pearls, right? Yeah, they can drop items at vendor for an extremely high amount, yeah. I remember that because I, I I used to do jewel crafting back in the day. Jewelry crafting, yeah. Yeah. I remember whenever I would level jewel crafting on a character, I, that was always a boon. What? What do you need the pearls for in jewel crafting? I don't know. Um, there is a, a several low jewel crafting recipes that take pearls. Oh, okay. I remember specifically in Northrend there was there's actually quite a, a lot around pearls. In fact, there is uh, the the 
the jewel that gives all stats, a bonus to all stats, is a pearl that you can buy from a vendor. And then you have to jewel craft it to get, make it to give all stats. That's interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. It's actually from a Murloc vendor on the in the Borean Tundra. Oh, and oh, and Wrath. We're talking about Wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the reason that it came to mind is because SLB says the Jagal Pearl, and he says, or that might be from the Nagas. And I think the Jagal Pearl is from a higher level clam. Yeah, I thought I thought it Gosh. might be one of the Northern ones. Could be wrong. I know there's like a black pearl that vendors for like a gold. Yeah. It's extremely rare. I have four flasks of oil now. Oh good. Okay. I have three still, but glad that you're making progress and we'll be done soon. Let me go get our last two tide hunters and see what happens, I guess. You know, I'll just make like a folder. I'll just put all these videos into a folder and then we'll be all right. Originally, I, I wanted to make sure I tried to do this all in one sitting because I was worried that I'd misplace files and then I wouldn't be able to find them, but I just, just got to be a little organized and it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I made a special folder for the uh, the files that I get to record from my second version of OBS slobs. Oh yeah. So that I would have ah, so just for that same reason. <laughs> Smart. Meanwhile, I have four hops too. I have six Is flasks this... of oil. Oh really? Okay. Do you have hops? I have three hops. I got my fifth hops. Want to just do that quest too, I guess, while we're here? I mean, we can, or you can just do it. Like, I'm ahead of you anyway. Nah, I'm not worried about that. So let me know when you get five hops. I or if I get another one, I'll give it to you. Actually, it looks like we've killed all the mobs here. There's some over here by the haystacks. I assume they give hops too? I think they all do. Yeah, it says it drops hops at oh, a 25% rate, it says. I don't know oh, why I believe that, but I... I didn't know that was a feature. Yeah. Okay, I got my six tops, so we're good, right? You had four? No, I have three, so I need one more. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, we got it. I have five. Now I have five. Sweet. All right, we gotta go south though. I also have a couple of copper tubes now. Wow! What are you gonna do with those? Uh, vendor them. Put make them make Chinese finger traps or whatever those things were. <laughs> yeah, Chinese finger. Remember those? Yeah, I do remember those. That's how they make them. They put, they they weave it around a tube and then they remove the tube. That's interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. Watched a thing a long time ago about making them, because it's actually very complicated to make something like that, right? That expands in the opposite direction of you pulling it. Yeah, absolutely. There is a TV show. I don't know where it is or how it is or what it is, but I, there's a TV show it's called How Things Are Made. And sometimes if yeah. I'm really bored, I'll just go and watch it. Is it oh, it's bad. Bad. Yeah, that's that's the show that I saw the Chinese finger trap thing. It's uh, on the History Channel. There you go. Fascinating show sometimes, you know. Yeah, it's funny the History Channel. It's funny like MTV and the History Channel. They used to actually be about what their names are, but they're not anymore. <laughs> but it's all good. The History Channel did produce some good shows. Like I mean, Vikings. I never actually watched it. Did you ever watch it? No, I was one of the again one of those ones I was meant to watch but never had the time. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, 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 like twelve seasons. I don't have time for that. But yeah. I, uh, I always really like Pawn Stars on, on the History Channel because I learn a lot of stuff that I didn't know. And it's bite-sized information. Yeah, I guess so. It's, uh, I don't really watch it, but yeah, I'm sure it's, uh, it's good. 
the thing that bothers me is like the ancient alien situation and like oh, it's like they're it's they've so leaned into that so heavily and it's like this is not history like i mean this is honestly not acceptable to be on a channel like this or the curse of like, oak island where they're talking, oh, oh. It's, this place is cursed. Oh, we, we're going to find this treasure, yeah. but everybody dies who looks for it. I see. I didn't watch that either. See, it's like, I don't know. That's kind of messed up in my eyes because it's like you're, you're making people think that this is history or real, I guess, in yeah. some way. It's like, it's not. I mean, it's... <laughs> It's one yeah, of those things, good. like, I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Sharks and Shark Week, but one of the things they took a lot of flack for uh, a couple years ago is they did a, a mockumentary um, about uh, an ancient shark called the Megalodon, just a gigantic oh, God, shark. Yeah. And and it, they, the way they played it was like it was a real documentary, and it had people who died in it and stuff. And What the hell? Yeah. That's it, weird. It, they took a lot of flack from that. They've been very, very good since, but they took a lot of flack for it. It was really bad. The flame will not burn for long without oil, Gidwin. Praise you, brave paladin. The rocks of the west coast, the rocks of the Westfall coast shall be lit thanks to your hard work. Many lives will be spared so long as this torch is kept lit. I died needlessly on this very shore. My afterlife plight is to see that no others follow my destiny. Well done, Gidwin. You have quite a knack for combat. Thanks to you, the coast of Westfall is a safer place. Have you laid waste to the menace known as Old Murkai yet? He has been spotted roaming the coastline of Westfall. Return to me when the foul beast is dead. Uh, so the foul heathen Murkai is dead. Well done, Gidwin. By your hands, one life was laid to rest, but perhaps many more were saved. The great sea, wrought with danger as it is, shall be a wee bit safer this night thanks to your heroics. Yes, Grayson's torch. It's a transmog. Uh, this is why I, I realized uh, this. This is obviously still in the game because I did this a couple, like about a year ago. It's an offhand torch. Oh. The other, the other torches are are uh, wands or or one hander, uh, like a, a weapon. But yeah. this is an offhand, so you can actually have this with the one hand. You have two torches on. How cool is that? That is insane. I love it. Yeah, it's the only one that I'm aware of, anyway. Okay, how the hell are we going to get up here? Looks like back here is fine. But you can actually see Strangle... You can actually see uh, Yojemba Island or whatever it's called. Do you see the trees? Oh. That's the I ZG uh, rep place. That's where you turn in the ZG rep. I've never been because I've never done anything with the ZG rep. Yeah. You may know that is my favorite raid, um, but it's really... Um, the rep is kind of squirrely. Mm. We can essentially just buy it, yeah? Off the auction house? Yeah, yeah, yep. You absolutely could. You got a lot of rep for doing the raid, though, so that would be kind of silly to do that. I guess we came the wrong way here. Well, we only pulled two of them. We should be fine. Oh, this is where we killed that mage, that renegade mage before. Now there's just not a mage there. There's just some other guy there. It's weird. Alright, so we'll go do this hops quest. And then I think I might try to quickly go train swords before I go. And then that'll be it. Sounds good. We, we can hire so to uh, gold shard. Yeah. Renegade. Yep. Yeah. Just going to try to go around these guys. Try not to get in combat again. I am giving them a wide berth.
Well, we certainly didn't do this the most efficiently, but I think we did actually, other than the Silk Bandana quest, which I guess technically we'd still do. I'll look into that. It does say it's a dungeon quest, but it does look like the mobs. Yeah. I'll look into that. I don't know if that's questy just being confused, because it also shows if you see uh, the unsent letter on the map. That's yeah. that's obviously not outside the dungeon. That's only in the dungeon. So I wouldn't be surprised if that quest actually cannot be done outside the dungeon. But if it did, uh, if it was possible, even if it was slow, it would be super good because that's a dungeon quest. So yeah. it's going to give a lot of experience. Ooh, you know, if it's possible, we can just start that at doing that next time. Yeah, that's what I think would be a good idea. I also, since we're going to Stormwind, I'm also going to see if we can't get that uh, O Brother quest and see if that's those are elites as well, because I'm not 100% sure they are, and I'm not even 100% sure if it matters. I think two people could probably kill them, but uh, we'll be eight, I'll be 18 for sure next time. For sure, for sure. Honestly, we do it right next time. We could finish off doing a level 20 Paladin quest, if it's possible for us to do yeah, I think it. I, mean, I know it's possible. I just don't know if it's at level twenty possible. I, I have to watch. Somebody made a video on it. Okay. I'm just gonna read this again since I dropped it anyway. Okay. Hurry, my friend. Move with haste in order for our rich lager to taste more like beer and less like stew. Hops are needed to make the brew. Bring Grimboo's Thunderbrew five hops to complete his special brew. You got my attention. Hops and barley, yeast and malt, the taste buds feel a virtual assault. No need to plead, no need to beg, for Thunderbrew Lager comes in a keg. Watch your back. Okay, definitely the weirdest quest that's in the game. <laughs> that's it, right? Why does he? Why do we have another quest? It's like a repeatable quest. Did that even give experience? Neither. I don't think it did. I don't think it did either, because I'm not sure how I didn't think from that. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, I'm gonna hearth. Me too. And we'll go hang out in Stormwind for a few minutes, and then that'll be. It. I'm gonna train, and then I'm gonna go see if we can get that old brother quest, and see if there's any indication of if it's a uh, lease or not. SLB says, I would have liked to have been around when Orson Welles did his War of the Worlds radio broadcast and caused mass panic. No, that's not, yeah. Would you have? I would not have. No. That doesn't sound like something I would want to be a part of. My grandmother told me about that, and it was very it scary. Was she told me when I was like 12 years old, so probably even more scary then, but... I can't even imagine, especially if you were like actually young. Like, if you were an adult and that happened, you'd be very skeptical, I'm sure, but... If you were like, you know, 12 years old, like I was when she was telling me about it, I I don't know what I would feel, like what emotions I would feel about that. Yeah, well, it would have, especially because radio, it, I mean, it would 100% yeah, there was no internet. everything that comes through the radio, right? Yeah, exactly. There was no way to prove it was wrong until, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't even know. I, I always thought it was an exaggeration because like, I don't understand how that happened in the first place. Like what? What? What occurred that this this happened? I don't even understand. It was intentionally trying to get people to kill themselves. Like I don't really get it. Like how did anybody let this this happen on on public radio? I I just I think no nobody people didn't realize that maybe some people would miss the first few seconds of the broadcast where he said it was a story, right? Okay, so it was publicly declared not real, right? And yeah, yeah, that's my understanding somehow... of the way it worked. Is okay, that, that at makes the start sense. of the broadcast he said. You know, we're, this is our Halloween story. And then, you know, most people didn't hear that because it was the first two seconds. And then I went see right that. Into okay, a radio that makes drama. a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. But it's not like the Superman broadcast where they're talking about a, the Man of Steel who's in comics flying around. It's, you know, something that was done to be very yeah, real. A lot more realistic, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cops, right? They said ahead of time that it was a story. Oh, okay. I see. I just didn't understand, like... 
I think I remember her saying like it was just like being read over the live broadcast and it caused like so much confusion that I also assume like I don't think like something? thousands of people killed themselves right I'm sure yeah like I there don't... was people it was literally people shooting into the air and stuff it was yeah I, I heard yeah it's really crazy have a good one when I don't even know when this happened when did this happen 38 or something like that like right around then like 1938 Oh, really? That long ago? Oh, okay, yeah. no wonder why. I just uh, I just used a scroll of intellect on this uh, merchant. I see that. <laughs> see, you're the person who I buffed us with intellect. Fine. I anyway. was not the person Save who buffed us. Just tell me the truth, bro. <laughs> I always tell you the truth. Look at How do I have this? How do I have stamina? Uh, that I did. Yes, I bet you did. The other one too, didn't you? No. Yeah, let's where, go get this quote. Where where did you go? Oh, over here. Hide, hiding on me. Yeah, see the mini map has little dots on it that you can tell where we're at afterwards. I don't see Oh, there you are. Ah. Yeah. I'm okay. an idiot. I'm a moron. Just It's not you, it's just your eyes, I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should like, you know what a dot is, and you know what my character looks like, so it's not you. It's just you're somehow not seeing them somehow. Yeah. Maybe I give it up and go get glasses one day, I don't know. Maybe. Then you really would have looked like Santa Claus with the beard and glasses. Yeah, it's true. And Santa's a great guy. Like, I mean, there's no reason not to look like him. It's true. I just don't. Let's, I don't have a Santa hat. You know, one of these days. I, 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 only that's the cool a, people that's have That's a very Santa hats. easy problem to to solve, dude. It's true. Very easy. Finding one that's comfortable, it's hard. I've had. I've owned three, and none of them are comfortable. And I certainly won't be wearing one this year with the hair. But yeah. Well, I have a huge head too. So. Really. Yeah, my head is ob obnoxiously large. Like a lot of. That's. Most. Why don't you some, get a head reduction? Most most one size fits all caps do not fit me. Okay. Trevor says, "How easy?" I don't know what you're referring to. Sorry. How are you? Okay. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I'll just read this anyway. Actually, I guess I'll record it for the video just in case we end up doing it. Yeah. Okay. okay. There were thieves everywhere. It was horrible. The the cave came down on us. I think the mining company is all dead, including my brother, the foreman. Oh, brother. We were deep in a vast mine in Westfall, hidden beneath a barn in Moonbrook. No clue where these stinking thieves types came from. Anyway, the mine tunnel collapsed on us. I got out, but the others, well, the others haven't been heard from. You look like you might have better luck in there. If you could look for my brother, I'd be thankful. He always carried his Explorer League badge. If you can't find him, that badge would at least give me some peace of mind. Safe travels. Hello. Many of my friends perished that horrible day when the mine turn tunnel caved in. If you... Let's just start over. Many of my friends perished that horrible day when the mine tunnel caved in. If your adventurers happen to bring you into that... Oh, I see. If your adventures... If your adventures... Okay, start over. Many of my friends perished that horrible day when the mine tunnel caved in. If your adventures happen to bring you into that wing of the mine in Moonbrook, Please, keep an eye out for any sign which might identify them. If you come across any of the Miners' Union's card, bring them back to me and I'll make sure their families get some resolution from this horrible accident. See you soon. That's unique. So that's like, uh, the Defy has caused that, I guess, huh? Yeah, that's the undead's wing of it, right? Yeah, yep, those are the mobs that we killed when we got those weird items. So let me just take a look at this. Miners... Union card. Let's see if those are elites or not. If there was a way that we can do those quests, it would be good because that's also some good items. Yeah, no, they are that. elites and they're level 17 to 18 elites. Uh, and then let's look up uh, well, if those are elites, then obviously the foreman is elite too. Let's see, red silk bandana. We don't even have to waste our time. We can just look it up, of course. Yes. Wow head. Because if you type red silk bandana, you get a bunch of stuff that's not wow. Of course. Um, comments. Did 
I don't know why. Oh, this is the name of the quest. That's why. It's not telling me where it drops from. Um. Okay. It it drops from a bunch of non-elites, but I. Yeah, I think we can do this quest. Defies diggers, defies henchmen, defies conjurers. Oh, I don't know. Those are elites. I think these mobs are actually in the dungeon, and they're just not elites. Yeah. So I don't know if that's worth it. But it's probably going to give a ton of experience. I'm down to try. Okay. Yeah, so maybe we give it a try. Next Next episode, uh, we'll start off by doing that. This is an inn, too, so this is perfect. We can just um, rest here. Maybe we should oh. set our hearth here, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Humble beginnings. We have oh, a, we yes. Bring that I forgot about that. Today. Yeah, yeah. Forgot all about that. Let's go turn that in and record that real quick, and then that'll yeah, be it. because that might ding you. Oh, it definitely will, yeah. I barely need any experience at all. I don't know how I didn't dig before. And then we can train Metro because that'll put you 18. Kyla said Metro had a picture of Cop on his phone when he made the Dwarf Paladin. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think he's a redhead with twin braided beard, but... Well, I am, I yeah. am a ginger, but my beard has not been braided ever. Got it. The um the the character is, is extremely based on the Gidwin character that we're doing the playthrough over. So, yes. Cops character is a little different, a little loosely uh, based on it. But... It's an interpretation. Yes, my character is exactly what Gidwin looks like. Yes. Minus the weird hair color problem, we had this weird hair color problem where Gidwin's yeah. hair is like not blonde but not red either. It's like in between both for some reason. Yeah, mine the same way. Now we start recording. Good day to you. Gidwin, did you have any luck? Oh, thank you, Gidwin. It is of no practical use to me, but the sentimental value. Needless to say, thank you for bringing this to me. At some cost to your own well-being, not to mention the time it took to go all the way down to Westfall. You have my gratitude, and have this as a token of my thanks. Safe travel. Okay, yeah, that gave a lot of experience. Nice. All right, that is... What are we, 18? Yeah, 18. Yeah. So that's cool. So next episode, 20 for sure. Yep. One way or the other. Um, that's that's it, I guess, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Oh, maybe we train while we're here real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's train. Let's see we, what we, we have. Can, yeah, we can stop anywhere we want to because the whole city is uh, rested, so... Yep, I'll just stop here, yeah. Hopefully I'll remember. I did want to set my hearth next time we play, but don't have a lot of time right now, so I'll just do this and be done. For sure, for sure. Well met. Oh, Righteous Fury. Okay, that's pretty useful, I bet. Divine Protection rank 2. Yeah, so now lasts 8 seconds instead of 6 seconds, so we get that. Oh, Retribution Aura as well? Holy shit. Wow, I didn't realize... How many good... Okay, that's really good. Seal of Righteousness rank. Although that's kind of useless because we're not going to use it for much longer. But I guess it's worth having just for the next two levels. And then that's it. I guess I'll get Righteous Fury too. I think useful. that's good for us if we want to pull uh, aggro up the other guy. The problem is using the spell costs a lot of mana. Yeah. 106 mana, you see? So you're not ever going to just randomly use it. But it could be useful to have regardless. But now that we have Red Aura, yeah, so one of us should definitely use Red Aura. Well, whichever one has Threat, I guess, should use Red Aura. Actually, does that work that way? No, I think we both, yeah. If I use Red Aura, you have it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you use right, Red so... Aura, I can use Prod Aura and, or Devotion. Yeah, that's, that's, man, this is actually, Paladin, having multiple Paladins is actually really good. Absolutely. Shockingly good. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a true pleasure. Always fun to get together with Cop. I will be back um, tomorrow with Keys, and then i um, going to try to get something in on Sunday and Monday. We'll see what happens. No uh, no guarantee as of right now, but then starting December 1st, which will be next Wednesday, I'm going to try to stream every day until Christmas. So, Any uh, closing words for you, Cop? I just want to say the same thing. It is always a genuine joy to be able to, to play with you, buddy. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for uh, copping on by my stream as well and watching. Take care, everybody. Thanks very much. Peace.